God, please, no! 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 No!
It is time to come back to old man. It's a place. Don't particularly like, but here we are. With a nice mustache, at least. All right, let's start the stream by twirling the mustache to increase my odds of getting a super rare item today. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Good morning. Hello. How you doing? I want to say. Good morning to Feed the Sun. Good morning to Legendarism. Good morning to Derek G. Uh, good morning, Monkey D. Luffy. Implied Slight. Uh, good morning, Pumba. And I hope I didn't forget anyone. And everyone who's lurking. Hello, hello, hello. I'm very glad that you chose to be here today. If you chose to be there. If someone is forcing you. Well, it's not that bad. I mean, it could be worse. They could force you to do other things, right? So, so, so stop it. Mm. How can I get renowned in Torgas? Uh, Torgas, I think you need to do a level 9 or higher to be able to guarantee a renown in Torgas, and you just do runs and runs and runs. Are you farming the rich purple silk shirt pattern? No, I'm, I'm farming the super rares. Uh, if I get a rich purple silk shirt, that I'm going to be very, very happy. But uh, I I'm mostly here for the super rares. I've been doing maybe 1,500 runs of this so far. We're still getting more runs and still uh, no super rares. So today, today that's definitely going to change. Definitely going to change. Uh, it's Rina. You think it's 10? Uh, hello, Rayas. How you doing? I'll try to do two guys. They say no, you don't no meet the requirements. Uh, if you want to get renowned, then just do, uh, you might need to unlock it, like, uh, through the intro quest of the Maw. That could be why it's not working to do Torghast. Otherwise, um, you can do the Shadowlands raids to get the uh, renown as well. Or you can do the Zarek Mordis campaign, which gives a ton of renown. And it's not too long to do. So these are your options. So, let's take a look at... Today's wheel. Okay, so today's wheel. This is the wheel for today. Uh, you can buy this for channel points. So this can uh, influence like um, the the course of the challenge. Also, if you if anyone who subs today, we add one more run to the total. Uh, but yeah, in here we have plus one run, minus one run, plus two runs, minus two runs, uh, plus three runs, minus three runs, and another plus three runs so that you guys have an advantage. But also. We have the double up and respin, which means we could have plus six runs from just one spin. Um, we also have a debate, had to debate it to the wheel because we need to have every wheel needs to have a debate it. That's how it works. Uh, also, we can add a plus three runs to the wheel, so this could be very painful. Uh, and extra giveaway tickets. So, as you know, there's a giveaway right now on Twitch. Uh, if you have 750 channel points, you can get one ticket per stream. And there you go. So, without further ado, let's get into the incredible, the marvelous, old oh, man. There we go. Uh, can you upload cheat for old man drops? And now in old man pants have a, yes, 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 exactly. Did you do the skip? Old man. Old man. And as you see, I made a custom sound alert for the wheel. So, <laughs> hello, Provenza. How you doing? So, without further ado, let's spin it. For the first time of the day, what are we going to get? Ah, <laughs> what a start. What a good spin this is. What a good start. Wow. Nice, 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 nice. So here, since monkey. There you go. <laughs> Debated by Monkey the Luffy. <laughs> there you go. So if you wanna know who's responsible, right? If you wanna know who's responsible, that's who's responsible. Alright, 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 alright. So what a what a turn of events. 
I'm also busy with older men. Well, if you guys want, I am gonna do ludicrous challenges. If we have some people who wants to join, uh, we will send invites right now. It's gonna be like a hundred and twenty, like a two hour. You don't have to stay for the full thing, right? Obviously, you don't have to stay for the full thing. But if you want to do some ludicrous challenge, I'll give my battle tag in the chat right now, so you can add me if you want and join the ludicrous challenges. Uh, if we have nobody, then we'll just start uh, solo. You're gonna do it with me? That would be awesome, Mervenza. Uh, you can add me. The battle tag is in the chat right now. We're gonna start slow, and then I'm just gonna go again and again and again. I perfected my speed. Uh, hmm. I did make my speed do it a little bit faster. So we got, we got this weapon here that has a uh, speed on it. And wafting devotion, wafting devotion. Uh, I will send another invite here, just a sec. There we go. So you can receive it. I don't know if you have the proper add-ons for this, but yeah. Oh, we got another one here. Go. Uh, accept. And we're gonna send again. Ludicrous. If you don't know how to join these, let me know. I will explain in uh, in chat. What is the redeem? Don't have a redeem. I don't think we do. Uh, so there you go. We have someone in here. Okay, Bravenza is here. Cool. Uh, how does one redeem points? Uh, uh, you mean use channel points? Uh, there is a little icon at the bottom of your chat, below where, where you're chatting. There's a little icon for channel points. You'll see your channel points. When you click on it, you can see what you can buy with channel points. I think it's going to work. So you need to accept the invite if you want to join right now. We'll send one more. Just be sure everyone's here. And there you go. Oh yeah, let me show you my speed uh, my speed set right now. Let me show you my speed set. So uh, we got this new weapon with Wafting Devotion. Wafting Devotion has a chance to give you some speed, so that's good. Uh, we The boots are now enchantable. The 233 boots are now enchantable. So that can be uh, even more stuff. There you go. Um, we also got, uh, Trinkets is the only place where we have absolutely nothing. Uh, but everywhere else, we have the three as the right pieces. We have the cloak with the bracers, the gloves, the belt, the pants, the boots, the two rings, and now the weapon. So this should give us a little bit more speed. Great. Oh, let's see here. If Bravenza isn't here, I'm going to do a ready check and we'll see what happens. So... This is going to be uh, the first of the day. Obviously, if you want to join, you can join at any point. If you don't know how, let me let me know and I will explain. Let me move these a little bit and this should be great. Even a little bit below, I think, would be great. Whip, whip. Something like this. Okay, so let's get my speed flask and my speed food. There we go. How do I join? Uh, you can join my battle tag. Uh, is right here. Uh, there's a new. Uh, there's a new wheel. Uh, semicolon only for today. Today's the old man wheel. Uh, just so people didn't get confused, I only got the the old man wheel instead of the the two wheels. Right. Hello, Wolfie. Hello, Briggs. Hello, Walknarf. How are you guys doing? Hello, that noob. Nice to see you. Uh, okay, so, all right, so I'm going to access you. So right now, if you want to join the Slack and you, you need to be my battle tag friends, okay, you need to be a battle tag friends. Next thing you can do is right click my name and then do send request for invite. Okay. Uh, if you have the proper add ons, you can do send request for invite. There you go. And now after this, you'll need to accept in this window, which will look a little bit different for you. You need to accept the challenge. If you have any issues? Let me know. Uh, but for now, let's start some old man. All right. Uh, let's try and be... We're going to try to be as quick as we can because obviously this could be a very long day if we take our sweet time. Right? So, let's go. Right now, I can definitely feel I'm slow. I will definitely pick up as it goes. But, yeah. 
Oh, you see that, baby? Oh, you got two gems too. Oh my god. I did last time, like, uh, we did like something like 11 and a half hours of Olderman last time. We did uh, 94 runs. And we actually got uh, one Jinsu, but he gets more, right? God damn it. Baby Powder, actually, last time I did an Olderman stream, Baby Powder came in here and got more value in his one hour lack than almost my full freaking lack. Uh, we, it was not a lucky uh, streak for me, for sure. But today, today is definitely going to change, okay? Today is definitely going to change. There we go. Hello? Um... Oh, I said her. Frota? Where's Frota? Did I miss something? Oh, yeah, it's in there. Okay, I understand. There we go. Joe. Uh, this is the only boss that I, that I, uh, that I skip here. I kill basically everything in here but this boss, I believe. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, some people, I think they, they kind of skip some of this. Uh, you can kind of do what you want, but personally, I think that I can do my run in the in the time uh required so uh that's always good yeah. i try to vendor every like two or three run depending on what we have oh yeah we need to reset this i want to see how much raw gold i'm gonna get today so uh we're gonna actually calculate how much raw gold we get from all of the runs um and at the end we'll calculate there you go um go we also have stuff to open the chests right here. Uh, so that's really cool. There you go. Oops. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty slow right now, but I will definitely pick this up. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I feel like my camera is a bit zoomed in or something, but whatever. Yo. We will definitely get it rare today. I'm very excited actually for today's stream. Uh, I, I like kind of changing it up. I, I like, uh, just send the invite. Uh, you need to accept the invite. Like, uh, it's automatically accepted for me. So you need to go into your, um, your, uh, interface in, um, uh, I'll show you how to get there. But, uh, you go to options, add-ons, uh, Ludipreser, Ludipreser challenge. And in here, you should have a, a place where you can accept the invite. After you, you, you send the request. There you go. If it's not there, uh, let me know. You... My sword is up okay. Oh, yeah. We need to pick up the speed already. Oh, yeah. We did see someone else just join. That's awesome. That's a uh, chicken, I think. Oh, we got another one. So we got four people in this uh, in this right now. Very nice. There's going to be some... Oh, we got the Beacon of Hope, which is a, a, a garbage item. Let's call it what it is. Uh, with a little bit of fake value added to it. But it's our first thing of the day. So, awesome. Uh, I just finished watching your YouTube VOD for the pets leveling. Uh, selling stream. It please explain the, 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 the process of determining which server sell to buy on. Um, I forgot. I think you forgot the topic. I mean, it's not uh, for buying. It's just anywhere that uh, the price kind of fits for you, right? Uh, for for buying pets, it's just anywhere where it, it kind of fits for you. For, um, for uh, something like uh selling uh personally for me it, obviously it's gonna sell high uh, it's gonna sell more often on higher pop servers so if full pop servers it will sell faster however you will have more competition and the price might not be to your liking right uh i think that what i would consider the best is something uh bit like high pop roughly high pop Maybe not a, a realm like Area 52, it might be hard, but sometimes, sometimes Area 52 is fine for this, so who knows? Uh, some people have been having some success. Some pets are kind of universally pretty good. So, so yeah, hello Ruta, how you doing? Uh, I'm sorry if today I missed some of the, of the chat. 
uh because it's harder to focus on the on the on the thing right now so uh so yeah hmm it's hard for me to focus on the chat and remain like super fast at this what is tangia okay so we have a new we have a new thing called tangia okay um it is a ai powered tool right but it's kind of cool so i read a script okay with tangia i read a script with tangia and right now you can do the tts with my ai voice okay I i'll give you an actual sample that you uh you see so we're gonna do a tts and i'm gonna call it uh Hello, Ruka Reka. I'm the AI Canada. I like big butts. There you go. Let's see what happens here. Working. Hello. Hello, Rui Kareka. I'm the AI Canada. I like big butts. <laughs> there you go. You, you kind of see it's not exactly me. But it, 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 it's similar to me. We, um, and yeah, we have an extension. Some of the, <laughs> so yeah, you can make me say stuff that can be very, very troubling. Or, you know, there's, there's all, there all was, the way that this works is that you have a bunch of these for free. So I didn't pay for this, but we kind of have a maximum uh, that we can do with channel points. But if we do some with bits, with has uh, with has a bit interaction, which is on the on the page below, you can do other voices, not just mine. You can do uh, Nick Cage. You can do uh, Borat, uh, Cartman, and I want uh, a bunch of other things. I want the kisses, to be honest. Yes, I mean <laughs> you can make me say stuff about. I will give you the biggest kiss that you've ever seen. You know, my AI voice could say this for you, right? My AI, my AI voice could be everything you want it to be. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep like necessarily this, um, uh, this thing, but this is something we're trying right now and we'll see what happens. Uh, so yeah, pretty excited for that in general. I think this could be a really fun thing. Like I like, I think my favorite one is the Nick Cage one. Uh, Nick Cage one is uh, is really good. So you're back in. <laughs> well, that's what you need to be positive, Ruka. Okay, we're definitely gonna get a super rare today. Wow. I mean, it's not because every single other times in my life that I didn't get a super rare that today I'm not gonna get a super rare. I mean, I'm definitely gonna get a super rare because of the, all of the times I didn't get it. Let me just heal up here because right now we could die to this chest because we're bombing it. Yeah, there you go. You see how I almost died? Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, let's see. All right, so we got only one run done so far. There this goes. Um, do you use websites to compare uh, realms? Uh, yes and no. Uh, not really for pets unless it's expensive pets. So like, if you see on some realms that uh, that you cannot buy uh, a certain pet, you can go in a different realm to buy it. And to select this realm, let me heal up again. God damn it! You can use Undermine Exchange. I'll uh, I'll kind of show you the website here. Yeah, we actually let me just show you the website here. So Undermine Exchange here, you can check like. On your realm, uh, but you can also check like where the cheapest one uh, on the region is right now. This is just going to be for Moonguard that you see, but you can see like all of the realms on this. It's a really, really nice tool to have uh, on the mine exchange. There we go. All right, let's keep going. Uh, but you said you don't want them. Yeah, I said that, but I I was in denial. Okay, I was in denial. I, while I don't really care for these items particularly. I care about the incredible clip that this is going to make. Uh, all of the release of my pain from being here uh, and never getting a super item is going to be released, unleashed on you guys in a, an incredible clip. 
uh, that's gonna go through the ages. Right now, we're not farming a super rare. We're farming a clip of getting a super rare, okay? That's what we're doing right now today. This is what we want. Um... Uh, um okay well try to focus I i'll try to kind of keep reading chat but it's, it's uh not as easy as usual uh someone reduced the fight meta so you can get a <laughs> super rare yeah the fight meta might be the the only way um <laughs> do you think you'd make more from skinning in this dungeon uh or keys from blacksmith i have keys right now but they're not the keys from blacksmithing they're the kind of keys uh from engineering which are bombs okay it's lo it's it's called uh a locksmith uh powder keg this is from pandaria engineering uh it's not too hard to craft either so that's kind of how uh, i open my chest as far as skinning uh i don't think that skinning in here is uh is good enough for me to do uh that being said uh it doesn't mean it's bad it's just it's not a good goal per hour the stuff that you get from here in skinning is just not like um you you have to see this as a perspective of time and as mentioned you know we're farming a clip today we're not really farming uh gold as much as it could sound like we're making like tons of gold here uh this is not a good place to make gold I don't think old demand in general is a good place to make gold. Uh, that being said, can you make gold in here? Yes, absolutely. Some items will definitely be uh, great. Uh, but lots of times, most times, you're going to come in here and get out with nothing to sell. That's really substantial. So that's kind of my thinking here. Uh, we got the second run completed here. So let's update this. There we go. And we're going to vendor here. Uh, how does the mustache achievement still still need some runs? Um, we have like until June, okay? Uh, to have the mustache on. Uh, the mustache will be there until like, uh, something like later in June. It's kind of a long, long time, uh, to 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 get the mustache on. Uh, so we'll see what happens with the mustache, but uh, yeah. We have some times left with them, that's for sure. So in here, we're going to probably keep the Beacon of Hope. Yeah, we're going to keep the Beacon of Hope. It has a decent price on my server. Uh, and yeah, this this place in general doesn't have like great sell rates on items. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, If you drop Miner's Hat, you do two times the runs around your house now. <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, very very happy I'm gonna be like uh, unleashed I'm gonna be like um, this is gonna be like finally my day finally my time with the super item I've been waiting 10 a long time for this and uh, and yeah it's uh, it's been tough to not have uh, this stuff you know it's been tough So, <laughs> so I'm hoping that this is not going to be yet another one of those times where uh, I do a ton of run, uh, a tons of runs, and I still don't get anything. Last time, uh, which was a, a, a surprising thing for me, I did get a Jinsu in a hundred in ninety four runs. Right, uh, I got on the ninetieth run, I got a Jinsu, and I actually sold that Jinsu uh, for hundred and fifty thousand gold. So that was pretty good. I was pretty happy for that. Uh, now, if I do get another, uh, if I do get another uh, Jinsu today, I'd be very, very happy. Uh, but like right now, if you look at my history of Jinsus, uh, it's one of the items that some people get way more often than me. I think that in my fifteen hundred runs, I think I got a total of something like five Jinsus. So uh, yeah, I haven't been super lucky in terms of uh, of this item so far. But hey, we do what we can. So uh, so yeah, today uh, we could really have a lot of runs by the end of the day. But at the same time, maybe not. Uh, we'll see how what happens. Uh, but 60 runs is already like a lot of runs. Uh, 60 runs is already like a lot of runs. So uh, for me, this is something that's pretty cool. Is It's a win-win, right? 
if people uh, add runs, that's cool for you guys. That's cool for me as well. If nobody uh, uh, adds runs, that's totally fine too because I get to leave this place. Which uh, the the more you do it in this single day, the more kind of hard it becomes on you. It's like your mood and everything. Like I remember last time we did a stream, like I had to run something like eighty. I was really starting to be like, holy crap, I am. I want to get out of here. And at the end, I didn't want people to add more runs. It was like, please don't add more, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Uh, do you have a way to track the amount of runs that you do? Um, it's, uh, I think there could be a way. Maybe if you look at the data in your, in your like, uh, character st statistics. The thing is that right now, I'm not subbed to uh, EU. Uh, most of my runs were done on EU uh, because I used to be on EU for like 10 years. Uh, but right now we're on NA and we've been doing lots of... Um, uh, we've been only on NA for, for some time now, uh, something like one or two years. So yeah. Uh, what do you use to open uh, the lock chest? Uh, I use uh, the lock spit uh, powder kegs. Uh, you can do this like if you have... Um, you, you can do this with jewel crafting, you can do this with inscription, blacksmithing, obviously if you're a rogue. Um, and you can do this. This is with engineering right now that we're doing. Uh, no, this is uh, here, right? Yeah. We're doing this with engineering right now, so this is what I use on this uh, character. And with the same uh, method, you can actually open the lock boxes if you want. So there you go. Can you show it again? I will screenshot. Yes. It's the locksmith uh, powder keg. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, this is kind of how I open the chest. I think the chest are. Uh, it's something like. <laughs> I'm not sure I would open that, but I mean, it's just one more chance to get loot, right? Uh, and these, these, uh, these really don't cost a lot of gold to make. Uh, keep in mind though that they this these are bombs so they will kind of damage you it shouldn't have like too much of an effect since uh, it's it's a percentage based damage so even if you're level uh, 70 it's still gonna damage you so there you go hmm uh so yeah I think um I think if I could just get... Oh, we, this is a shoveler. Wow. Last time we did like 94 runs and we didn't get a single shoveler. Uh, shoveler can be an item that says... Oh, Bravenza got something. I think it could be a Jinsu. At this price, it looks like a Jinsu. He got a Jinsu, Bravenza. Grats. Wow. What a... <laughs> That's what I mean by other people's being lucky with the Jinsu and me being fucked by the Jinsu. Uh, maybe today it's going to turn around. Maybe today it's going to uh, go, go around. Congratulations, uh, Bravenza, on uh, being better than me. <laughs> That's one way to put it, right? Come on, die now. Yo. <laughs> the inverted streamer luck. <laughs> Lol. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny because you know when I'm the most lucky is on other people's uh, stream. Like when I went to Seafrift a few times, I got like super lucky. Uh, so that maybe it's kind of how it can work, you know. So let's go like this. So we got the three runs right now completed. That's like one. Uh, we got like uh, five percent done, something like this. This is like five percent, I think. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So obviously, I think we know who is going to win the lack or what. I mean, if one of you gets a super rare, good for you. You're probably going to win the lack too. <laughs> it would be crazy. Um, it would be crazy, really, to see a super rare in the lack as it is, you know? I'm also lucky when I'm in lax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean... I think Scrog is probably one of the people that I see being the most, like, uh, lucky. Ah, uh, but yeah. That would be good. Sure. Go. Uh, let's keep going here. Boop. 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 Oh. 
that this room is always like really annoying for me probably one of the most annoying rooms but but uh we're getting there so i'm getting a little faster now when i get to the point where we can kill this guy at this location uh, this is usually pretty good So I, I have kind of these places where I like I can see if I'm doing like fast or not uh, Right now I'm doing kind of okay. I, I think that I have like uh, some sort of muscle memory uh, If you start doing this, you'll probably get lost in here uh, This is like the first few times I've been doing this. I sure was getting lost And even sometimes I take a wrong turn because like you kind of lose everything looks the same in here, right? It's like uh like this dirt color uh background you know so 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 it can be kind of monotone like right now you could see like where do i turn what do i do uh but yeah now i'm just at a point like uh like that new is saying it just goes automatically now it's just uh it's just like going around in circles it's uh, not in circles, but like if you once you know like the way and you've done like thousand uh, a thousand runs, it's way before that that you actually get uh, better. But like after a, a certain amount of runs, you kind of get uh, this sort of automation in your head. Um, so yeah, there we go. Let me tell you. I I hope we get like if I could get a rich purple silk shirt today, or. A Jinsu today, that would be kind of a consolation price. I'd be uh, a little bit less uh, pissed uh, if this happened. Uh, but uh, I, I wouldn't be pissed, right? If it doesn't happen, I get anything. Uh, but like the, the plan is really to get the super rare. Plan is really to get the super rare. Uh, such a good dungeon, always worth it. Exactly, right? In, in a way, I kind of want to. Um, you know, it's not something that people do anymore, and there's a very good reason why people don't do this anymore. It's because it's not very good, right? Um, it's not very good, and I think that um, it's good to kind of show that it's not very good in a way, right? Doesn't mean that it's impossible to get something good, and like that there's kind of two parts of this, right? It's not just to get the items in here, it's to sell the items in here. Which is uh, definitely uh, a big issue in some situations, right? Uh, you see people having these items for months, if not years. Um, it's really not something that's easy to sell. Um, but yeah, we can try and hope, really. Uh, if I get the super rare, uh, I don't know uh, yet what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I was thinking of maybe just giving it away to a viewer. Last time, that's what the plan. If we got one, we would just give it to someone in chat. Uh, but right now, uh, we don't know. Uh, what does the older man wheel reward do? Uh, I can kind of show you. So, uh, you can add runs to the 60 uh, total runs. So, and you can also remove runs. We're not going to go under 60. Like right now, if you get a minus one, we're still going to be at 60. But you can do this and you can kind of double up and respin. Uh, you can add a debate to the wheel. You can add a plus three runs to the wheel. You can get an extra giveaway ticket. And we got a debated by Monkey D. Luffy right now because the first time he spun, he oh, got. The uh, and there you go. We got someone who. Uh, Winky Face is going to spin here. Let's go, Winky Face. And we got double up and respin. Okay. So let's see what happens here. Oh boy, I'm scared now. Oh. Okay, so what do we do now? Is it like four times? Do we do four times? Oh my fucking god. Nah, no, we keep it at two. We keep it at two. We're gonna be good boys, okay? It's it's at two, okay? At two. I don't wanna die. So it's four more runs, okay? So now we got four more runs. With Monkey D. Luffy. So let's change this. Okay. This was good. No, 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 no. Yeah, four. No, 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 no. Not four. It's not the, it's not the spins. It's like the result. It, the result is like. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That, I said it before the spin happened. Okay. Could have been a minus one. No, no, no. It's, it's four runs. I mean. 
you have to understand guys that here you're when you come in this chat okay you kind of have a responsibility to get scammed okay this is kind of how it works this is kind of how the whole the whole thing works is you're gonna get scammed in here okay this is kind of how it works if you're gonna spin a wheel expect to get scammed that's kind of how it goes that's the, that's like the canadian classic right here Who dares awaken <laughs> <laughs> oh boy what a what a what a what a day to be alive right what a day to be alive all right we're gonna vendor here and we completed the first run okay we got we got another one here let's go check uh another uh spin here good luck uh Kyberta. and we got plus three rounds plus three in the eye uh, the pain, the pain. I thought it would be another double up, but yeah, there we go. I have many lucky dudes for you, like. Oh, all right, and there's some shit. God fucking damn it. How do you deem a wheel? It's in the channel points. Uh, if you look at your channel points on Twitch. <laughs> Uh, you can choose like some of the rewards. It's at uh, a, a little bit, it's one coin less than 3,000 coin. So let's vendor all of this shit here. Let's see how much is the shovel in my round. It's not very expensive. All the man! <laughs> got another one here. Alright, give me a sec. I will do the all the man with the amazing sound effect uh, that I did yesterday while preparing the stream. Ah, uh, so let's go. There we go. That's okay. That's okay. And we got. No. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, I have decided to give away all my gold. Who wants it? No, 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 no. I did not do that, guys. Yeah, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shuffle the things, okay? I shuffled them because right now I needed a shuffle, okay? Because right now it's not going the way it's supposed to be going, okay? I'm not happy with the wheel. The wheel is a bad, bad wheel, okay? <laughs> God fucking damn it. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, don't worry, now I only have one point, so I will... <laughs> it will not happen again, okay. Uh, AI scanned me? What? Did it, uh, did it not do your thing? Uh, what's going on? What is going on right now? I have not decided to give away all of my gold, okay? Don't listen to Canadia AI. There you go. What's going on? AI can yes, it would give its gold away. I, I mean, that's just, uh, it's his own person, right? I love the older man shot. Yeah, older man. Yeah, I, uh, this is a one take, right? This is a one take. I just decided to, uh, you know what? I wanted to have a sound effect for when we do the older man wheel. So I just did the, so I just did the thing, you know? Just <laughs> clicked on it. Uh, any luck so far? No. Ah, uh, okay, it's not, it's not me you're asking. There we go. But yeah, we're at run number five. It's it's uh, it's going forward, right? It's going forward. There we go. The, mm, how can I get renowned in uh, Zarek Mortis? Uh, <laughs> you can get renowned in Zarek Mortis. Uh, by just doing the campaign, uh, if you haven't done it on this character, right? If you haven't done the campaign on this character, you can do it in uh, in Zarek Mortis. And almost every quest will give you one renown, so it can be, like, very, very fast. All right, let's spin the older man wheel again for Monkey D. Luffy. Can you do that? Can you do me a solid and have another animated, uh, please? Please, uh... Ah, oh, come on now! What the fuck is this bullshit? the fuck is this bullshit? Uh, fuck this wheel. 
Okay? Whoever put that fucking wheel in there, fuck you, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have shuffled. I think the shuffle was the mistake here. Uh... Whatever. Whatever. Okay. It's okay because all of this bad luck is gonna give me like some older man. What the fuck? I'm clicking the wrong button all the time. There we go. And this is gonna give me older man luck to be unlucky in the wheel. That's kinda how it works. So that's okay because we're gonna get a super rare, okay? That's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Yo. Uh, so let's see here. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, we got another chest here. We need to open. <laughs> we'll be here all night. Yeah, <laughs> stack the wheel for us. I can forgive the ghost. Yeah, I mean, AI Canada is really, really making me struggle in my life. Oh boy. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, we're hoping to um we're hoping at least at least I'm pretty fast right now. So but we need to be like this is this is a part of the challenge here is to uh kinda keep the speed that you have. So like sometimes what happens when doing a challenge like this is you kinda get tired and you start being much, much, much slower. So then uh you really struggle to complete the challenge in a timely manner, which is a big problem because um if you do the runs in seven or eight minutes at some point, uh, you start losing like one or two minutes every single run. Uh, you do this and this can add to over an hour extra time. So, you know. Um, so, yeah. But I I just want to... Right now, if I could get just what Revenza got so far, I would be happy with the total thing. But you think about it, last time it took me 11 hours to do the, the older man runs. But we got 150,000 gold for our, for our trouble from selling the Jinsu. And we did sell some other little things for maybe 15,000 gold, something like this. So it, it, it's almost like... Um, it's almost like 15,000 gold per hour that we get here. And we do get a little bit of raw gold as well. I think we get something like 10,000 raw gold from the whole thing. Maybe less. I'm not sure exactly. But we'll see today how much raw gold we get. Because I did restart uh, the, the, the gold counter at the top. So we'll see what how much we get at the end. So, uh, so yeah. Are you looking forward for the Pandora Remix? Absolutely am. Uh, and I have a strategy to kind of make gold in a in not a way that you might be thinking. So I consider leveling as gold making now because all me are so powerful, right? And right now I have something like 30... 30 characters that are level uh, 40 and more and like 20 characters 25 maybe that are I think it's 25 characters that are 60 or more So with this this is gonna be the best way to level characters. I think and With that I think it's a very very fun way to do so as well I, I think that uh, wow remix looks extremely fun. And I'm gonna buy a tons of things with my bronze I think it's gonna be really fun. I think it's gonna be amazing and I think, uh, I think that it's just an amazing thing that Blizzard has done. And it's rare that I've been uh, excited so much for something like this, right? It's rare that I've been excited so much for something like this. Uh, you see, like, uh, the game became, like, the, the reason why I only do gold making, I don't do collecting, or I don't really do... Um, uh, raiding or PvP is because uh, that it's just too repetitive for the time it was, right? So I've been doing like collecting mounts for something like five, six, seven years, and Blizzard just kept releasing recolors and not really uh, mounts that would really, really make me happy. So it's not, it's not that they're like 
all bad mounts. There's a lot of mounts that I see today that I would like to get, but sometimes there's like 12 recolors of that mount that I want, and it kind of loses its uh, its uniqueness to me. I like having a mount that shows that you've been doing something in the game, stuff like that. Like um, in the past, I did get uh, Invincible. I wanted it just because of what it meant in the game, and I did get it on EU. Stuff like that. But yeah, it's the same thing with raiding. It kind of got... Okay, so raiding... I love raiding, okay? I used to be a mythic raider. Uh, I, I used to really love it, too. Is there nothing to do here? God damn it. Um, I used to really, really like this. So, But with time, uh, after like 10 years of doing like the raids, I, you just kind of become this sort of... Uh, okay, well, uh, it's, it's kind of repetitive, right? It's kind of the same freaking thing and all of the trash and all of the uh, guild stuff you know getting a guild i did a lot of at the end i was only pugging and i was able to sometimes get some good pucks for mythic and stuff like that but it kind of depended on the tier right uh, of what uh, of what the rate it was some raids were definitely easier than others but it, it kind of got to this point where i felt like the game was just kind of putting you on the treadmill right it, it, it was just like, okay, so you got this season and now new season comes in, your gear is worthless. And this is something that I really kind of miss is having this sort of uh, progression through the raid. So right now, if you enter the game at any point, you can get gear from uh, only the new raid. The old raid gives you garbage gear, okay? And to me, I think this really fucking sucks. It gives you no reason... Uh, to do content that could be just a few months old, right? Uh, and and that really sucks. Back in the day, I liked the fact that you could go through earlier raids uh, to get some items for the big raid, right? But uh, I think they're doing this in because people don't have the time to go through the older raids to re-gear before going into the the newer raid. Uh, but it's like, whatever. I, I like the personally... When I was going through one raid before I could enter the other one. And I don't know. That's just me. But even then, even it, that's not the biggest thing that's really annoying for me. Uh, that's not the biggest thing uh, that, that I think was it. But for me, what was the biggest thing is just how much time you wait, right? You wait because they're taking a break. You wait because someone wiped uh, wiped your group because they they they're not they, they made a mistake, right? Uh, you you wipe because uh, people was uh, disconnecting, and you and then you wait for someone. Oh, you don't have a warlock? Let's wait ten minutes for this person to get in here. Uh, uh, it's just kind of this. Uh, this guy doesn't like three people in our raid don't have their consumables. Uh, let's open the guild bank and give them consumables. And all of this shit is just... Like, at some point you accept it because the boss fights are fun, but when the boss fights becomes less fun because you've done them so often, uh, like, some of the bosses are just basically the same design. Like, I'm sure that they're doing their best, and I'm not saying the, the people designing raids aren't, like, amazing. They are amazing. Uh, but for me, I just don't feel it's worth my time to get in there anymore. Uh, especially that for me, like in the in the past, I felt like if you had good gear, it would have a real impact in the open world and other activities in WoW. Now I just feel like the 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 monsters get stronger uh, depending on how much gear you have or something, right? If you have more gear, then the monster is stronger, which means you don't need to get gear. You can have garbage gear and do as much damage as someone. And that's how it feels. Uh, I don't know what's the math behind it. That's just how it feels. Personally, I go in the open world, I can kill anything, and I have gear from the previous season, which makes no sense, right? Uh, did you ever get a cutting edge ach achievement? No, I did not. Uh, I did get uh, to go down Mythic when it was carrying content. Uh, that's my one of my best tiers. So last boss on Mythic I did get. Uh, I didn't raid like Mythic for for like that long. Usually what we did with my guild is just like kind of dabble the free, the first few bosses on Mythic, and we usually killed like roughly half of the bosses. Uh, but on that tier we we decided to go harder, and we actually got to uh, 
to the actual like last boss. Uh, but I, we didn't even get the, we got like something like a few pulls on Mythic. And after that, the guild kind of decided to take a break. Because Gul'dan was kind of a big step, but not that much. We could have gotten Cutting Edge on that one. People were not really motivated by the gear or the achievements and shit like that. We didn't really care. Uh, so it was like, it, it didn't really matter to us if, if we got Cutting Edge or not back in the day. So, yeah. But it would have been cool. It would have been cool. Uh, the Mop Remix feels like giving people a reason to play Mop again. And it's nice. Map was one of my favorite expansions before. Uh, uh, it's like my top three expansions, probably. Uh, I think Legion is my number one. I would say probably Dragonflight is my number two. And number one is... Uh, I don't know. Number three is Map. That's kind of how I would calculate. Um, but yeah, I would, I would place probably Vanilla as being... Maybe second in front of Dragonflight. And TBC uh, would be in front of Legion. So TBC is probably my number one of all time. Um, and yeah. I didn't play Wrath of the Lich King. So for the people who are like, what the fuck? You don't play Wrath of the Lich King? I haven't played it when it was uh, current content. So I don't really know. I really liked uh, the other ones. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, for me, Pandaria Remix is is not really about Pandaria for me, okay? Um, Pandaria is is was a cool expansion, but that's not why I'm excited for a season, uh, not season of discovery, but like for this uh, for this thing. Uh, can I join the lack? Yes, you can. Uh, to join the lack, you need to uh, go into your friends list, uh, find me, and then you do a send request for invite. You don't have my battle tag. I'll put it in the chat right now. There we go. That's kind of how it works. And then you just need to accept the invite that will automatically be sent if you do this. Okay. Uh, but yeah, for me, here's the thing that I like about uh, the remix. Okay. First of all, dragon flying from the start. Okay. So that's that's something that I would like to have in the current game. Okay. If you could get uh, dynamic flying at level 10, I would be very, very happy because that would make leveling less tedious, less stupid. I would fucking love that shit, okay? Uh, so that's something that I'm like, right off the bat, I'm like, well, this is great. Leveling with dragon flying is amazing. So that's a big W for me. Okay, so what's next? Is there other things? Uh, bronze, okay? Uh, bronze is a really cool thing to add in the game. I think bronze should be a currency in the current World of Warcraft. Uh, that's some things. Uh, and, and you know these uh, these Dream Surge coalescence from the Dream Surge kind of event where you get little balls in the air. Well, you got this in the new uh, in the new WoW remix no! as well. Uh, not that it's a big deal. So no, we get some ads right please, now. No, we'll continue the no, discussion after uh, no, after the ads. But for no. now, let's do some stretching because this is going to be a long stream probably. So I want to make sure that I stretch pretty regularly. So let's get into it. So start with the neck. Go. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 my body is on. No. Nine. Okay. Arms. Oh yeah. That's an old body right now. Go. Okay. Okay. Blades. Oh, that's the stuff right here. Okay. Other side. Oh. Yeah, this is roughly helping. Yep. Well, need to wake up the body. Go. Yeah. Other side. Okay. Now, 
Let's get the legs in. I'm also level at least five tunes with remix. With the shared cloak with AXP buff account wide. Yes, I'm coming. Uh, I will be talking more about the, the, the freaking cloak, which is one of the best features, right? I think the cloak is one of the best features of the whole WoW remix thing. And I want to see how powerful people can get. Oh. But yeah, I think they should nerf it right now because it seems like it can get a little bit too powerful. But um, but we'll see. A drink here. Hmm. And going here. There we go. Oh, we should put this a little bit higher, right? Because my cam is kind of on top of it. Still higher. Oh, I can just do something like this, right? Yeah, okay. So, the ads are almost over right now. But yeah, I think uh, I think it would be... It would make a lot of sense to, uh, to do this, right? It would make a lot of sense right now to do this. With uh, with other clock. So thank you for your patience during the ads. We're back. So yeah, as I was talking about the um, the WoW remix, I think that it's very clear for me uh, that there is so many things that they're trying, right? And to me, this is what the game should be aiming to be. It's not no more sitting on our asses and just releasing a new raid, releasing a new season of PvP, releasing a new season of Mythic Plus. Having a zone with some rares in them and some stuff to collect. And then uh, we'll just do exactly the same thing in the next season. Uh, as much as like the Timeless Owl has been a great zone. And something like Zarek Mortis is an okay zone as well. And Korcha is not so great, but okay. Oh, damn. Gold play Bracers? Never heard, never seen that item before. This is this is probably a lot of fake value, uh, because like bracers are not. I don't know if they're unique, but they don't. The average shell price is like seven thousand gold. But hey, uh, maybe you can sell it for a hundred k. Who knows? Maybe even more. But uh, grats, that's a big item right here. Damn, I I would have thought that the. Uh, that Bravenza would win the lack with his item, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, with that item. Go. And I'm uh, in solidly in third place. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's go like this. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I think... Um, I think I would really like it if, um, if uh, like the the cloak, as uh, that noob said, I think I'll be able to level ten to twenty characters if if I want with that cloak. Uh, if we can get to something like, I don't know, if we could get to something like, hmm, if we can get the cloak to a hundred percent. Right, if we could get the cloak to a hundred percent, I think that this could become some sort of uh, maybe we could level the characters in like three to four hours, something like this. We have plenty of runs left to win the lack, yeah, probably, yeah, probably. But we got one more completed, we're at run number seven is completed, so it's going pretty well so far, a little bit slow. I gotta say, a little bit slow, but uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, we don't need to render. So let's just go back. There we go. And pick up the pace. I gotta say, I've been um, commenting quite a bit. I know last time we were like much faster, but at the start last time, we were slower than what we are right now. So we'll see how this goes, but uh could go in many different ways. Come on. Good. Alright, let's go. Let's go. No more surrender. 
fast gameplay, incredible stuff. Oh, we got another shoveler for uh, Dario. Congrats on the shoveler. We're gonna shovel tonight. There we go. Hello, Hubla. How you doing? Nice to see you. All right, let's go like this. All right. So, um, I think that uh, it, it, like as I said, like, if I could get a rich purple silk shirt, I know lots of people. I've seen a lot of people trying to get uh the rich purple silk shirt recently. I think it makes sense because the rich purple silk shirt is a great item to get um, on your auction house for sure. Uh, it's something that's been having a really good sell rate recently because of the profession achievements. Lots of people try to farm it, right? Because they want to learn it because of the profession achievements. Um, so I think that this is becoming an item that lots of people will give up on farming it, right? Um... So it's nice to, uh, I'm excited to see what uh, what's going to come with this. Excited to see like if the price is even going to go higher. Because I feel like lots of people are buying the pattern and not that many people are farming it. Or at least for now, I think lots of people will try to farm it more and more as price changes over time. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough item to farm. Lots of people will give up uh, before actually getting it. Right. I know that I think it was uh, Alder Rao that I saw in Older Man the other day when I raided him. Uh, he was doing Older Man. I think it was to get the Rich Purple Silk shirt. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he knows how much runs he needs to do to get that pattern. But who knows, maybe he'll get a super rare from this, right? So that would be pretty crazy if he got a super rare. I, I, I'm i not even sure you knew that the super rare were a thing. So yeah. For me, if I could just get Agentsu or uh, that thing, I would be happy with that, right? Or that uh, Rich Purple Silk shirt. Uh, but it's not, it's really not a guarantee. Even if you do like 70 runs or more. It's a really tough item to get. So hard to target farm. Yeah, it's like a wall drop, right? And in some specific levels. And it's extremely rare. It's always been extremely rare. It's like something that I haven't got a lot of in all of the gold making years that I've been doing. Uh, I haven't got a lot of rich purple silk shirt, I can tell you. I might have gotten like four or five. And keep in mind, I've done like over like something like 1500 runs of this. So, so yeah, it's like, uh, it's a lot. It's for sure a lot to, to think of it in a different way, you know, I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, while wow remix, I think the cloak is what motivates me the most. I, I would like to have this sort of evergreen, uh, for heirloom. I think that seeing this cloak that they're doing in the, in the wow remix, I think that this cloak uh, could be the new heirlooms for World of Warcraft. I think it should be. Like, what if you had heirlooms that you could upgrade by just playing the game, right? Or what if you had something like achievement? Okay, so let me tell you about a feature that I really like in Guild Wars 2 that is not in World of Warcraft. Uh, achievement points uh, gives you... Uh, rewards okay account account wide unlock so every 500 achievement points you would get a certain uh account uh account thing so it could be more experience from leveling it could be more more looted raw gold from monsters they even have uh and i think blizzard has the best thing for this traders tenders right uh, they have their own store currency in uh, in Guild Wars 2 that they actually give when you get a certain amount of achievement points, right? They also have daily achievement points, which is pretty cool. So, um, 
You can get extra points if you do your dailies. You get some achievement points as well. Uh, just give me a sec. All right, sorry, I need to smush my nails. All right, let's spend there some stuff. Uh, but yeah, daily achievement points were really, really so cool, right? Um, so, so that's kind of the thing. And you know what else they could do, like with achievement points? Uh, they could give bronze. They could give bronze with achievement points in the current retail WoW, right? And bronze could be a new currency for like cosmetics and mounts and shit like that. A bit of a um, of a luck protection item. That stuff that you want, you could just buy with bronze, and you can find you get bronze from basically everything that you do in the game. Uh, or they could just be trader standards as well, right? Uh, if you get like every five hundred achievement points, could give you maybe a hundred tenders, something like this. I think people would start making achievements now. I think people will actually explore the whole game. Just to get some trader standards, just to get some uh, whatever currency. And, you know, what if we could get your heirlooms uh, upgraded with achievement points, right? What if every 500 achievement point, your heirloom would give like 1 or 2% extra experience and looted raw gold? So, like, people that have like 30,000 achievement points would get a big advantage, but... I think that people would kind of be motivated to do achievements. Why, why do I not ach do achievements right now? Because they don't give anything that I want, right? And if you tell me that I can level faster and have like heirlooms just from achievement points, now I would be like, okay, well, that's more incentive for me to do this. And I think I would like to do this, right? Uh, right now in the WoW Remix, it's very, it seems very easy to upgrade your cloak, right? Uh, from just basically playing the game and I'm expecting that something like mob grinding could be uh, absolutely brutal when it came when it comes to um, to um, to upgrading your cloak what if you could farm the frogs in like timeless isle to get a bunch of this I know there's gonna be some hits and miss with the wow remix but if, if I think that at the end of the event, I could easily have leveled up like 10 characters. Now, I will play WoW Remix on stream, but I will also play normal retail on stream. Like, it's not just going to be uh, WoW Remix, unless it's like so fun that I can't stop myself. But I doubt it. I mean, I need to post my auctions. I need to make my retail gold. And there is actually an argument for, uh, for something that I've heard. And I think it's a very smart argument. Um, so season four, right? Uh, lots of people, me included, have invested, uh, gold into materials for season four. And lots of people have been saying, well, I'm not sure that you should do that because, uh, I think that most people will, will kind of skip season four as soon as WoW Remix is going to be live. So I don't know if this is going to happen, but I could definitely see it happen that, WoW Remix completely swoops all of the player base into playing WoW Remix instead of the retail thing, right? So uh, I don't know how I don't know how good it's going to be. Maybe not, but I think lots of people will farm a ton of um, a ton of WoW Remix instead of doing raids that they've already been doing, right? They've already done those raids, so I'm like, will they really do the same raids a second time? I'm not so sure about this, you know. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm hoping I'm wrong. Uh, just got a weapon I've never seen before. Stone Vault Shiv. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a blue BOE. It's, got, it's not worth a lot. Yeah, I, I've gotten a lot of those. Um, it, it's nothing special, but uh, maybe you can sell it for a few thousand. You know, it's like, uh, it's not like that common either. So, so yeah. Not worth it, yeah. So, uh, do people actually buy these transmog items? Yes, yes, absolutely they do. But uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of um, uh, things to consider for transmog. Okay, 
So right now, if you look at the top five items, uh, like three, I want to say that three to four of them are kind of fake value, okay? So what is fake value? So fake value, there's two kind of main price sources when it comes to, uh, um, when it comes to doing something like, uh, selling transmit so there is two price sources that tsm uses and one of them is inflated as hell okay so there is db region market and db region sale okay so market is basically the price that the the players post the item for okay which means if someone posts an item worth nothing for a gold cap, it will increase the, the market value. While the other one, the sale, the sale is the average price it sells for, okay? So I'm going to show you something after I kill those golems so that you can better understand what fake value is, okay? And I will show you with uh, Beacon of Hope, okay? So Beacon of Hope here is... Right now, on Marum, it's 21,000 gold. The market value is at 12,000. But the region sale average is 1,000 gold. So what does this mean? This means people, have, on average, post it for 12,000 gold. But when people buy this item, on average, it's at 1,000 gold. So, is... Can you sell it for, like, a higher price? Yes, you can. Yes, you can sell it for a higher price. Right now, it could sell for the 20000 that it is on the auction house. Uh, there is this con there is the big misconception with Transmog. Uh, I've seen with some players. Um, there's a big misconception with, uh, with what I see with this. So, for me, one of the misconceptions is that um, Transmog sells more when it's at a cheaper price. While this is true, uh, most of the times it doesn't really affect the sell rate that much. So people thinking that when you reduce the price on the transmog that it's going to sell now on the auction house is a big, big, big misconception. And this is why sometimes prices are tanking because people are undercutting like drastically. And doing this will make it that you won't get like the full value of your items. Uh... Yes, there is a speed kind of flask. Uh, it's called uh, the um, charge file of alacrity. This will give you a ton of speed. So this is something that you can refresh every 30 minutes. Or you can stack two of them. Uh, so yeah, let me improve the number of runs here. There we go. Nine runs. Let's go. Let's go, Kenny. Let's go. Uh, and yeah, you can join. You remember how to how to join uh, Legendarism? You just need to send requests for invite, and then accept the invite. I'll just actually close up the challenge window. Uh, you do slash l a c. Uh, so you do slash lack. There we go. Whoops. There you go. Just slash lack. Go. Uh. No problem. Oh, yeah, we're uh, we're this is our tenth run already, so we're uh, we haven't gotten really much of uh, of good stuff right now. We got some shovelers, we got a shoveler, so I think a shoveler is already like an item that can definitely sell in my realm. So, when it comes to uh, to continue on the transmog discussion here, because this is mostly a transmog farm, what we're doing right now, right? Uh, the most gold that we're gonna get from all this is from transmog, so um. Last time, the Jinsu that I got it here, the Jinsu that you see here, right? I sold it for 150,000 gold. Now, uh, the region sale average for the Jinsu is a little bit lower than that. It's more like 110,000, I think. If I can see here. No, it's 90,000 gold that it sells on average. I sold it for, uh, for way more than this at 150. So, does it sell like the stuff from Transmog? Yes, but is it selling fast? Absolutely not, okay? This is a market for the patient people, right? 
Uh, this is not something that is going to be super easy to go through. Um, I think that you have to temper your expectations. And you should not aim for getting sales from this. Personally, I don't post any item that's at 1,000 gold or less. Like in mid buyout, if it's below, if it's below like 1,000 gold, I just don't sell the item. I vendor it. Or for some people, if you're learning the transmog, you can just learn the transmog. Right? Okay? I uh, have not that. Yeah, you need to to download Ludopraiser, Ludopraiser Challenge, and have a TSM being active. Oh, you're in here. You're in here. But uh, yeah, if it's not counting, uh, that could be the reason why. That could be the reason why. Well, I mean, you have Ludopraiser Challenge and Ludopraiser, but do you have TSM active with your realms being set up right now? Uh, maybe that's the issue. Uh, but yeah, I think for me, uh, Transmog is one of my favorite markets. It's a slow market, but for me, where I am right now, um, this is really, really good. So, so I'm on Moonguard, okay? So Moonguard is a role-playing realm with a full pop, right? It's not as big of a pop of Area 52, for example. But in general, there's a lot of people here that buy Transmog. So this is a favorable... Transmog place. If you go, if you're on a low pop and a medium pop, remember how I said that Transmog sells pretty slow. Well, if you're on a lower pop, it's even slower, much slower actually. So, I think that there's a lot of um, understanding that has to be made from the population on your server is a factor when it comes to Transmog. Big factor. Hello, Bombasku. How you doing? Nice to see you. There we go. It's Arjun Dom, but with better prices. Yes, yes. Uh, this is an MA round that I mentioned, but yeah. But the AI, the auction house was region wide for materials mostly, not for items like Transmark, at least not yet. This is something that could definitely happen. Uh, the way that uh, Blizzard is more, more like they're doing a globalization of the of the game more and more there's no more friction between factions uh cross realm trading is here i mean with cross realm trading being here for me it's kind of like if it was a region one auction house but that not everyone can do but let me tell you about what's coming up with the region wide feature that's coming in uh in the pre-patch is warbands okay so right now what you could do is have one account and create and have your stuff in your warband bank go in a different realm and you'll have gold there too you'll have gold on any realm that you want so you can buy from any auction house that you want right but at this point what's the freaking point of having uh, uh like 50 different auction houses for the 50 different realms i could definitely see the auction house go region wide it would make a lot of sense but if it doesn't, there's going to be an opportunity with doing some cross-realm trading, having only one account. This is definitely what I'm going to be doing. Uh, you run this on the normal. There's no heroic version of this, I believe. So there you go. Uh, so that was run number 10. Let's go. Beautiful. We got Florence out here. Nice. All right, uh, do we need to vendor? Yes, we do. Let's vendor some stuff. Oh, we got six people in the lag. Guys, so many people. Thank you so much for joining. It's nice when uh, people join like this. Very appreciated. It gives me, it gives me extra determination to get the super rare. Arjun now, now is super bad. Yes, I mean, um, this is what happens when there's too many people on Arjun Lun. And uh, like there's just way too much supply. I mean, the sell rate is going to be amazing there, but uh, definitely a slow play. Like, this is going to sell for really shitty prices, if I may say. There we go. So, let's go back in there. Uh, got my transmog crafted patterns from BRD and decided to do 10 runs and join. Nice. Go. Let's go. Let's go. So many people in here. There we go. Um. I 
I usually sell above 200 to 300 gold on my auction now. So the problem is I post by hand uh, a single digit gold occasionally. Uh, okay, so if you want to get into the transmog selling, uh, let me tell you, okay? So you need to have TSM, okay? Now, some people will tell you, oh, no, you don't need TSM. Like, if you if you want to waste your time by posting transmog, don't use TSM. Um, this is so freaking important, right? Uh, I think you need to do the intro quest. Uh, I think the quest starts in in uh, in Auroboss. Maybe I, I'm not too sure how to unlock Torghast, but usually it's in the first few quests of uh, of Shadowlands. So uh, I'm pretty sure you just need to check the quest in Auroboss. Uh, but yeah, 200 and 300 gold also is a big issue, and, and I can explain why. Uh, I'm all about the gold per hour right now, and since posting takes about 3 seconds, uh, that means that you can do about 1,200 posts per, uh, per hour, okay? So in a world where, uh, an item has, like, a very low sell rate, like Transmog, and you post it, and on average you need to post it 50 times to get um to get like the 200 gold for example okay so you post an item 50 times to get 200 gold which means every time you post it you make four gold okay every time you post it you make four gold i don't think this is worth it personally uh to, to only make four gold from posting an item uh if you can make like a hundred gold from posting an item that's just way better right I think that the, there's also bur it can lead to like burnout when it comes to uh when it comes to well this is not what I wanted okay I'm gonna move this somewhere else because this is too there we go uh burnout of posting items because this is what happens when you keep the items at two hundred and three hundred gold you will have a lot more stuff to post on the auction house okay you will have a lot more stuff to post on the auction house. Uh, and that can really become an issue when you have to spend an hour or even 30 minutes a day posting your auctions. It has to be worth it to, to spend that much time. If you post your auctions for 30 minutes every day of Transmog and every day you get one or 2,000 gold, that's not worth your time. Not only did you take the time to farm these items, like selling these items, it, it will take you a long time. So I, I think that it's very clear for me that Doing like student that posts like items at like 10 gold sometimes is a, a complete waste of your time. Like the goal, the goal at the end is to make a lot of gold. And the way that you calculate gold is in a relationship with time, right? Because time is money. And if you have something like, I don't know, if you do, if you post items even at like, 500 gold sometimes it's not really worth posting at 500 gold uh that's up to you to decide but you can calculate the gold per hour just from posting auctions that's a really big uh a really really big factor in here uh just listen to what you say for say trust me i've uh, posted region sale average price the region sale average price is a great uh tool tip uh, uh, not a tool tip but a price source uh region sale average is a really good thing hello barla how you doing Nice to see you. Um, and we didn't have our discussions. I think Barla wanted... I don't remember what you wanted to talk about, but you needed my help for something, uh, Barla. Uh, but you, you need to, to send me a message on Discord. Otherwise, after the stream, I, will, I forget everything. <laughs> so there you go. Um, but yeah, the, the region sell average is a great price source. It's the average price that uh, an item sells for. So you should aim to sell your items for above this price, okay? You should always aim to to, to, to do like to, to to you should always aim to send the to, to sell items for above the region sale average. That's your aim, okay? Uh but your minimum price has to be in relation in my mind with the region sale average, but also your normal and um, max price should be like super inflated, super high. That's kind of my way of doing things. You can do like your own ways. I'm just kind of sharing from my perspective. 
Uh, but yeah, I teleported the disc. Uh, well, first, oh, what is this? Oh, shit! What the hell is this? I've never seen this before. What? Let's go! It's a super bad... No, you don't teleport. I use, uh, I use Dreamwalk personally to teleport. Damn, we did not expect that Canadia could win this lack now, huh? Now Canadia has a chance to win the lack. Let's go. Let's go, Canadia. Let's go. Oh, we don't need to do this. Uh, let's do let's go. Let's go, Canadia. Let's go. Pro player. This is what happens when you're a pro player. <laughs> oh, wait. The rich getting richer in big time. Got those two from RFK, that one and sold the other. The crafted sells so well, my story. Oh really? The the like if you learn the pattern? Oh, I might take a look into that. Go. Let's go, Canadian number one. I've been farming all the uh but uh let me let me just read it. Uh let's say an item Mumbai Mumbai is sixty five thousand region sell is two thousand. What price you will post it at? Um, it kind of depends on the sell rate of the item, uh, Bambescu. So, now we're getting a little bit of a, of a different thing. So, if an item has a very, very bad sell rate, uh, I will just post it at 2,000 gold if I need to post it at 2,000 gold. Uh, because the chances of this item selling, I need to help this item to sell if it has a terrible sell rate. So this is kind of what I would do in this situation. If it has a good sell rate, probably would just undercut up to something like 5,000 gold. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, this is probably just an inflated price, right? When you look at it, averagely sells for 2,000 gold, but as a, is usually posted at 65,000 gold, I will just undercut up to something like maybe... Three to four thousand gold. Uh, I, at some point, I don't want to protect this item. Uh, what do I mean by protecting an item? So, the the purpose of a minimum price is to protect you from selling an item for too cheap. Okay. The minimum price is way more important on items like a Jinsu, for example, or the pattern that just got high value item super important right um uh, so yeah i think this is kind of very important to to keep in mind uh you wanna am i up here yeah there you go uh i think it's important to mostly protect your top items with your minimum price but when it comes to like super low salary trash you don't want to protect that item um uh, 0.02 is really good it's actually a really good sell rate for transmog What's the name of the item? What's the name of the item, if I may ask? Because 0 0.02 is usually decent. Uh, I've been farming older men a couple times uh, a week to help someone get the shirt pattern. Uh, did, it, did the person get the shirt pattern? That would be pretty cool. It is a uh, it is quite a tough pattern to get, for sure. But we're definitely going to get it today, Kappa. Right, guys? Right guys, right girls, right everyone. Yeah. Uh, go. Going. This is run number 12. So yeah, we could spend a big moment of time today in here. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're still farming. Yeah, I mean, this is this is not something that I would call being super farmable. This is a situation where it could actually be worth it to buy it for 500,000 gold. That's how rare this item is. You don't want to lose your mind trying to get this item. Uh, yeah. Or I don't know if there's like uh, other places that are just better than this place to, to, to farm this pattern. Personally, I like Dire Mall because for people, okay, so so like right now, okay, if you if you if you and your friend are gonna sell the transmog that you get in here, you can continue being here. But if you don't sell the transmog, go to Dire Mall. Uh, Dire Mall, the I think it's the East Dire Mall East. 
If you go in there, you're going to get a lot of raw gold. Well, not raw gold, but materials, okay? You're going to get a lot of herbs without having herbalism, by the way. Right? You're going to get lots of herbs dropped from the mobs. And these herbs are now worth a lot more. Uh, because I don't know what happened to these uh, to these prices. But lots of the vanilla herbs are pretty pricey. for Not crazy pricey, but you could get like three to 5,000 gold uh, for 10 runs of, of Tyramol. And you can get the books as well. The books uh, for the appearance from the Legion Paladin thing. Uh, so there's a lot of, uh, of of good stuff in there. Uh, I lost my mind years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's not a pl a good place to farm all the men in general. Uh, if you're not going for the like for the for the shirt pattern, it's not a great thing. Uh, with her, with herbalism is even better, right? Uh, I don't know if the if the mobs can be herb. I know that there is some plants in there, especially like ghost mushroom. Ghost mushroom is very expensive in there, so uh, it's one of the most expensive herbs right now. So I would say definitely go for uh, for ghost mushroom here. Uh, and all of the herbs that you feel are worth collecting. Yeah. Um, he needs it for the achievement crafting just Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this. This this completely changed the price of the pattern. Uh, I remember. Okay, before the achievement, I had the rich purple silk pattern. I had it for a long time, and I was selling it for a hundred thousand gold, and it was not selling at all. Right now, today, if I post it for five hundred thousand, it's probably gonna sell. So yeah. <laughs> We'll see. I would really like to get one and sell it for a very hefty price and have a nice screenshot from that. I would be quite happy with this. Alright, let's sell some garbage here. Uh, Time for East for a while. Yeah, East is pretty good for all of the herbs that you get. We'll see here. This set of the male combat things can be pretty decent. We'll see what prices are. Not good. Okay, so uh, all of the stuff. Uh, this is going into my don't sell pile. The reason sell of it is pretty low. There we go. Okay. Good fortune to our so, friends. let's get back in here and we'll update to 12 runs. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's do this for now. Got some more. Hmm. All right. I, you kind of forget how long these runs take. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> uh, kind of makes me want to make a speed druid. I have extra druids. I mean, um, making druids right now, speed druids are not too expensive to make. Um, I think that's a good investment as well. Um. I don't know, like, uh, oh, we got the ship that someone was talking about earlier. Uh, but it's really bad right now. It's 800 gold in my server. Definitely going to vendor that. Uh, but, but, but yeah, it's like uh, speed druids. Uh, you could always wait, but now there's the level 70 kind of speed druid that could be kind of decent. I don't have a level 70 druid yet, but this is something that could be very good for something like Iron Expeditions, for example. Uh, right now, uh, I might get one before the end of the expansion. Um, but yeah, I think it could become the new thing. It, it kind of depends on what happens in the next expansion, right? Right now, if you invest lots of gold and time into getting uh, a speed route from level 61 speed route, for example, uh, that's good. But imagine if in the next expansion, there's a new thing that makes your speed route so much slower than a current... That the war within version of the of the speed druid or whatever speed class there is. I would love to get a new speed class to be honest. So fucking tired of playing druid. Uh, it's it, it's not uh, like uh, I know that we're like a very very small part of the community that gets speed druids, but um, it would be really nice if uh they would go for other classes that could have this sort of great mobility kind of pedigree if you will like um 
I think it would be amazing. I would really like to see this. Really, really like to see. Uh, go. All right, let's go. Still, we got a pretty crazy lack here with the three big items. Kinda, I don't think I've seen an Olderman lack being this high in a long time. So there you go. Uh, okay. This is run 13. Let's go. Yeah, I really hope that we can do... Uh, I hope that the stream doesn't take like... 12 hours like last time or 11 and a half hours like last time but uh, we'll see <laughs> we'll see uh we'll see maybe it's gonna be fun too you know if, if we get there i mean if we get the super item too i mean i don't care how i don't care how long the stream takes if we get the super item okay it can take like fucking 24 hours if i get a super item god damn it i'll do it you know but uh, I've cut the maximum amount of runs at a uh, hundred runs uh, because I care about my mental health and my sleep, right? So this is the only thing that's kind of important. Uh, how many runs do you have? Uh, do you have now? Uh, and six hundred sixty-eight k. What type of price minimum buy average sell rate? Oh, uh, this is all. Every single item have different sell rates and prices, and you know it's like um, I'll show you what I'm gonna sell from the items that I got. Okay, I'll show you what I'm gonna sell from the items that I got, and I think it's something like four items. So most of this six hundred thousand gold is inflated as hell. Uh, now, uh, what am I gonna do with this information? I just think I'm gonna sell. Uh, whatever I can. Okay, so if you see my uh, my top five items, I'm going to sell the top three, and that's it. Everything else below that, I'm not going to sell. And they all have a pretty slow sell rate, right? So, you know, yeah, 70 is more expensive for sure. Uh, maybe the Horde uh, Dwarves will be... Yeah, maybe. Maybe the, 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 the Dwarves, yeah. A new, uh, I think it can be both Horde and Alliance, the new dwarves. Is there a difference between a max level druid and 61 for lax? Uh, I cannot say personally. I haven't tested the level 70 druids. Uh, what you're seeing right now is a level 62 druid, uh, because I accidentally leveled it. Um, I think that it's pretty fast in general. I don't have like the speed add on that tells you like how much speed you have, but I really do feel like it's pretty fast. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that you can get faster than what I have right now. But it is pretty fast. Uh, kind of depends on how much you, how important it is for you to get that speed. Uh, it might not be like super important. Kind of depends on what you want to do. Uh, but yeah, 70 is definitely more expensive than level 61. Uh, some like 70 uh, pieces are really, really expensive. I need to do this. And we need to update this. We've done 13 runs. Beautiful. Run number 14. Let's go. Is this the run? Is this the run? Uh, no. Is this it? Are we going to get the super item in this one? The answer is... I don't know. We'll see. I could, I could really see this happening. Oh, it is. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is this the run? Is this the run? Are we going to get a drop right now? Or maybe right here? Or maybe in the next pile? Or maybe the 2000 next piles? Is it going to be this one? Would be pretty crazy. I don't know if you guys saw the, the clip from Seafred where she actually kind of called it and actually got the super item. And she was like, wouldn't it be crazy to get a super item? And then she gets a pop off Fez and she's like, oh my god. Crazy clip. Yo. How accurate is that 600? Oh, it's not accurate at all. 
not accurate at all. Um, if I could get right now from the 670,000 gold, okay? If I could get 200,000, I'd be extremely happy. If I could get 100,000, I'd be quite happy. Um, because the pattern that I got, the 536,000 gold pattern that I got, it's, uh, it's an extremely sl low sell rate item, which means it will take forever to sell. And the price it usually sells for is something like 20 to 30,000. So obviously I'm going to try to sell it for much more than this. But uh, I'm going to sell it to whoever freaking wants it, right? I'm not going to go, oh, I'm going to wait for my price on this one. If I do that, I'm going to wait forever, right? This is the, the, the problem with using region market average, right? So, yeah, this is this is how I would see it. Uh, and there, and there, there it is. Yeah, this one, this is the one. This is the pack, right? Is this the, oh, it wasn't this one. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was so close. Uh, but yeah, I will come and beat you in four rounds. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Go ahead. Come and beat me in four rounds. Uh, so should max out Dalio Druid then? I don't know. Is Dalio Druid the level 61 or the level 70? Because I, I don't know what your, uh, your character is, man. You know? I don't know. Uh, your druid is engineering. Yes, my druid has engineering. This is how I open the chest and also how I have the speed belt. Uh, there is a speed belt kind of engine that gives you like a big rocket boots thing kind of thing. I'm going to use it now. We'll see if it crashes. But yeah, look, I'm using it right now. You see my feet have hot fire on them. You see me going like super fast. This is with the nitro boost uh, on my boots. There you go. Ah, uh, my belt, not my boots. There you go. Uh, need to finish Operation Mechagon first. Cool. Uh, he's level 61, skidding and backspinning. Ah, cool. Uh, well, uh, you can have, like, the things to open the chest with black spinning. That can work out. Uh, I like engineering a lot for any kind of speed to do it. There's a, lo there's a lot of different uh, things that you can have with it. So... Yes, you can open chests. Yes, you have the nitro boost, but you can also have an extra one hour cooldown mailbox. And you can also have the wormholes to teleport to places. So there's a lot of things to like about engineering when it comes to speed. Uh, sometimes it's convenience, right? It's speed of travel, not just speed of, uh, of like uh, movement speed. Like having these wormholes are definitely like a big plus. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, I didn't know there about the belt enchant. One of my druids is engineer. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's called Nitro Boost. It's from uh Northrend Engineering, I believe. I could try and find it for you. So. Uh, Nitro Boost, yeah, there you go. It's a Northrend Engineering. I believe you need, like, something like 30 skill or 40 skill. Yeah, I'm at 39. Oh, no, this is not the right one. Check the Northrend. Yeah, I'm at 50. I think you need 50 to use the mailbox or something like this. There's the mailbox called Molly, right? Uh, so if you want an extra mailbox, you can use it for this. But you need to have the Northrend Engineering to be able to use the mailbox. So it's not like all of your engineers that will have access to mailbox, only the ones that have this kind of things. It says it's worth 232k. Uh, formula, yeah, Lesser Perry. Lesser Perry is extremely, uh, extremely rare. Uh, if you want, you can link it to me, and I can kind of check the different prices it shows. Uh, oh, you're, oh, you, you're gonna beat me in the la God damn it! What the hell is this lag? Uh, but yeah, Lesser Perry is extremely rare. Uh, I, I can see it here. So right now on my room it's 15k. Average sell price is 20,000 gold. Our regional market is super inflated. Um, I would say that this is something that you'll be happy to sell for something like 30k or more. Uh, I know that this there's a lot of inflated prices uh, in here. But um, I think the best kind of way to see if something is good or not to look, look at the region sale average price, okay? Region sale average price. 
So, so yeah, I think this is like kind of the best way to do things. Uh, so let me. Ah, uh, did we reset? Yes, we did. All right. Um. So I believe that what we will do, uh, since I need like uh, a break roughly every two hours, and we're almost at the two hour mark, what I'm gonna do, uh, for the breaks, is add this be right back uh thing that we're gonna make a little bit smaller, right? Uh, or I'm just gonna change the actual text to to uh break eating. Uh, so I might continue to do a little bit of this, but I will remove my cam right now. Okay, and I will put some music. Uh, I will be right back. Okay, so uh, yeah, give me a second, and I'll just uh, grab my food real quick, and we'll continue this. You can keep seeing the lack at the same time.
What the hell? Get zapped? <laughs> Get fucked, Canadian. Thank you very much for the raid. <laughs> I'm eating. No, I'm getting raided. Thank you very much. Alright, you know what? I was about to end anyway. Let me stop my, uh, let me stop my music here. I was about to, to be done for eating anyway. So, so like this. Thank you very much for the raid gets up. <laughs> we found the glitch of the matrix. Yeah. Hmm. All right. We are back. The ads are not even over, but uh, welcome everyone from the Gets Up stream. Uh, <laughs> rated just in time for ads. Yes, I mean, that was a, a bit of a of a bad timing. Uh, we'll see when you get back for the ads. Yeah, there is a, there's supposed to be like 40 seconds left uh, from the time I say this. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, we'll talk uh, when, when you can hear me. But yeah, that, that really sucks, actually. Timing was uh, not your fault. It's not your fault. Let me actually say... Not your... Not your fault. There you go. All right. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, uh, though. Uh, that's very appreciated. If you can hear this, I'm not even sure you can hear this, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, make sure to go and follow. Get zapped. Yo. Little shout out actually. Shout out. Get zapped. 42. There you go. Go give a, go give a dude a follow. Hello. Uh, BJY. BGY. Uh, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Uh, yeah, got a raid and run, but hope. Ah, thank you, uh, thank you, Gonzab. But have a great, uh, have a great day, and thank you for the raid. There we go. We are back in Olderman right now. Uh, <laughs> after our, our short break where we broke, where someone broke the matrix, and we'll see here what happens. But yeah. We're already 14 runs done, and we're in the run number 15. Uh, we're trying to win the slack right now, uh, but it's going to be uh, hard since we're like uh, 35,000 gold behind. Uh, we'll see. Uh, so far, we've been going a little slower, but we'll see how it goes. I'm really excited to see um, how many runs we can pull today. Uh, the maximum being 100. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we have uh, 10 bonus runs right now uh, that people got from uh, spinning the wheel. Uh, so, yeah, we're instead of 60 runs right now, we're at 70 runs uh, total that we have to do. Uh, so we'll see if we get to a higher number. Uh, and, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. Yo. Seventy one. Uh what did you oh did you get <laughs> I believe you I didn't get the notification though. I believe you sub is that what's going on? I see that you're uh, you have the like, I think you might need to refresh if it uh, if it doesn't show up. Might need to refresh if it doesn't show up. Hey that I came and my partner decided to run BRD. I'll drive for me right now. There we go. Why is it not giving you a kiss though? You know what? Let's give you a let's give you a kiss. Here's a kiss for you. Thank you very much. Mwah. Thank you very much for the sub. That's very appreciated as well as the rain. Uh, we're gonna make this seventy-one instead of seventy. Uh, very appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> Twitch has been all that sparks today. Oh, really? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I haven't really had uh, known issues for me. Uh, hopefully it, it doesn't, uh, gun for real, but like, thank you. Have a great one. Have a great one. Yo. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's go, Kennedy. Let's get the super rare. Let's go. Let's go. Yo. 
You know what? I just thought of something. I think it would be good to not actually continue doing runs even when I'm eating. Because, um, yeah, I think that if I get a super rare and my cam is not on, I'm going to be so fucking mad. So next time, I'm actually not going to do runs. I'm actually going to switch to a different team. Yeah, I think that's that's the smart thing to do here. There we go. And we got another damn nothing. That's run number 15 being completed. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And what about our bags? Oh, yeah, we definitely need to vendor here. Go. Sell some garbage. Go. Sell all of the garbage here. Okay, we got a lot of good items in here. Uh, we're going to do another like after, so the people who want to join again, uh, make sure to join. So what uh, all of us gets at the end of this. And all of the... We're going to go. Get out. We'll see, but at the end, I could open technically all of the lock boxes. Uh, we'll see how I feel about the lock boxes. Go. This. Oh, there is a neck here that I want to sell. Just here. Okay, cool. Let's uh go again. Beautiful. How do you get back to the instance? I use Dreamwalk. I use Dreamwalk. This is an ability that uh, can work. You, you use Dreamwalk, teleports you there, and then you use Dreamwalk again, and it gets you back to the dungeon like this. This one of you? Hello. Get someone else here. <laughs> hmm. There we go. All right. It's time to get more old man in ourselves. Come on. Stupid loading screen. I don't know if you care or not, but lock boxes could contain uh, binom pickup recipes. Uh, I send mine to the jewel crafter for recipes they don't have. Really? Yeah, okay. Well, my uh, my my guy that opens the lockboxes is actually a jewel crafter. So, that could work. Uh, where is my loot? I mean, where's your loot? Are you like unlucky? Yeah. I mean, you, you need to you need to work hard to get the good loot. This is older man, right? You have to uh it doesn't matter like how much small loot we get. You need to get the big items. This is the only thing that matters here. Only thing that matters here. Get the good sheep. Um, okay. And let's go. Uh, that's too bad. We should play over the weekend. Yeah. Ah, oh, bedtime soon. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. I guess we'll see. But yeah, um, Hoping uh, maybe when you'll wake up, I'll still be here, you know? Go <laughs> uh, here. I want to get a super right in. Give me some super right -ins. Make a big ding, make me go wow, I want to get the older man super rare. Yeah, it's not good. After 15 runs, I'm already singing garbage. That's usually a sign of my sanity slowly but surely going away. Not a good sign this early. I'm telling you, this is, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be bad. It's going to be bad. You know what? I think uh, this is something we haven't had in before, but I think we should. Uh, I wanted to try something to see if uh, if I could um, maybe get a little luck factor from being uh, someone else. Okay, so give me a second. I'll go. Uh, I'll go transform into another version of myself. Okay, give me a second.
All right, we have now been completely, completely transformed into Bunny Canadia, right? Into Bunny Canadia. So let's see here. Let's see if Bunny Canadia can be Lucky Canadia. All right, let's see here. We gotta, we gotta get our bun luck, right? Gotta get our bun luck. I mean, this is why I purchased those. I looked at this, and this looks like it's gonna bring me some luck, right? Definitely gonna happen, right? Let's see here. Come on, Bunny Canadia. What you got, Bunny Canadia? So yeah, I think today today is gonna be the big test for Bunny Canadia. Today is the big, big test. Go. These were very, very expensive. It cost me like three dollars. You're wondering like where your stream money, you know, when you when you sub to the channel, you're wondering where the money is going. This is where it's going, okay? This is where it's going. Only to the best, the best, best, best like places, okay? This is where like all of the money goes. It goes into bunny ears. Also, I do have my uh, my medal, right? My medal for uh, being a winner. I, I am prepared, okay? If we get a super rare today, okay, if we get a super rare today, I can kind of show you. But we're going to equip this thing right here. We're going to equip the winner medal, okay? We're going to be a winner if we get it, okay? So very, very important. <laughs> To actually do this uh did we get a oh we got somewhere else sorry i missed your uh your friend invite yeah i uh, forgot to mention i hold on to the food items too i hope to open a bakery ah canadia evil bunny arc no 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 not evil good canadia good bunny right Oh, you got the recipe for the glyph of the regular. I I missed your messages. Like I missed like ninety five percent of messages that people sent me through Battle.net. Uh, I, I I just struggled to see those sadly. Um, you hold on to <laughs> food items, and someday you'll open a bakery. Yeah, surely they're still gonna be very tasty and fresh, right? Surely. Go and another run with nothing. Bunny Canadia is not doing so good. I want pegging, folks. <laughs> I want pegging, folks. Oh my God! Now I'm I'm becoming AI Dave. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, Dave is gonna be very happy for this, right? Dave is going to be ecstatic from now. We are both uh, liking Peggy, right? God fucking damn it. Hello, how you doing? Hmm. Yo. Anything good? Uh, yeah, we did get a pattern, a, a comfortable leather hat pattern. Right? Uh, so that was a pretty big drop. Oh, the, 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 the lack is actually over. We're going to send a new uh, lack invite for people who would like to join. So, uh, let me close this up. and We'll actually take a screenshot before I close it up. So, I kind of want to take a screenshot. And this is going to be posted in the Discord. Okay. Let me post this in the Discord. Uh, well, I'll post it in general. There we go. M. I'm going to send, let me just kill this guy. I'm going to send a new invite if people want to join. Thank you for all of the people joining in this one. Very nice. I'm going to send a new one. Uh, so make sure to join right now if you want to come. Uh, how do I join? Uh, you need to be my uh, battle tag friend. So if you're my B tag friends, that's step one. You need to be my battle tag friend. Second thing you need to do is to have some add-ons. Okay, so you need to have, I think I have a command for this actually. You need to have TSM, you need to have Loot Appraiser and Loot Appraiser Challenge, okay? So the three add-ons, uh, and yeah. Um, there you go. 
and then I'll send you an invite. I don't, and then you need to accept the invite in here. But no, that's I don't I don't know if one of you is uh, is one of these people. There you go. We'll send another invite. I haven't gotten it. Uh, well, I'll keep killing a little bit. We'll wait like something like maybe one minute. And at the, at the worst case scenario, people can actually join later, okay? So I'm actually going to do a ready check. Uh, so let's go like this. We'll start it. And uh, you can join even if you uh, even if you started late. You can join at any point. So there you go. So, good luck on the second lack of the day. If you need to join them. If you're struggling to join or have an issue, make sure to mention it. And I will try and help you out. But this time... To start a new lack, a new, a new day has come. Okay, a new day has come. This is the lack of the bunny Canadian. This is the year of the bunny. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Probably not. I don't care. This is the year of the bunny for Canada. Okay. Oh, we need to actually uh, increase our speed with these items here. Where is my? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's actually uh, eat up to get our speed buff. Uh, I joined 20 minutes late last time, and it still worked out, so don't feel like you won't be able to catch up. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. There we go. And have the other speed thing. All right, now we're full speed ahead. Now this is some serious bunny talk, okay? Serious bunny. You know you know what would be funny? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if Blizzard would have, like, a cat race or a, uh, what's the other thing? Uh, a bunny race, like, uh... What's it called? Like uh, Final Fantasy, right? They should probably have like a like a, these kind of more furies, right? I think that right now everything that they're releasing, apart from maybe the dwarves, is like furry based, right? Lots of furies are being introduced. I know that lots of people would like to have uh, kitties, uh, kitties stuff. They already have the kitty mount. It could look like the kitty mount, right? The feline. I think it would look really weird, but that could be cool. Having a little kitty uh, as a race. Uh, and you would play one? I mean, I I would play uh I would play lots of things, you know. I would play lots of things, if you know. <laughs> it's like it's just not really meaning a whole lot, but whatever. Uh, race changed your drain eye. <laughs> no, 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 no. And I, I'm only like my professions, you know, my profession is important. My drain eye for jewel crafting, okay? And my character in FF is a bunny. Oh, uh, yeah, I have a cat girl. I'm a cat girl in, uh, in, um, in Final Fantasy 14. It's very important for me, uh, to show my love for kitties. That's why I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cat girl. The only reason, right? I'm a little cutie cat girl. I think my name is Missy Canadia. I'm a Missy. I'm a lady in there because I want to. Uh, I want to have the lady experience, the kitty lady experience. You know. No, it's a it's a video game where I need to explore myself. Okay, who am I? You know, that's the question I ask myself when I start playing. Uh, Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> it's been a long time since I played, actually. It's been a long time. In the internet, Canada is a girl. No, 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 no. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm someone who can adapt to the situation, right? If, uh, if I'm lost at sea, then I'm a, I'm a I'm a poor little girl who uh, can't uh, who can't do anything but uh, be horny. Okay, so this way I get like uh, I I'm essential. I become essential, right? So uh, so they're not gonna they're not gonna get rid of me. You know, if we, if we go like on something like Big Brother, I'll just become the Ill in the innocent little flower. Okay, that's what I'm gonna be. I'm a I'm a chameleon, you know. Right now, today I'm a bunny. Tomorrow, who knows, you know? Who knows what I'm gonna be? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. 
I'm sure I've made some people happy with those comments. Yo. All right. So this, I uh, record that clip, sends it to Big Brother Edition. Yeah. <laughs> this is my Big Brother Edition. Right now, I'm a bunny, but I can be anything you like. You know? So, uh, take me and I will win the big money prize by being adorable. Who dares to <laughs> the uh, there we go. We got one more completed. Let's go. Run 17 is now a completed. Beautiful. I don't play a lot of Shadowlands. I don't remember which Sanctum Reservoir I have to go check. I mean, which one? There's only one. <laughs> the Sanctum Reservoir is where you can upgrade some stuff in the Covenant. Uh, also, that's where you can dump your anima. Yeah. Having a lot of garbage today. All of this stuff can suck my balls. Oh. Yo. What's this? Okay. Another one. Yo. Restart all instances. Yo. In Google. Yeah, yeah, there's one sanctum per covenant, right? It goes with your covenant. If you're a Kyrian. Then it's the it's the one in the it is in hold. Okay. So there you go. You can only have one covenant, so you just go with the reservoir of your covenant, right? So you won't have access to the other reservoirs if you're not like uh from that covenant. Yeah. Uh, but I know which I am. Uh, you can look with the um, like if you right click here and the Shadowlands. See, this is the Shadowlands one. You can see I'm Night Fay. But to get this button, you need the add on uh, Mission Report Button Plus. Mission Report Button Plus. Yeah. I have a couple Night Haven uh, shoulders from what salvage, okay? My like TSM says it's 1.5 million. It's it's uh, another unique appearance. Does it still pose that? Um, yeah. I mean, uh, it's like it kind of depends. Like it, it could be a cool, uh, a big sale if you eventually sell it. But uh, yeah, it's not like. Um, Chances of you selling this is pretty low, but it's not impossible. So it's really up to you if you want to try your luck. Uh, but yeah. Does that make, yeah, it makes a difference that it's not a unique appearance, especially for stuff that is so expensive like this. Uh, but some people will do it because unique appearances gives you like more points towards like uh, the collecting thing. So some people will actually maybe go for items like this. So yeah. Uh, if you use a wild thing, uh, it can list what character it is. Oh yeah, yeah, with the with wild thing thing, yeah, you can see which uh, which coming you have and stuff. Hello, Shashavek, how you doing? Nice to see you. I can't choose Charles. That means you don't you don't have a covenant. That means you don't have a covenant yet. Uh, you need to choose a covenant. Uh, figure, so. Let's go. All right, let's go check here. I've made some uh, pretty decent sales uh, off stream. I'm not gonna show them today because we just don't have the time, but uh, next stream, uh, which should be Saturday, uh, we're gonna have some, uh, some of this stuff. 
I'm working also on another project and I'll be able to say more on the on the other project very very soon. Very very excited for that actually. But there's gonna be more Canadian content. And even more from Bunny Canadia. Well Um I need to find quests for it. I mean, uh, if that character never played in Shadowlands, you need to do uh, the, the intro. I mean, you can watch my Shadowlands mission table video on YouTube uh, to see how, kind of how to start it, if this character can start it. Uh, it's going to show you kind of the location of where to start. I'll link it to you if you want. Uh, next stream we will have cat tears, maybe. I mean, that, that, as I mentioned, you know, this is a stream money well spent on buying these little ears. No? Nice after the, the Noble Garden suit, yeah. Uh, I'm really excited for what's to come now in World of Warcraft more than any, any, any time I think in recent history, you know? Uh, in the past, I would be very excited for, like, new expansions, but now new, the last few expansions has just been a lot of the same thing for me, you know? Uh, Shadowlands and Dragonflight were very, very similar, and I know lots of people prefer Dragonflight. I prefer Dragonflight, uh, but, like, the main things of Dragonflight were not really showcased in the cinematic. The War Within, we just don't know. And BFA before that had some potential, but it kind of fell flat. So yeah, it's been it's been a few years, right? Maybe four years since I've been really hyped for what's to come, and not necessarily from the expansion, right? Or expansions, but more like you know what they've been hiding, like the the WoW remix and the Plunderstorm, and those were very very much liked from the community. Not everyone, but. A big part of the community really enjoyed this, and I think it's great. And I'm actually excited. Like, um, I didn't really play much Plunderstorm. It's just not really my. I had fun while I played it. Right? Let's be. Um, I want to be clear about this. I had fun while I played Plunderstorm. But I didn't play a lot of uh, of Plunderstorm. That's for sure. And that's run number eighteen. Let's go. Yo, very exciting. Uh, let's go again and reset the instance. Yeah, we still have space. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm really, I don't know who here is gonna play. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do a poll. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious to see. Let me open a poll here. Where is the poll thing? Uh. Why is it not working? Okay, is this a poll? Poll. Okay, there you go. New poll. Will you play WoW Remix Pandaria? Uh, answer one is yes. Answer two is no. Duration 10 minutes. There you go. Uh, let me know if you would, uh, I, I'm really curious to see because, um, I think that, I think that we're going to have like an 70% at least that will say yes, but maybe I'm completely wrong. My prediction. Curious to see. Yeah, there you go. Eight, uh, right now it's eight to one saying Yes, they're gonna play our remix. So, so, so I think that's basically what I expected. Um, wow, remix. I mean, it's okay, like if if people don't want to play it, but my intention is to play it. And for me, it's coming from someone who hasn't played uh, TBC Classic. Uh, I haven't played Wrath of the Lich King Classic. I haven't really played Plunderstorm. I haven't played Season of Mastery. I haven't played Season of Discovery. But I'm gonna play this. So for me, that's like uh, for me, like if they Dragon Riding is just such a really cool thing that we get from the start. 
you know, and for me, this is something that I've been saying for a very long time. You know what makes a season uh, of uh, WoW Remix so good? is because the leveling experience is an enjoyable experience. And this is what this this is what it should be. Leveling should be fun. Okay? Leveling should be fun. And right now it's just not fun in retail to level characters. It feels like a chore. It feels like you're redoing things that you've done a million times. And now we're going to have superpowers, super abilities. We're going to have this crazy cloak that gives us... We're going to become gods, basically, right, with this. So it's like... I don't know if this is going to be as fun as it sounds. We don't know, but I'm going to try it. Because this is enough to really kick my curiosity. And if this lands, this looks like something I'm really going to enjoy. There's also going to be the Nostalgia Factor of Pandaria, you know? Uh, the Nostalgia Factor of Pandaria is going to be cool. The The rewards that you get from the whole thing uh, seems to be really, really generous. And, like, the things... The, the bronze currency is a great system. The cloak is a great system. Although maybe a little bit too generous. But that's for a limited time item, so it's fine. Uh, sounds like a really killer time to me. Uh, I haven't read much about Remix. Is there a new Transmog? Then yes. Oh, there's new Transmog. And there is 32 new mounts, Barla. Okay? And not only that. Okay? Not only that. You can get some of the very hard-to-get mounts currently in the game. You can get, I believe, the Shot of Anger mount. You can get the Elegant mount. And you can get those with currencies, okay? You get the currency and then you just buy the mount. Currencies that you get from everything. From killing mobs to achievements to uh, exploring to uh, flying in the air and picking up bronze. The Yulon mount as well is there. There's a lot of things. That are, the, 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 one, the mounts from uh, Throne of Thunder are in, are in there. Like the, I think it's the Jikun mount I saw. It's just like this sort of crazy thing that you would never kind of expect anymore Blizzard to do. So it's nice that they do this kind of Season of Discovery style stuff where they kind of try new things. And I think that a lot of these things are going to land. A lot of these things are going to land. I'm very excited to see what's to come in the, in the future with this. But yeah, we'll see. I read a joke today, women, when they fought, is there a sound of laughter of unicorns and smells of window? I've been laughing at this one. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, as a bunny, I don't really fart, so I don't know. But uh, I don't know. Nah, women fart. That's, uh, that's a misconception. There is no unicorns coming out of my, uh, of my girlfriend. It's just... Uh, she hasn't farted yet in front of me, and I, I did fart in, her, in front of her many times. When I'm not the bunny, obviously, right? Because bunnies don't fart, right? But, uh, but yeah. Uh, so in go f going through the my music bank, Gallardale Leggings has no cell history on Undermine. Again, not unique appearance. Still around 1 million posts. Yeah, this is something that you can definitely post. If you're actually doing this sort of... Uh, a thing where you're if you're doing some if you're already posting stuff on the auction house then you should definitely post these if you're not posting anything that that's up to you if you want to post it once in a while obviously post for 48 hours right uh don't post for anything else than 48 hours but yeah that's kind of what i would say here, let's vendor some stuff. Come on, come on. We're getting less good items on this run, right? On this slack, we're definitely getting less good stuff, but we're only 19 minutes in. So it's kind of hard to say. There we go. Come on, in through. Go. All right. Let's 
Uh, in terms of raw gold, we're getting close to 3,000 raw gold so far that we got. Uh, it's not good, but it's Why like extra little thing? incentive to do this, I guess. Well, this is going to be run number 20. And you know what they say about bunnies, right? They like the run 20s, right? Can we get... Can we get... Can we get this? Come on, get this. Let's go. Let's get a super rare now. We're going to get a super rare now. First first pack, okay? First pack, there's going to be a, a super rare now. Let's go. I'm so happy that we finally get our super rare in this pile right here. Okay, well, we didn't get the super rare. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I think the game is bugged. I think, I think there's a bug. Let's see? <laughs> Will be me. Oh, uh, we, we can both have it, right? We're definitely going to get super a, a bunch of super items today, right? Right. There we go. Yeah, it might be a bug. Yeah, I think there's a bug. I think there's a bug that's been there for 1,500 runs where it doesn't give me a super rare item. Could be a bug. There we go. Come with me. And the world will be full of super rares. Uh-huh. All right, let's go. I'm so excited to get a super rare island. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I want, I want. I'm so excited to get a super rare. Ooh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I want you, want you. Yo, my mom must be traumatized up there. Poor little, poor woman. Poor woman having to listen to me. Yo, I am so excited. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Media would like to get a super rare. Oh, uh, but yeah. I mean, it would be freaking crazy to finally get it after all those years. And it's really been that long, you know? Not an exaggeration. It's really been all those years. Yo. One of these days, we'll get back on top and be happy. And have all of the super rares. I know uh, one of my old school, like very, very long time ago viewers. Uh, you can see it in the intro. There is like an older man, uh, guild bank screen like video. Uh, this is from this viewer. He did like 10,000 runs of older man. And he got all of the super rares. Is really crazy. He did over 10,000 runs of Ultimate. He really liked doing that. But I think something happened that he cannot play the game anymore. I think he, um, I think he had like, uh, he, I don't remember exactly what he told me, but he said he couldn't play anymore. Something happened, and that's going to take all of his time or something. So yeah, you could see 12 persons said that they would play uh, WoW Remix, while one person said no. So um, I think this is basically going to be the ratio of people like us in, a, in my community that does stuff like collecting. Lots of people in my community does collecting. Um, so I think that any collector is definitely going to go. But for me, it's not about the collecting. This is not why I'm going there. It's for two reasons. First of all, the feeling of discovery is the main reason why I go there. Uh, the second reason is uh, is because uh, I want to get an alt army going with this method, right? I want to get as many. I want to get as many possible things. Well, from the people who voted, Bombescu, I guess. From the people who voted, you're the only one who said no. But uh, it doesn't mean that you're you're definitely not the only one. Lots of people will not play this mode. 
Uh, at the same time, I think that lots of people will wait to see uh, how it goes before uh, before they actually jump in, right? And this is something I usually do, right? This is something that I usually do. So, uh, so yeah. I think it depends on many factors. Mm. Go. Come on. Go. Is there a super rare in here? Give me the super rare. Thank you very much. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. Where's the super rare blizzard? I want the super rare blizzard. But we're 20 runs in. You're super rare. Aww. Bunny Canadia is a pretty rare occurrence, I gotta say. Bunny Canadia is pretty rare for sure. Yeah. All right, is this the run? Is this the run? I think this could be the run, okay? I think this could be the run where we get a super rare. Yo. Killing everything. Because I love killing. Drop is one in 10,000, yes. But this could be the one. This could be the one, right, guys? <laughs> All right. People of Dalaran, are you tired of people telling you that you won't get a super rare? Well, with bunny ears, you can get a guaranteed super rare. Go, come with me. As I get a super rare item. Yeah. I mean, it's not... It, it, we're not farming gold today. We're really just farming a clip. This is what we're farming today, okay? And so far, not many clips have been made. We need more clips, okay? Need more clips. Supply bastard, how you doing, me? Soon you will have mustaches like porn stars. I mean, uh, I gotta say, the mustache is going to a nice place, if you ask me. I like where the mustache is going. Farming tears and disappointment. And boy, did, are we succeeding at getting those. We are having great success at farming those. I'm doing good. Thanks for, uh, thanks, uh, for asking I'm doing good for now you know funny Canadian ha has a very high tolerance for bullshit like older men but uh, bunny Canadian will not surrender okay bunny Canadian is ready for the super rare now come on give me super rare now is this the one I feel like today is the day I really feel like today is the day I mean, yesterday Met got is uh, yesterday Met got is uh, legendary axe. Today I'm gonna get my super rare. That's gonna how it's gonna go. This this is like has been scripted from. Oh my fucking god. Ah, uh, this is this is like the. This is like I thought this was a miner's hat. I thought this was a miner's hat. I was like, holy shit. I thought that this was it, you know? I thought that this was it. I thought that we finally got the clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But now, now no more debated now. We're definitely going to get it, okay? This is happening right now. I can't believe we're getting the super rare for this run, okay? I just can't believe it. This is the run. Right? This is totally the run. Oh my god, party bus. <laughs> yeah, party Canadia. 
is also bunny canadian wow we just got debated we just got debated yo beautiful all right it is time to get the super rare i think it's gonna be in the chest at the end I think it's gonna be in the chest at the end the super rare it's getting richer somehow yeah i mean i don't know i mean i'm not i'm not there's not a single item that i sell in here right now so i don't think i'm getting richer i don't think uh i don't think there is any gold being made right now oh uh fake legendarism just got one uh what is eighty nine thousand gold is it the monolithic bow maybe something like this Blood Razor, nice. I think I sold one for like 10,000 gold recently. This is uh, something that average sell price is 7,000 gold. You can see that I have one on my auction house. So I have one for my on my auction house right now. Yeah. Purple time. Oh, that's uh, that's not a generation. That's Ubla. Congratulations, Ubla. On a nice little perp. Not that many perps in here that are good. Is this the one? Uh, all right run 21 has been completed right run 21 so we need to stay at 21 <laughs> or we're gonna bust so yeah this is this is where we're gonna get right the super rare run 22 so, so that we don't bust the 21 right this is what's gonna happen how do i open the tab where i can see the loot you guys get I only have the time one. Uh, it's only uh, it's only me that has this tab. The most valuable items is just for the host of the of the thing. You cannot see uh, you cannot see uh, unless you watch the stream. Yeah. But what you can do is uh, something that you can do in the first window is you can look uh, uh, at the player and you can see his top five items of each player. Right, you can see the top five items of each player. Yeah. Go. Beautiful. All right, let's go back in here. It's time. We're almost at 3,000 gold now. For raw gold, I mean. You know? All right, it is run number 22, also known as the run where we're going to get the super rare, right? 22 for sure. Yo, lucky number 22. This is the one. We like to party. We like to party. We like, we like to party. We like to party. The bender boys are coming and everybody's jumping. York and San Francisco and super rares for Canada. The super rares are coming and everybody's dancing. Everybody loves older men, even though it doesn't give me shit. The Benga boys are coming and everybody's jumping. We're all getting super rares or not because this game is shit. <laughs> okay. I'll stop now because I'll ruin the I'll ruin the Venga Boys for for everyone here. We don't want to ruin the Venga Boys, right? Did you imagine if the Venga Boys would make a big Kong back, uh, a big Kong back? Uh, 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 my God, I can't fucking talk. A big comeback um, album that would be sick, right? Twenty years later, or maybe even thirty years later, I don't even know. Uh, the Banga Boys are really back. You know, like the the Backstreet Boys has been doing uh, has been doing a lot of uh, of comebacks. They should have a, another comeback pretty soon, right? I mean, what can you say? They can touch the heart of everyone in here, especially Bunny Canada. Uh, let's go. The Benga boys are coming. And everybody's jumping. All getting super rares. Oh my fucking god. And when I hear a ding, I go like. Oof. 
Could you imagine this would have been the clip of me singing the Venga Boys right before we get the super rare? This would have been the stupid the, the clip like the Venga Boys are coming and oh my god we got the super rare. Thank you, Venga Boys. You know? That would have been cool. No. I mean the run is not over. I can feel it in the air tonight. I mean this could be I think this is the run. I think this is the run. I mean, it's definitely the first time that I've been saying this today. That this is the run, right? Definitely the first time. I don't think we've ever said that before in my life. So there we go. The Venga Boys are coming. Let's get all of the action. I want to get a super rare to make everybody proud and to, I mean, if, uh, if we get a super rare with those bunny ears, that's going to leave a precedent now. It's going to mean that from now on, you, if you, if we're coming to older men, we always need to be a bunny. If we don't get a super rare, then we're never coming back here as a bunny ever again. Okay. So there's a lot of pressure on my bunny ears right now. They're feeling the pressure. They know, they know that they gotta deliver. Go. We got the party. We got, we got the party. We get the party. Come on. Why can't we have a super rare? Right here, right here, the super rare. Ah, wouldn't it be nice if we got a super rare? Hmm. Damn, is this your second Jinsu? Provenza, is this your second Jinsu? What the hell, man? Oh, my Jinsus. Where's my Jinsu? You know what? You can have the Jinsus, okay? You can have the Jinsus and I'll get the super rares, okay? I'll get the super rare. There we go. Alright, it is time. It's time. It is time. Let's twirl the mustache for the chest at the end. Twirling. There we go. All right, now that the mustache has been twirled, it's time to get the super rare right here. All right, I think it was, I think I miscalculated something. But run 22, we have now busted in blackjack. Super rare, super rare. Where is this rare? We want a super rare. They call me Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> oh, they do call you that? Uh, that's, uh, that's unheard of. Right? Oh man, I can't believe. I can't believe this. We didn't get a super rare. And you got a Jinsu. So unfair. Where's my Jinsu? I could get the warm up Jinsu, right? I could get the warm up Jinsu or a warm up rich purple silk shirt. Right? I could get a, a warm up like this, right? There we go. The Venga Boys is coming and everybody's dancing, jumping, and dancing. We complete the older man with the super bear. Yeah, that's not a good thing if I'm singing so early in the challenge. But, very excited. I wonder when is going to be the release date of uh, of uh, the new uh, WoW Remix thing, right? Uh, since I think it could be something like one month after uh, after Season 4, they would release uh, the, the Remix. Maybe even before that. I could see like, uh, let me actually see my calendar here. I could see something like uh, Tuesday the 14th for NA. 
I could see either the 14th or the 21st for the WoW Remix. Hmm. Yep, I could see that. Yo, all of the stuff is in here. I could definitely see this happening. But what do you guys think is going to be for for uh, WoW Remixes? If we look like 10.2.6, uh, was... When was 10.2.6? It was in March. It was late March, right? Something like uh, March 17th, around that time? No, it was... Be I don't remember. Oops, this way. Here. Yeah. Focus is at 100% right now. Gotta get it. We are never, ever, ever getting a super rare. We are never, ever, ever getting a super rare. <laughs> Seems fucking accurate, Taylor Swift. Come on. Yo. A night buff is having a party right now. Uh, you know what? This is something I'd like to uh, to poll for. Okay, there is something I'd like to poll for. You know, let me uh, let me open back my thing. Let's uh, let's manage poll and new poll. So, would you like to see chat on stream? Uh, yes. I know. You know when uh, when streamers have their uh, have their chat on directly on their stream, like showing up. Is this something that uh, I I wonder if people like this or not? Because I was considering doing it since I'm streaming on both uh, Twitch and YouTube. Um, I'm I was kind of wondering if people. Uh, it's nice to see the chat from the other things, but at the same time. I feel like it clutters the street the, the screen, right? It does clutter the stream, I feel. So uh I like to have a like today we have a lot of things as you can see because of the challenge. You have the big text at the no, top right. God! But yeah, oh we got some ads right no, now. God, please, and no, actually I think no, we're gonna we're gonna stretch no, again because I don't wanna no! Yeah, let's not let's not get these uh, let's not get a super rare while the ads are going. Uh but yeah, let me see here. Oh, everybody says no. That I, I didn't I did not expect that though. So oh ah, let's do some stretching now. Let's do some stretching with the cam. Hello. Hello. That's a big close up. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Bunny Canada is good. Stretching with you. All right, let's go. I guess I would like to know also, like, uh, why you would not like, or why would you like to have the the chat? On? I know that lots of people don't like it, but some people I think likes it. It was like super small. I feel like some streamers put it like way too big. Oh. There we go. Oh. Alright. Uh, uh, I think the... I don't know if you can see Barla, but I think it's called Monkey Speed. I think the speed add-on is called uh, Monkey Speed. Yep. Uh. Yo. No problem, uh, Barla. All right, let's go with the other leg. Oop. All right. 
good. Ads didn't kick in. Uh, it depends on your country. Sometimes people don't get ads. Uh, or sometimes you get very short ads. So uh, it's not necessarily that you're going to get ads. It's uh, It's specific to your region very much. So that's it for the stretching. We still have like uh, 20 seconds on the ads. Oops. We'll check. But for some very few people are getting like the full three minutes of ads. But uh, usually it's Americans that get like the full three minutes. And yeah, there is no ads for subs. Yeah, there's no ads for subs. That's also uh, accurate. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, also, if you have turbo... If you have a Twitch Turbo, you don't get ads as well. Uh, but like very, a uh, lot of countries don't get uh, any ads or extremely few. Like, um, yeah. Like when a advertisers like pay Twitch to have, um, when advertisers pay Twitch to have something like uh, to to put ads on their website. They're like, okay, what well, you're only gonna put ads for people from that region, for example, right? So I'm not even sure that it's every region from the US, so there you go. So 23 runs have been completed. Let me get some water. And uh, let me see here. Yeah, we need to vendor. Go. Yeah. Many deals for a friend all these shit. Go like this. Alright, we go again. And Jinsu and Blood Razor is not bad for the first 45 minutes. Obviously, I didn't get none of these, but that's okay. Uh the excavator is brand we're gonna keep. This we're gonna keep everything else. Go. Beautiful. Let's use this again. And resistance. Uh Twitch can be doing well. They give me a bunch of ads in Spanish normally. I mean, um, it depends, right? Because you have to understand that there's a lot of uh hey, wait, did we get uh, Likoni subscribe and we missed it. Are you serious? I don't know if you're still here, uh, Likoni. Why are we not getting a, a notification for this? Let me see if there's a bug in my thing. I will give you your kiss, though. Can we test this? Let me test this. You should have received a kiss. Thank you very much, uh, Likoni, for the sub. Here's a kiss for you. Mwah. Thank you very much. I'm sorry it didn't throw out. It didn't show up. There you go. Let's do a 72 here. There we go. We have one more. One more. Uh, run to do today. Thanks to the support of Likoni. Thank you very much, uh, Likoni. It's very appreciated. You're still here. I'm sorry if uh, <laughs> sorry I missed the, the sub for some reason. It didn't show up. I don't know if it show up and I didn't see it, but I doubt it, right? Ah, oh, maybe I was away. Maybe it's when I was... Uh, no, it was before... No, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, but I'm very sorry. Whatever. Well, there you go. You stuff. That's awesome. Alright, now let's get a super rare in order. Let's just get a super rare now. Right, that's enough waiting. I think. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, I know why we're not getting a super rare. Oh, uh, why did I not think of it? Okay, so here's kind of how it works. You know, in TV shows, right? You know, in TV shows, what they do is they wait for the very, very last episode or uh, to do something. This is what's happening right now. I think. I think that what's happening right now is that. Uh, I knew this could happen, but yeah, it's only going to happen in the last run of the day, okay? It's going to happen in the last run of the day. 
Ah, or maybe like in the last few runs, so you kind of have to stick around to make sure you don't miss it, right? This is what TV shows you. Oh, this is so scummy, Blizzard, you know? Uh, I think Blizzard wants you guys to watch all day to make sure to not miss when Canadia gets the super item, right? Ah. Uh... I mean, I would have preferred to just, you know, get the super item and be done with it, you know? Maybe get a second one. That would have been okay. I guess, uh, I guess we'll go like this, you know? What a crazy turn of events. All right, let's go. Give me super rare. Did somebody say super rare? I think there's a super rare coming. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna slowly but surely lose my mind, I think, from uh, going in circles like this in Older Man. I mean, it's not my first time in here, uh, far from it. But I think, oops, I think it's uh, today could be the day. It's just today could really be the day where we finally get our super rare. Is this, uh, if we could get like at least a Jinsu or a Rich Purple Silk shirt, this is kind of a consolation prize, okay? So I would like to get at least a consolation prize, and then I hope we get a super rare, but at least I get my consolation prize, you know? But you know, super rare, I, I prefer having a super rare than having a consolation prize, that's for sure. Like last time, if I didn't get a Jinsu, it would have been just a horrible, horrible uh, return for my time. Now that we got a Jinsu, it was like not as bad per se. But yeah. I mean, we like uh, Bravenza got two Jinsu so far. It's pretty insane. It's like half of the Jinsu's I've gotten in my life. <laughs> and he gets it in, uh, in 20 runs or something. No? Crazy. That's okay though. I'm happy for you. But you know, share the love. <laughs> I mean, I did get this big pattern too. This big pattern, if I could sell it for at least like 30 something K, I'd be pretty happy. So it's pretty like a, a universal no. People don't like to see chats on top of the screens, right? For for uh, for the... And I get that. I feel like sometimes it's way too big, right? I feel like sometimes it's way too big. That's what she said. But, uh, yeah. Sometimes it's just way too big. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know if... Uh, I, I know that Twitch is not doing well in terms of like... Uh, they have a lot of viewership, but in terms of making money, uh, I don't think they're doing like that much. I think it w if if I was on YouTube, I'd want to see Twitch chat. Things are happening here. Yes, yes. I mean, that's kind of the thing. It's a it's a tough thing to kind of balance, right? Uh, for now, uh, we don't have a ton of people on YouTube, uh, but that's okay. I think that um, that actually there is progress into the amount of people we're getting on YouTube, and uh, and I mean. I'm not too, uh, I don't know too much about the community on YouTube and I'm learning. And at the same time, um, yeah, I think that there's a, it's cool to just reach more people. This is kind of why I, I'm on YouTube, right? It's to, it's to new, reach new people into the gold making community. And you know, what's, what's really cool that I found with YouTube is that there's a lot of people that actually watch the VODs, right? Lots of people watch the VODs on uh, on YouTube. So that's really cool. Uh, I need to go FK. Yeah, no problem, uh, Legendarism. Have a, have a good one. Uh, see you maybe later. Uh, no problem. Uh, this is something that, this is very important like for people. It's not because there's a two-hour timer that, need, that, that it means that you need to go hard for two hours, right? Uh, this is just something that I do um, to kind of... I don't want to do one every single hour because it would be a little bit too much to manage for me. Uh, but yeah, it's just you do what you can and there's no like any kinds of requirements in terms of like, um, like you you can AFK as much as you want, right? Uh, 
And that's about it. So th there you go. I'm very excited to get a super rare today. It's going to be nice to get the super rare when it finally happens. Ultimate! <laughs> this is the best, best sound alert. Okay, let's go and spin the wheel of Ulderman for Kev. There we go. Uh, and let's go. Let's see what we get. Not minus runs. Minus runs. So fucking tired of this wheel, man. So fucking tired. This fucking wheel. It's only given me shit so far. All right, we're now we're now at seventy five runs. Uh, hello, Crazy Bear Gold. How you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh. Thanks for all the work you do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I I'm going to talk to the person in charge of the wheel. Uh, clearly, there's not enough debating in here. Clearly, there needs to be more debating. But hey, we'll see. There has to be, uh, there has to be some more debating. Has to be. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad that uh, this is still a fun thing, right? If we happen to do the full 100 runs, right? If we happen to do the full 100 runs, uh, that's that's kind of good. Okay, that's kind of fine. I'm, uh, I'm fine with doing like the 100 runs. Uh, I will be very tired from doing the full 100 runs. But that's okay. I think uh, once in a while, it's good for me. This is something that I've been kind of um, noticing in my streams as far as like, for me, I really enjoy doing like challenges more than actually being super informative when I'm on stream. And I know lots of people like this super informative stuff. But I think Twitch is way, is way more about the platform that is about uh, entertainment than a platform that is for like learning tutorials and like stuff like this. So this is why I want to shift a little bit towards, and I'm not going to stop being informative, right? Uh, this is what I like to do is to, is to sprinkle the knowledge and sprinkle the, the, uh, the entertainment, right? So right now there was a little bit more towards the informative part of it, but I, I'd like to be, for me, it's more entertaining to do something that is kind of exciting for me this is exciting to see like the the chance of the super rare item right this is exciting compared to something like you know when we do something like naxxramas it's exciting to open the tokens but at the end of the day uh you could get like a 200k item at the at the biggest right so it's not necessarily and the process that goes through doing that is like it's a great goal making thing you know like older man is not a good goal making thing Naxxramas is, but it's very predictable what you can get from Naxxramas, right? It's very predictable, and once you kind of show it, you can show it again and again and again and try to make one million gold like we've been trying to do. But there is this aspect of, like, um, is it, like, entertaining to watch, like, someone do uh, Nax? I think that it kind of depends on what you find entertaining, for sure. But for me, I was, like... This is why now I do the, the, the next runs outside of the stream. I want to find ways to be more challenging. I like challenging myself as well. So we'll see. Like I, I know that while Remix is going to be an opportunity for me to kind of try different things. Uh, I'm at a place right now uh, that I want to... I want to keep having the most fun possible during my streams. It's not just about, like, uh, entertaining. I want to have fun while doing it, you know? But it's um, it's exciting to see, like, looking at the millions of streamers, how they all do, like, different things. So I, I can be, if I want, I could be, like, super informative all the time. But I think that I like the entertaining part of Twitch way more. Like, this is the kind of streams that I personally watch. Right, 
I personally watch streams that are super, super entertaining. Uh, so that's what I would aspire to kind of become. It's not really easy like to, to kind of find something entertaining and to always be entertaining while you stream like just so many hours. I don't stream that many hours, right? But still, there's a lot of the... Um, it's not an easy thing, right? To, to just come in every day and do something entertaining. Uh, regardless of what day it is. And it's just becoming this sort of... Yeah, you need a lot of creativity, I think, to find these things that make you happy and also are super entertaining for people. Uh, otherwise, I think that people uh, could well, just kind of get bored of, of doing this, right? And for me, gold making is really not getting boring. But I, I'm always scared that like what I'm doing, and, and I know I'm insecure when it comes to this kind of stuff. But uh, I really want to give like something like uh, super, super entertaining for people, right? Uh, and also informative. I think the main thing that got me to start this, like the very first goal making stream that I did, it was about. It was not about entertainment. It was about like sharing some knowledge, and I think that's really, really a cool thing. Uh, but I like showcasing what we're doing today. Uh, having a plan uh, like you do elevates the stream a lot. Yeah, I, I think that, um, yeah, I plan my things like in advance quite a bit. Uh, sometimes it doesn't go like the plan uh, was supposed to go. But I think that um, being organized is what kind of saves me from so much more anxiety, right? So, uh, so yeah, I want to do... Uh, I got some uh, some cool things planned out. Let's say, I'll just say this. But yeah, I with the um, I was planning to do the evoker challenge, but it will kind of depend uh, with the evoker challenge on what happens with uh, the WoW remix, right? Uh, we're gonna do some WoW remix on stream, but I, I'm also gonna play retail at the same time. It's not just gonna be WoW remix. At least that's the plan, right? But if I start having the best freaking time ever while playing WoW Remix. Uh, I guess we might play more WoW Remix, right? So it's kind of a thing where I don't know. You know, this, this is the thing, right? As much as you can plan, you just don't know. You just don't know what's going to drop in uh, right now. Like the Super Red could drop any moment. But also, well, I, when I, even though I plan to play retail at the same time as doing WoW Remix... Maybe when I start playing WoW Remix, I get like really, really good stuff. Uh, we're going to eat here. We're going to do some, uh, we're going to get our food buff because, uh, yeah, I missed out on the food buff. Go here. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious, delicious. All right, let's go. We're, we have the food buff now. For speed. Uh, let's go. We are ready for a super rare now, Blizzard. Come on, Blizzard. You can give me it, or you can give it early. You don't have to wait for the end of the stream to give it to me, right? Give it to me, Blizzard. Ah, uh, there we go. So, let's do this. And let's do this. You know what we could do too? You know what we, what could be a cool thing? But this will not work like for uh, depending on the region. But you know what would be cool? Is if we did something like, okay, so I go, you, you track like who bought each run. Like when someone subs, you get one more run to the thing, right? But we put the name of that person onto the thing. Same thing with the wheel. And then... If I get the super rare on the run that the person can uh, add it to the stream, we give the super rare to this person, right? That would be a cool thing. That would be a pretty cool thing, I think. Go. Go. Hope you are having a great stream. Let me just, I don't know if you can uh, if you can hear me, Dave, but I think you would be very interested in the new TTS that we added. I think you'll be very interested in the new TTS, uh, Dave, if you can hear me. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, 
Yeah, we, we're gonna get a super rare there today, uh, for sure. Hundred percent, we're getting a super rare today. Uh, yeah, the 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 TTS is a, is a different name now, but it's still, uh, I believe, nine hundred and ninety nine. No, it's a thousand. It's a thousand. It's called Tangia Canadia TV's voice. So basically, uh, I used AI to to clone my voice. So now TTS will be read by AI Canadia. So you can make me say things, and that's gonna make you very happy, I think, right? <laughs> I know you're going to definitely be happy with this. Uh, you want to come farm it on EU if I win? <laughs> uh, I don't have... I have a EU characters that I have a speed stuff as well, right? But, um, yeah, right now I, I'm not resubbing for EU from right now. Uh, it might be in the future plans. If we reach a certain number of subs, we will resub to EU. Uh, it's in kind of the list of things that's in uh, that's coming for if we reach a certain amount of subs. Uh, but yeah, there we go. My pants drop in older man. Very rare. <laughs> My pants drop in older man. My pants drop in older man. Very rare. Uh, cooldown. Ah, oh, it's a it's a global cooldown for people on sixty seconds, I think. So it's just so that uh, otherwise they could come at the same time. So just to do this, I, I I put a sixty second cooldown. There you go. What is the name of this legion teleport? Uh, and only the druids can use. Yes, this is only for druid, but uh, monk has a similar ability. Death knights as well. Death knights has their thing where they go to do their rune weapons. And uh, what's the other thing? Uh, monks go to their like order all with a teleport. Like uh, I'll remember the name. It's like uh, transcendence, something like this. I don't know. Let's switch this to twenty six runs completed. Let's go. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mm, replay that. It's too quiet, and that's not your voice. That was not your voice. That was my voice. It's kind of yeah. It was a little bit low, right? Like the the announcer was uh was high, like the the thing that announced it was a bit high, but the other thing was uh not that high. I could I could raise the sound, but I, I'm I'm scared that it's gonna be kind of messing up something. I'm gonna do a test, okay? I'm gonna do a test. Oh, but it's gonna do the cooldown if I do that. It's gonna be the cooldown if I do that. Just try something, and if it's not very good, I'll uh, I'll refund you, and we'll adjust the thing, right? I know also that for bits you can have Nick Cage, uh, read your TTS, or uh, Cartman or Borat. So it's kind of like AI voices made from these characters. So it's a pretty cool thing. I I like this extension. I think Nick Cage from the one I've tested. I think Nick Cage is the best one. Really, really good. I love Nick Cage quite a bit. He's got the best voice ever. I want uh, Nick Cage to uh, to make <laughs> stuff for me. Yo. Keep on going. We're gonna win it all. I'm not gonna. Very helpful teleport. Yeah, it is a super. Technically, every class can do something similar. I can kind of show you how you can teleport like this uh, without uh, being from this class, okay? Uh, and this is something that has to do with the group finder. Like, you can start a group and then. Uh, do leave party after you started a group in in, in, in uh, group founder and then one minute later it will teleport you out of the dungeon uh, which can be uh, good if you time it correctly right if you time it correctly it's pretty good actually 
it's a pretty useful thing. Yeah. Come on, super rare. Time. Time to do it. Give me the super rare. Kill. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Give me the super rare right now. These bats are holding a super rare. I can feel it. Okay, maybe not those bats. Maybe the next one. Maybe these scorpions. Come on, give me a super rare, man. Super rare. Super rare. Time to give me your goodies, game. Come on. I've been trying to do like the... Um, Let me try to do like a... I'm gonna do a command here. Okay. Uh, let's see if the TTS works for this. Uh, okay, let's try this. Join my Discord to know when I am live. Also, Dave loves pegging. <laughs> also, Dave loves pegging. <laughs> Is this the way we said also Dave loves pegging? You know? <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty good. Oh, uh, yes, 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 yes. I believe I like this very much. I believe this was a very pleasant thing to hear. <laughs> I'm happy now. Very happy. Yo. Okay. So, I think maybe in the last chest here it's going to be a super rare. What do you nice people think? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's happening now. Uh, let me see. Alright, come on. Give me stuff. Give me stuff. Is it the one? Is it the one? It's not the one. God fucking man. Alright, let's do... Uh, I'll try to do like the teleport in the next run. I'll try to do the teleport that I was talking about, uh, Shoshovek, for uh, the next one, because I forgot for this one. So there you go. Go. And let's go. Getting all of the garbage. We are gonna survive this. We're gonna get us. It would be. I think this could be the super rare right here. I think it's coming. I think we're getting close to our ultimate goal of getting the super rare. Right, so I'll try to do it on this one, uh, Shoshavek. I'll try to do it on this one. Go. Alright, let's go. Get the super rare. And I'll never have to come back here. Come on. This could be the one. This could be the one run. This could be the one and only run. Yo. 
can we get a super rare is the question on everyone's lips yeah but yeah i think uh, i think what remix is that is the thing that got me the most excited in a very very long time for world of warcraft even like Plunderstorm, uh, to some extent, even though it was not for me, I thought that this was a very, very cool thing that uh, Blizzard did. I wish that the Plunderstorm would have had a bigger link to the actual retail game, but maybe it's better this way. I think I I'm kind of scared that uh, that WoW Remix will not let you use any add-ons. I think that. Um, I think that the game would be better with maybe the possibility of some uh, of some add-ons. Maybe not all add-ons, but still. Like I would like to see. Uh, for me, it's it's more of the quality of life add-ons. Like uh, like right now, I'm using an ultra wide screen, which if there is no add-ons, I cannot really use this. Uh, I will need to kind of make my screen uh, smaller. Which would kind of suck uh, for me. We'll see. Uh, let's see here. Oh. I'm excited to see what happens in, in this mode. It's like there's so many possibilities that could happen. I think that this is just going to be something for me. That, uh, and it brings hope to the game at the same time, right? I feel like the new kind of dev uh, visions for the game is, hey, we're not the, we're not the top dog anymore. We need to kind of reinvent this game, and let's go. You know, they're, they're technically still like amongst the top dogs, or even maybe the top MMO right now. But it has this sort of thing with, is it really gonna stay like this? Right? I would be scared that it wouldn't stay like this personally because. You always kind of have to reinvent yourself when it's an, a, a game that is this old, right? If you don't innovate, it becomes this sort of very kind of been there, done that situation for most of the players, right? I don't know. At least for me, that's what happened. That's what happened, right? I mean, the base of the game is still very, very cool and good, but it kind of needs some... Uh, some things on top. Oh my god, we got this last time, the monolithic bow, and we actually sold it last time too. So that's uh that's a decent thing here. That's a decent thing. I mean we sold it I think for twelve thousand gold. I did put the screenshot into the, the Discord. There you go. Here right. Oof. My head is kind of pounding for some reason. Maybe it's because I've been here for like almost four hours. <laughs> oh boy. It's a little bit of a stretch. Let's go. Get some. Uh... Oof. Let's get some. Okay. Let's get some super. Really like this to work out. It's been a tough time to get super rares in here, but we might get it. Who knows? We're almost like beating now, uh, Ubla. Not sure if, if Ubla is still here, but yeah. Have a chance at winning. Oh, yeah, I could do this now. Okay, so let's do the thing here. Well, you start a pre-made group, you call it whatever, like this, and then what you do is you do leave party. You don't leave here, you do leave party. And you'll see a timer soon that counts down for 60 seconds. And this can kind of teleport you out. So you see here this timer, this is going to teleport you out. So this can be a nice way. I'm going to still dreamwalk because this is just faster and more precise. But if you do this at the right time, 
you can kind of get teleported at the dungeon with like you can finish the dungeon with like five seconds left if you do like the timing like perfectly right so that can be a very nice tool for any kind of classes right any classes can do this there you go all right let's go oh i need to refresh something give me a second Oh. All right. Let's get into it. Kick some ass. Now that Jinsu would be nice to have right now. I mean, at least we got the we got two items right now that we're really happy to get. Uh, so we'll see how things go. But this is like better than nothing, I guess. Oh yeah, Ubla is AFK for sure. Yeah, yeah, And maybe we'll... I mean, we need some really big help to beat uh, the, the Jinsu of uh, of Provenza. So... Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, I mean, let's just, uh, in a world where I'm kind of more realistic, I would just like to have, like, um, some sort of big pattern or some sort of uh, Jinsu uh, to be very happy with my day in general. It's not exactly like goal making here. It's more like a lottery, you know? It's not uh, as much as I would like to get a super rare. And God, would I like to have a super rare? Um, yeah. Realistically, the gold making in here is not that great. Something I kind of need to mention because some people could think that coming here, uh, they could get like these amounts of gold from like just a few uh, hours. Uh, this is not the case, right? There's a lot of uh, a fake value related to these uh, loot appraiser challenges. And like I could put like the region sale average, but it, it would be kind of... How can I say? Sometimes the region sale average is just so low compared to the price of the region market. And also, some items just have such a low sell rate that uh, it, it, it's almost like impossible to sell. Or like it just the region sale average might not show like the, the kind of real value. Like the only people buying this item is people sniping this item at like a thousand or less gold that's why they're buying it but i don't think that's the reality of someone who wants this transmog uh this is why i always say that i try to sell above the region sale average yeah here there we go. yeah i'm pretty excited to um to see kind of what's gonna happen with uh with older men with the future years as well right uh you you see like many farms kind of change over time uh older men used to be much 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 better at some point where some of the things had some really good prices but regardless of if it's on na or eu the prices now not so good right not so good for the prices in general so uh so yeah that's kind of the situation when something becomes like over farm or just, you know, it's not necessarily that it's over farm, but it's just there is almost no demand for these items, right? It's a very, very small demand. If you look at all of the sell rates of all of the items in here, uh, they all have a very poor sell rate. Very few items in here have a really solid sell rate. I'm thinking uh, the patterns have an okay sell rate. The Jinsu has an okay sell rate, but the rest is just not so good, right? The Shoveler has a good sell rate, but usually the price of the Shoveler is not too good. So there is some items still, but it's like definitely not that much stuff. Yeah.
So this is run 29, so we're getting close to like the 30th run, which is really good. I think that for the time that we're in right now, we're getting close to the 4 hour mark. Uh, 30 runs in, 40, in 4 hours is kind of fine with me. Considering especially that, keep in mind that the I didn't I didn't start my runs until 20 minutes into the stream. So, so yeah, that would be like 3 more runs right there. Uh, I could be like at, if I didn't like have this long intro. So as much as I've been streaming for this time, I wasn't like super active for the full time. Right? We'll have to vendor here and we can put this as a 29 run completed. Let's go. Okay, let's render all the stuff. I should really set up like uh, scrap. Uh, scrap has always been this sort of thing where I don't farm enough right now to really justify spending time uh, setting up all of the scrap stuff. Uh, but maybe it would be worth it. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, whoops. My back. Oh, and so we have the here okay we're good sell everything go did we sell our oh no it's here but we sold our pattern okay let's go back in there and reset the instance and we continue and we will maybe get finally your thing. Let's go. That's 75 runs already. Total. I didn't think it was this much. Yeah, 75 runs that we have to do. Last time we did 94 runs. So yeah, well, there's still a lot of time. Still a lot of time though. You will see. Yeah. Uh rare drops in the in the forty runs, yes. Right you think that it's gonna be run forty is gonna be the the run where we get the super rare? Yeah, that's something we could do as well. Like have a prediction of which run is gonna be the super rare. Would be crazy if someone actually gets it, right? Uh, run 44, you think? Could be run 44. Could be run 30, which is the run we're doing right now. Kappa. Go. Okay, I think we're not super fast. We're like slower than last time, I feel. Last time we were doing a little bit faster. I'm not really trying too hard though. Should be trying harder. I want to uh to finish in time. Uh 2174. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yo. Uh, I just meant more runs. He loves all the man because of the high drops rate of super, uh, ah, okay. By this man more runs. He loves old man because of the high drop rates of super items. Keck fucking W Twitch prime. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said Keck fucking Olderman. W. Oh, we got some old man. There you go. Give me a second. Open this up and let's spin the wheel. Hold on. Now, can can we please get re remove some runs? Remove some runs, you stupid fucking wheel. There you go. Minus one run. Let's go. Fuck you guys. Well, <laughs> thank you, Crazy Bear Gold, for purchasing the Olderman wheel. We now only have 74 runs to do. Yay! Thank you. You know, good like Crazy Bear Gold is a good sports, you know? Good sports, Crazy Bear Gold. There we go. 
<laughs> uh, this super head hit very well. We will find him. So were you satisfied with the TTS, uh, Dave? Were you satisfied with the Because the Keck fucking W was pretty good, oh, I thought. Oh, we got another one from Provenza. There we go. Second. All right, let's spin it. All right, let's remove some more runs, okay, Provenza? Let's remove some more runs. Come on. Yes! Provenza, another very, very good sport. A very, very good sport. There you go. 73 runs. Easy life. See? People are on my side right now. People are on my side. Freaking love it. The wheel is on my side. Rigged? What do you mean rigged? This is a great, great wheel. Okay, and so far you guys are adding more runs than actually removing, okay? Right now you've had it like 11 runs. Because we started at 60, we got two subs, so that's uh, 62. And now there's 11 more runs. So you've had a lots of runs with the wheel. No? You have to go like the other side sometimes. You have to give... You have to give Canadian hope that he's not going to do 100 runs, okay? This is just hopium right now. I agreed. I don't remember 73... Oh, being... the there you go. We're, we're in a good strike right now to remove some runs. So let's keep removing some runs, okay? Let's go, wheel. You're doing great now. And... Okay, so double up and we spin. Okay, so now... Uh, the next thing that we get... It's going to be doubled. Okay. Let's see what we get. Minus two runs, so minus four. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yes. And now we're at the sweet number of 69 runs. Well, this is, uh, this is going to be an easy challenge if you guys keep going. Oh, my God. This is such a great. Oh, I love this wheel. Love this wheel. <laughs> I want my <laughs> no 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 I mean there's no refund sadly like there's no option for me to refund so sorry but you can always respin and remove more runs right <laughs> it's it's I'm telling you today is my day we're gonna get lucky okay we're gonna get on the run 50 we're gonna get the super item. Okay, and that's going to be all the runs. That, we cannot go below 60, right? So we'll do an extra 10 runs after and get another super rare, right? Two more spin and stream will be... <laughs> no, 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 no. We cannot go below 60, right? We cannot go below 60 because that was the initial point, right? But we'll see. But, I mean, if you guys keep going very hard, we might get to uh to, to, to 60. <laughs> I, I'm never lucky with this wheel usually, you know. I've always been fucked by this wheel, and right now, not happening. Yo. All right, and that's run number thirty completed. Let's go. All right, let's do. Do we have backspace? Yeah, let's do it one more. Go. Right. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go. Let's go. Run number 31 has been started. We could be halfway through the challenge if you guys keep going. <laughs> oh, the, I can't believe we got the double minus two. It's crazy. Ah, oh, another brand. Excavator brand. God fucking damn it. It's not as bad as the, uh, what's the name of the thing? The, the Piff helmet, where I really think, you know? You need to stream for the hours so I can get more uh, channel points, yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, not gonna happen, but, uh, yeah. If you stick around, you'll get uh, you'll get more points, right? Someday. 
I don't think that there's that many point that there's that many ways to get more points. I know you get double the points roughly if you have like a, if you're a sub. I think that when you follow the stream, you get some points. I think that if you follow a raid, you get more points. I think if you watch a consecutive stream, if you come into the stream even I think for one minute, it counts as a consecutive uh, stream. And you get like a bonus for consecutive streams, stuff like that. I'm not 100% sure how this works. Uh, if there's other ways to get uh, get points. I think maybe the first time you give bits in a month is one way. I, I don't know. I would, re I would need to read the article to know, but I, I don't really remember. I know I've named a few of the ways. There might be more ways. Yeah. Well, I know if you follow around in a raid, that gives you points maybe for like both channels. I'm not sure how this works for like when you get raided or when you raid people. Not 100% sure here. Yeah. All right, let's go. Forty-eight hours is just—I've uh, never really done a forty-eight hours stream. The longest I've been doing is twenty-eight hours, and it was just horrible. Worst day of my life. Now maybe not. It was really fun, right? It was really fun, but also like very bad for me. Every time I do like it uh, in the past that I did a 24 hour stream, I didn't know like the next day if I would be able to kind of be okay and kind of recover from it, you know? I think you have to kind of manage your energy when you do these longer streams and go with the kind of energy that you have on that day. Uh, the worst part is that like the night before your 24 hour stream, like. If you're someone like me that gets stressed over like things like this, you have usually trouble sleeping because uh, you have a 24 hour stream coming, but it's very, very important that you sleep, right? So yeah, it's like sometimes you only sleep like three, four hours before your 24 hour stream. You're just so fucking fucked. Apparently Alpha is dropping in three minutes. Really? That's so sick. Damn. So people were right. It was actually this week that uh, the beta is dropping. That's pretty cool. Yep. I win alpha, sure. Oh, is there actually a, a lottery to join the alpha? I thought it was the... Because they call it the beta. Right? When you ask for beta access... They're calling it, uh, I signed up only for beta. I don't know if there was another place where you could sign up for alpha. Because for me, it was the, yeah, you must join for the alpha as well. I mean, I, I don't mind not being in the alpha, to be honest. But uh, I don't think the alpha was be, will be very long. I think the alpha will be very short, actually, but I don't know. Hmm. No beta, I think. Not well. I mean, that's what I joined, and it's called a beta on the on the actual uh, website, right? All right, we didn't get shit. Uh, to sign up for Alpha, you have to go back to Brokeback Mountain. Yeah, sure. All right, thirty-one runs done. So, guys, uh, we're gonna take a, a little break since since the whoops, since it's the 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 four-hour mark. Uh, and when we come back, we'll do more of this. So. Uh, I'll put some music and I'll be right back.
No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 No!
is time to continue our journey. We're all the man. Let's go. Let's keep going. All right. Thank you for your patience uh, during my break. Needed to eat. Needed to twirl the mustache really well to increase our luck. And now we're going to take this moment to appreciate the amount of people joining today. The amount of people joining in the lax as well. That's always very, very cool to see. Much, many more people than last time we did this are joining the lax, which is really, really cool. And that means maybe, even if it's not us, it could be someone else getting a super item, right? Um, someone else out here could win a, could get a super item. That would be pretty sick. I mean, I really wish it on everyone here, right? That would be pretty cool. Uh, regardless of who it is, like, it would be really, really cool if someone get it, right? Obviously, I wouldn't mind if it was me who gets it, right? But I think there's always, like, this sort of, uh... Of cool... There, there's kind of, there's this kind of tension, right? You have tension of... Could happen at any point. Could be now. Could be not happening too. So I like this. I like this. I like the um, the kind of always this this little tension that probably not gonna happen, but it could happen, right? A little bit like uh, how the lottery is in real life, but it's like with way better odds than the lottery, you no? Know? And I'm not someone who usually does the lottery, and I'm not someone who actually does all the men either, but, like, I think that this is just something that, on my bucket list, maybe, you know? It's just someone I, I want to clear from my bucket list. I want to feel like all of the previous runs were not wasted, right? I want to feel like all of the previous runs that I've done of this were not, like, a wasted time, you know? I, I want them to be... This sort of, um, it's worth it only if I get an item at some point, you know? That that's already feels just better to, to think of it this way, right? Eh? Alright. But yeah, we're at the run number 32. Uh, I'm okay with the speed that I'm doing this uh, right now. I feel like this speed is pretty satisfying. Uh, that's how I am at with Alvin the Anvil. 437 attempts. Is that on the rare or you're talking also about the dungeon boss? Because that's a pretty big number, uh, Crazy Burgle. Yeah, I, at some point you just kind of want to finish what you started, right? It has this sort of... Uh, it has this sort of... Uh, I have to get it, right? Uh, rare only. You have four tunes parked out there. Okay, okay. So you just kind of relog. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I mean, I really wish you the, the best of luck. Uh, it's pretty crazy that the drop rate of some of these items in this expansion uh, have been ugh, pretty rough. But uh, if we get like this region wide auction house, this is something that is going to be easier for some people to buy with war bands, right? With war bands, everyone will be buy, uh, able to buy anything from any server. So that's going to make it just more accessible. I think that um, I think that what you're doing is really not a fun farm. Especially that the rare is not always there, you know? It's definitely not uh, a really fun farm. Uh, if we could get infinite amounts of attempts per day, that would already be something. But now you can just really do it once per day, I believe. That makes it, like, just horrible. Alright, we're at the final chest here. 
This is this has I think this has the highest probability of a super. But not today. All right, let's update the thing to 32 runs completed. Beautiful. All right. It is time. Go check. Oh yeah, our, oh boy, this is really really full. Uh they changed it yesterday. Uh, now the rare spawns and you can't attack for two to five minutes to give people time to get there. It was where rare died. Uh, it was where the rare died in twenty seconds. Ah, uh, is it because of the? Um, probably because of the 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 dream surge, right? The dream surge empowered the rares. So for every that's what they did, but did is it just where the dream search is or is it everywhere? Oh so. Beautiful. All right, let's go back. Reset the instance. And let's go for run number 33. Rare response to Kenneth. Yeah, I think that's uh, something like this that they did for the Dream Surge, right? All right. And go again for the next. I don't know, but I know it was made easier to log over the four accounts. Oh, okay, so you have four different accounts, not four characters on one account. Okay, oh yeah, so so now you kind of have more time. I guess that makes more sense, right? Yeah. Must be kind of disheartening to just, even though you're really having like four accounts like this, you don't get it after like 437 kills, you say? That's kind of crazy. Well, that's RNG, right? That's just how RNG is. I guess you know what you're getting into in a way. You know? You know that this is a pretty rare item. So, I guess that uh, I'm pretty sure that you'll probably get it at some point pretty soon, right? To do this as a daily thing something that i found like uh that was a little bit um annoying for me is uh i i i did post like my auctions on five different realms for the past something like 30 days in a row usually i did every two days but recently i've been increasing the amount of posts that i did and in the last two, three days, I felt like really burned out of doing this. I, I was like, this this is just too much posting. Uh, each realm has something like 250 auctions. So it, it takes a while to post like 250 auctions on five different realms plus my main realm, you know? So, so it was becoming this sort of, uh, I was a bit tired, so... I think that I may take like a week off from posting these auctions just to kind of take a, 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 a little breather. I think I'll feel better about it, you know? Sometimes I like taking breaks. Like It was the same thing with something like uh, the Shadowlands mission table at some point. I know that I was kind of a little bit more tired, you know? So, yeah. I also noticed Rosa first Rise appears like every 30 minutes for 12 hours then disappears for one or two days oh really so it's he's not even up every day that's such a bullshit thing Ugh. yeah i think there's like a rotation of which rare is up today something like this some rares are not up every day uh the the lack is almost over i will start a new lack for people who might want to join but we'll see 
We're now at the f almost four hours and a half of the stream. Pretty intense stuff. So yeah, uh, we'll we'll see how um we'll see what happens, but like um definitely would like uh to finish and to not have to stream twelve hours sometimes because uh, we'll see how it goes. I've been I've been having trouble sleeping in the past few days. So yeah, the lack is over and Bravenza won. Congratulations, Bravenza. Go and we got earth and red here. Go, I'll start another lack after this run. Okay, I'll start another lack after this run. Go. All right, let me take a screenshot of the lack, actually. Gonna have the data from all the lacks today. Put this in the Discord. Beautiful. And this, this. And he didn't get it. Okay, uh, I will send some invites in a moment. For this, let me update the amount of runs to 33. Beautiful. Uh, oh. Okay, okay. All right, let's vendor, sir. Do we have to vendor? Doesn't really matter. Let's just send, uh, let's just send the, uh, okay. Yo, let's just send a new lack right here. If you want to join, uh, we're going to start uh, somewhat soon. There you go. Uh, I'm going to. Yeah, we're going to vendor since we're starting a lack. If we got some people who wants to join. Go. Go. We'll see. I don't know if... Um, it would be good if only like one person joined. Even if uh, if nobody wants to join, it would be pretty good if only like one person would join. Even though if they don't do anything, just so that we can see easily like the most valuable Stay items, that would be pretty good. All right, we'll see. Hmm. You're trying. Okay. Uh, I'll uh. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're here. You're here. Cool. Ravenza's here. I'm sending more invites. We'll see if that was the issue. So we got that least one person, so that's great. This. All right, uh, let's see here. Let's go. Uh, we will. Uh, we'll actually do a ready check, and if people wants to get okay, we got uh, we got two people now. I need to do another ready check here for Crazy Bear Gold. There we go. Let's start it. Thank you very much uh, for joining. That's very appreciated. If you have the, uh, if you struggle to join or don't know how, let me know, and I will help you uh, get there. On super bear. This is the run number thirty-four. So if things stay the same, this would be close to like the halfway point. That would be pretty good. Looking like it's gonna take like over eight hours then. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Go. Give me your energy. Is 
definitely feeling a little bit less uh, energetic. I think, I think recently, like my sleep has been pretty horrible. But no, no it's it, compared to what it's been at some points, it's not horrible. But uh, sometimes I only fall asleep at like five in the morning, pretty, which is really rough. Really, really rough. Okay. You know? uh, hey. One day at a time. We'll get back there. Oh. You know? We'll get back in there. Today, we work hard and we're going to get a super rare. That's basically what's going to happen, right? Surely. I like him. Um, there's something that I know a lot of people are trying to avoid in this game, but I like this sort of RNG, uh, like something like this. Even though, like, we do get unlucky, there is something that is pretty cool. I like, I think that one of my biggest virtue is determination, right? And what is determination? It's when you kind of keep pushing even when things are hard, right? Uh, you just keep going at it right so so you know we've been doing like 1500 rounds of this and we still don't have the super rare uh but with enough determination i will i'm a hundred percent sure to get this item right i'm a hundred percent sure to get this item with enough determination so that's kind of the the cool thing about even an item as rare as this it's the same thing for you, Crazy Bear Gold. If you keep going at Rosar, uh, you're going to get the pattern, right? I'm not sure, but do you have, like, a blacksmithing on your um, on your four characters? I'm not sure if you if you need to have blacksmithing for the pattern to drop. But uh, the, it could be the case. Isn't this the same guy that drops the, the blacksmithing hammer pattern? Isn't this the same guy? So are you going to learn the recipe or you're going to sell it, uh, Crazy Bear Gold? I'm kind of curious uh, about what you will do if you do get the pattern. Oh, you got four or five of those. Nice. Did they sell for good prices? I don't know what's the price right now for these. At some point, it was a pretty crazy uh, price. You'll learn the first one and, and sell if I get more. Okay. 75k. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm pretty sure they sell pretty well, right? Pretty sure they sell pretty well, right? That's good. I, I don't think that you can work order this hammer, right? Can you work order this hammer? Because I have the recipe, because I, 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 I actually got it to drop. And I was not really farming it. But yeah. You're on 40 rounds. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, Bravenza got the monolithic bow as well again. Very nice. Bravenza is having uh, some nice luck today. But yeah, this is uh, this is something I really like about. I think this is one of my greatest virtues is just being perseverant. I think that uh, being able to um, to kind of not give up when things are hard is one of the best things you can have in life. So sometimes it's good to know when to give up on some things, but on something like this, I know that eventually I will get my super item. You know. Uh, hey, Des! Happy birthday, Des! You know what? Let's actually have a happy birthday dance for Des, okay? Da -da -da -da. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Des! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> How you doing on your very, very nice birthday? 
Are you having a good birthday so far? I don't know where you're from, uh, what time is it uh, for you, if it's the evening or if it's the the afternoon, but uh, but yeah, happy birthday. Yo. Stuff. And we'll reset. Beautiful. 34 runs completed. I'm happy. I'm finally logging into WoW and the weather is cooperating, so my husband will be able to grill some nice steaks in, in Minnesota. Nice. Very nice. Are you like a Vikings fan or like uh, the wild hockey team fan? I don't know. I do. Uh, I do. Uh, I am more of a hockey than a football fan, personally. Not that I watch like that much sport, but la yesterday was the last game of the year for hockey for my uh, for my team. They're not making the playoffs, sadly. Uh, but I might watch some uh, some playoff hockey. We'll see. We'll see. Ba -ba -da. Ba -ba -ba. Not really a football fan. I like the twins still. I'm not a fan of their trades in recent. I really don't uh, follow baseball too much. You do in the hockey, nice. I don't. Uh, I don't really. Um... I mean, I watched baseball when I was like a kid with my dad. We had a team in Montreal back uh, back in the nineties, but then the team got uh, got sent, I think, to Florida, something like this. I think the team got uh, got sold, uh, so we don't have a an MLB uh, team anymore. Sadly, I did enjoy going. I did watch some live games, a bunch of live games, because because the business was doing really really bad for them. You could get like a uh, baseball tickets, really good baseball tickets for like ten dollars, and like the hot dogs would be one dollar, something like this. Would be kind of crazy. It was a, a cool event they would do sometimes for uh, people. Yeah. My job took me to a Twins game last year. I don't really watch anymore because it takes so. Yeah, I mean, especially baseball, they play like over a hundred games per year, right? They play like a one game every single day for months, right? And I think it's 160 games, something like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it used to be. The, yes, uh, it's the Montreal Expos. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I did watch them uh, quite a few games actually. Okay, yeah, it's just too many games to kind of follow on these, right? Seems like it's very hard to kind of know, like who's gonna watch like. 400 hours uh that's without the playoffs it's over like maybe 500 hours even of baseball uh in like a five in like a six month span you know that's crazy amount of uh of sports watching i mean if you really like it that that's great that there's so many games i mean these guys must be super tired man these baseball players must be like super tired from just so many games it's just one game after the other oh i don't want to die i don't want to die, I don't wanna die. Kill me. Go. Now that's Miss World of Warcraft time. Uh, technically, you can kind of more like do both, right? Technically, you could do both. Both at the same time. Um, I like uh, I like having like uh, nowadays when I play video games, I I just either listen to music. Or a video on YouTube, or a podcast, or a Twitch stream. You know, it's something that's a nice quality of life. I did watch um, a video on the Apple Vision Pro recently, and this seems like a crazy place to kind of put yourself into in a way. It's like you really have this sort of immersion, like you're in your bubble, really, right? 
You're really like in your bubble. Seems kind of crazy to me. Uh, because I, I have my my to watch my favorite streamers. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, it's nice. It's not, like um, it's nice the the streaming as well, like on on Twitch. You know, um, it's a it's a new thing. We like it's it's kind of recent the Twitch thing, and I'm I'm very curious to see. What it's going to be in something like 20 years, right? What it's going to be for something like in 20 years. There is this sort of... Uh, there is this sort of crazy things happening in this world where, where some some creators come to have like just so much power sometimes over these companies that want to promote uh, products or games or whatever. Like imagine like um, how much it can have an effect to have like uh, Asmund Gold play your game, for example. Uh, and like if he doesn't like it, and then your game like nobody buys your game is because of that or something like this, or very few people like your game. Uh, it's just kind of crazy how much just imagine uh, or just imagine this, okay? Imagine me. Getting rated by Hasman Gold, how much followers I would get from from such a crazy event, right? Just having this sort of visibility, it's kind of crazy the potential of the internet sometimes, like how some uh, some people get discovered through like these really big streamers. It's kind of crazy when you think that more than one thousand people can watch someone on the internet. Like seeing these uh these the, the these people with thousands of viewers is so crazy. I I, I don't know, like I, I feel like um I feel like it's hard not to feel like super pressured, right? When you have like that many people around. But maybe it's just me. I get I get like I feel pressure all the time sometimes, you know. It's kinda crazy. Even right now, like just with the uh, with like thirty something viewers. Sometimes I do feel like lots of pressure. It kind of varies. I guess it's the as the pressure sometimes you put on yourself. I guess that yeah, maybe it's that. That's something I need to probably work on, like having like putting outside of the perspective of the of the spectacle of like the 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 the, the, the spectrum of like different levels of uh, of people right so like there's a if there is like a certain amount of people i get more anxious it's always like that it takes me a while to kind of get accustomed like at the start i would be nervous when there was like 10 viewers right or after that i would be nervous at 15 and then 20 and now even at 30 or 40 i, I get kind of nervous sometimes so it, it has this sort of uh, i don't know if at some point i won't be nervous about the amount of viewers i'm trying to stop looking but i'm too curious right i'm too curious to see like because at the same time i, I feel like there's a form of feedback when you when you kind of watch uh the, the 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 amount of viewers but maybe i should not watch it during the stream right so so like what i mean by that is like the, the amount of feedback is if you do something and lots of people watch you while you do that certain thing then you can kind of see oh people like this it's kind of hard to get feedback like i don't know what people prefer from my stream is it the entertainment value? Is it the goal making possibilities? Is it the um, is it the bunny ears? You know, you just don't know. Ah, thank you, Des. But uh, his name is Zayu. I agree. A PvP streamer, uh, stealth into some streams, and all of a sudden now his followers started following their streamers. So uh, I bother. Hi. Yeah, Xaryu, Xaryu really kind of skyrocketed recently, right? Uh, Xaryu was uh, 
Well, as I remember, I had a, a sub following before, but now I think he's like at least 10 times bigger than what he used to be. It's kind of crazy how... Um, well, I think it was with classic, classic hardcore and shit like that that it really became uh, a, a bigger thing. When when classic hardcore got like so much hype, I think he was one of the people who was very, very knowledgeable in, in that front, right? Uh, the bunny ears are pretty good, yeah. <laughs> Community and the knowledge. Yeah, I, I like, this is like, if I was like a viewer looking at my stream, I think that what I would like the most is the actual knowledge gaining kind of stuff. This is what I like, you know. I understand that lots of people uh, see this goal making stuff, right? And they're like, no, you know. They see this goal making stuff and they might not be kind of too into it there's a lot of people that don't really do goal making anymore they've have given up multiple times because it's hard right it's hard for many players the bunny ears are cute <laughs> i can't find how to get into the old older man um basically there's like i, I can kind of show you when i come back after this run i can kind of show you um but yeah i can let me just finish this run and i'll show you <laughs> I mean, yeah, there is. this isn't the normal wheel that you can get me to get the bunny ears. Maybe I'll put it as a permanent thing that you can buy for channel points. Uh, one up and one down. It's uh, it's down. You have to go down. It's like uh, yeah, it, it's going down. That is the is the is the way. I'm not getting a whole lot since this uh, thing started, right? Since this thing. Can we get a super rare now? Nope. All right. Ah, uh, so that's thirty-six. Let's go. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll vendor my stuff and then I'll try to show you uh, Crazy Bear Gold. Okay. There we go. All right, and we vend it. Cool. Go down, go down, go. Get a little bit of time to vend there, like like this. It's just kind of slow, but it, it's like not that slow, but it's still it's too slow. Yeah, this is why I think I should get scrapped. You know, scrap would be great for this. And we keep this. All right, let's go back in here. Thank you. Ooh. There we go. Ah. All right. Okay, so uh, in here, you see, uh, this is kind of the entrance. This is what it looks like. Uh, so it's like um, you can see it from jumping down from here, you see. This is kind of how you get in here. You just keep going down. Uh, always down, down, down. And this is basically the outside. Now we're in the outside, right? Yeah, this is kind of the outside. I'll show you where it is on the outside. If you look at the map right now, this is right here, okay? Yeah. Oh yeah, you just go like this. And you just always every time there's an option to go down, you go down. So here you go down. Go. And right here you go down and there's the door. Voila. Mm. You get more water. Beautiful. That didn't, just didn't go far enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a bit of a of a hippy cave. There we go. All right. Let's get into it. 
let's go for the that this is the one this is the run right we're gonna get gonna get the super rare maybe today maybe it's this run run number 37 but yeah it, it's kind of crazy how people can go from like can, can jump back so fast lots of people say that they've been like lucky when it comes to like being discovered and stuff i i think that there is a factor of luck but at the end of the day if your stream was not entertaining or wasn't good like sometimes sometimes is a there is this sort of factor where Yes, uh, you're unlucky that people don't discover you, but there are things that you can do for people to discover you, right? You can work at getting discovered by other people. Um, but is it like, or is your stream like good, right? I think it, I think it's important. Lots of people say, and at the same time, you know, I watch a lot of uh, of streams right now, and you know, you compare a stream with someone who has tons of viewers compared to someone who has medium amount of viewers and sometimes uh they're both like pretty entertaining like the the one that has a ton more viewers n doesn't necessarily is the the an amazing streamer uh, uh, i don't know uh, it, it much better not necessarily that he's not amazing but it's like not necessarily much 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 better than the other one just sometimes the Everything that you do, like, outside of the stream, like, some people have a huge YouTube or a huge social media. It brings just so many people, right? I, I, at least that's kind of how I feel. But, yeah, I do plan to do, like, more YouTube videos, like, very soon. I have, I have already have, like, two videos for YouTube planned. Uh, I haven't really started, like, doing the... Um, any of the gathering of the footage or um or the editing obviously but uh i, I scheduled some times to to do some of these videos so uh i'm glad to be doing more youtube Glad to be uh, that and my like secret project that i've been working on i've been working on a secret project that's gonna be revealed pretty soon pretty excited to kind of show you guys uh, that stuff uh, but yeah, it, it's gonna have to do a little bit with YouTube as well. So lots of uh, lots of stuff is coming. I'm pretty excited. I, I think that for me, like just the the YouTube video that I did for the mission table, um, for the Shadowlands mission table, I, I look at this and I'm like, I should make more of this. This was pretty good, I think. Um, but yeah. There has to be my my problem sometimes with like filming with my camera is just the uh it, it's hard for me like it takes me lots of takes to do like uh i don't know if you guys know Kriparian. he's a hearthstone diablo world of warcraft streamer back in the day he switched games path of exile i think he's playing right now and this guy when he does he does these daily youtube videos for like forever for like 15 years or some shit and he does his videos in one take i could not make a video in one take like this i keep like fumbling my words it's so oh i'm excited to see what gold making idea you might have found for the pandaria event it would be cool right now i only have one thing for the pandaria as far as like gold making uh and that's alt army leveling basically this is gonna be the probably the best event in an extremely long time uh for leveling alts right you know how some people went really hard on the on the time on the time walking uh bonus event that had like 30 percent more xp or something like that and people would go like really going hard on the on this i think this is not it's not even close. This is going to be insanely fast leveling. I'm thinking maybe we could get to level 7 in something like 3 hours by the end of the event, right? You can boost your cloak uh, hard enough. I think this could really be insane. 
I think this could be absolutely brutal. I'm excited to try it out. Uh, it's not just about that, but yeah, if there is... Uh, no, it's like your cloak is like for your full account, uh, Wolfie. So like, if your cloak has plus 10 stamina, from now on, all of your characters have plus 10 stamina, regardless of your level. So this is kind of why it's not just leveling faster from the experience buff, because yes, you can get a permanent uh, experience buff on your cloak that can be like 100% more experience, but you can also have... Oh, I didn't reset. Fuck me. I just reset again. But you can have something like 100 agility, and you know what the level 10 does with 100 agility? And you can have speed. You can have... Um, other things. Uh, it's a uh, Bravenza. I'm talking about the Wow uh, Mr. Pandaria Remix event coming up really soon. So basically, uh, this event uh, will give you a legendary cloak, okay, that you can equip, and the stats will change over time. So let's say that you're killing a mob. You always have a chance to get statistics for your cloak. So, for example, what are the statistics? It can be plus one stamina, plus one intellect, plus one strength, uh, plus one experience gain, right? Plus one experience gains. That means that your whole account has a 1% extra XP, but you can loot tons of the, of the same ones, right? So, you could have plus 20% XP, plus 50% XP uh, for your whole account. Right while in this while in this event, right? Let, let's be let's be clear about this. While in this event, it's not going to work in retail, but you can also have speed. You can have leech. So not only are your characters going to get more XP, they're going to kick some serious ass from level ten to level level fifty probably because their cloak is going to be really stacked after a while. So the 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 more you play. You could have something like a thousand extra uh, buffs on your cloak. Having something like 150% XP. Uh, and then having all of the speed. You can also loot abilities. Okay, they don't go on the cloak, but they go on your equipment. But some of these abilities give you more mobility. So you could have like a roll. You could have dash. You could have... Uh, lots of like um, nice door of shadows, seen door of shadows as well being in there. Uh, keg smash, I think. I'm not sure. So I level my first character class, and once I level max a bit and go for a second one, the character versus you don't even have to max out your level to get the XP. All your characters will get. So let's say that you start a character, you get to level 20, you don't really like it. The stats that you get on your cloak stays for all of your characters. So let's say that you got 5% extra XP. The next character that you level will get all of the stats from the cloak plus 5% XP. So, like, you, you could really do this. If you want to start with one character, and it's much faster, right? It's already more XP, uh, faster XP than what it's currently in retail. I think that from the start... Going from 1 to 70, I doubt it's going to take more than 10 hours from a baseline, right? Without any stats on your cloak, I think that it's going to take less than 10 hours to level a character. So, I, I, it seems like people were like were getting to level 70 uh, by the two-day event that was on the... Oh, we got another shoveler here. Nice. So, so yeah, by, by the time... People were doing this. So it, I don't have like the exact numbers for you. And it was still kind of on PTR. There is subject to change. But this looks incredible. Uh, no, I don't think it has a cap. Uh, as far as we know, uh, Blizzard has shown cloaks with 350% extra XP. So I don't think there's a cap. Maybe there's a cap of stats that you can get per day. I could see something like this. Um... Because if they don't have a cap, uh, this could become problematic, right? This could become problematic if there's no cap, right? If it becomes to the point where you can level a character in one hour, 
I mean, how fucking crazy is that? There's no 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 more need for leveling characters ever for me in World of Warcraft, right? If I get this cloak to something like 200% and I can level a character in two or three hours, that's fucking crazy. Two or three hours to level a character. And then I could have like, yeah, the best alt army ever. Like this is a real possibility right now to have this kind of crazy alt army power. Uh, this This is meant for you to feel like a god, right? This is what they want from this event. They want to make you feel like you're a god or a goddess, right? So th this could really be crazy. Really, really be crazy. Uh, and that's that's kind of the first gold-making thing that I see out of this, right? Uh, for me, this is worth some gold. For me, this is definitely worth some gold. So, so yeah, we'll see... That, that's kind of my thinking when it comes to alt army. Like, how much would you pay to get 10 level 70s, right? How much would you pay to get 10 extra level 70s? Uh, for me, I'd be happy to pay like something like probably 3 million gold. 300k each. And I know I can do that right now, but I just, I don't like paying for this. I prefer like doing it kind of all by myself, right? So here, I think I'm going to do some mailing right now because uh, my bags are kind of becoming annoying to clear. Like, I don't have a lot of space. So we're going to try to make a little bit of space here. Go check. Okay. Under all of this. And I will mail uh, all of my uh, lock boxes and stuff. Get my mailbox in here, and we're gonna send to out of the mail. So let's send all of the mailboxes, the, the lock boxes. Go. So we'll send this, this, this. This is the pattern. No, but this is still this is the pattern. That's good. Okay, all right, we can send this as well. Anything else? No. And and I will vendor the last item. We will also reset the this. Sure, this is under this is did. He did. Beautiful. All right, that's it. now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. Have more backspace. This is definitely gonna help. So so yeah, I think this is a really really big opportunity. Uh, and I, I want to capitalize on that opportunity for sure. I want to capitalize on this opportunity for sure. I, uh, I've been waiting for something to level my characters in an easier way. Uh, for some time, I, I, I'm, I'm a big believer of timing, right? Uh, timing is so important when it comes to so many things. And for me, I was like, I'm going to wait because I know that there's going to be something for leveling uh, coming up, right? I know that there's going to be maybe a 50% increase in leveling. They have did that in the past, you know. I was waiting for those moments to really kind of get a bunch of characters for free. But here's my number. Here's something that I would like, okay? I would like to not have to get boosted to level up in this game, okay? I would like that there would be fun ways to level up in this game that I can do and just level characters and it's not a chore. It's just something that I do and it's fun to do, right? This this is for me the if they can make leveling fun, um I would freaking level all the time, right? And I would level and maybe even collect, right? Since uh, since I'm leveling at the at the same time, I could collect things uh, to kind of mix things up, mix up my route. And you know, this cloak idea could be in retail right now, in a different kind of thing. Here's something that I would like. Okay, you know what the problem is with stuff like time rifts and uh, and dream searches and these outdoor world events. You know what my, my problem is with those things? Is that you're not powerful when you do those things, right? 
You're not powerful. You're just like some some guy, like everyone else. Even if you're geared, it doesn't really change a whole lot. Doesn't really matter. What if we could be powerful, but outside of the raids, outside of PvP, and outside of Mephek Plus, right? What if we could be super powerful outside in the world? <coughs> what if Time Rips could give you items that upgrade your heirlooms, right? Uh, upgrade your heirlooms to become, to give a bonus. Like, what if your heirlooms could be the cloak that they're talking about in uh, in the WoW remix, right? I think this would be crazy. So good. Um, I hope bronze is passable to alts. Otherwise, might be stuck on one character. I mean, I I think that there's a lot of things that you can buy with bronze. I think this is not going to be a big problem if this ever comes to be. Uh, that you have you cannot trade it, right? Uh, it could be just an account wide currency too. Uh, I think that this would be the logical thing would be an account wide currency, uh, but I really don't know. I really don't know. I hope so. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I think bronze is, a, is also a great fucking thing. When I first heard that there would be no auction house in this um, in this mode, I was like, oh no, did they ruin this for me? Uh, but then I saw like all of the other things. You can get buffs, right? Scroll buffs. I think this is a great, great, great idea as well. There's just so many good things in here, right? There's just so many good things in this uh, in this thing. I uh, I think there's a lot of good stuff coming out of um, of this event, and even me. I, I mean, imagine, okay, how I live for the auction house in this game. And they release a mode without an auction house, and I still want to do it. Uh, yeah, there's so many, like, I, I'm going to buy everything that I can with bronze. Uh, something that would be cool is there, if there is some pets that you can sell on retail, holy shit, I'm going to farm bronze to get all of the pets, man. All of the pets that I can get to sell on retail. Oh, my God. Or, like... Ah, uh, if there is anything that's really kind of sellable on retail, which I really doubt, but uh, you know, one can dream, one can dream, right? Let me, let me dream, is what I would answer no, to that. God. Oh, we got some ads now. No, God, please, and yeah, no. we will no. actually do no. some stretching. Yeah, no. we'll wait here. We'll wait uh, before we continue. But let's do some stretching again. Or actually, maybe some push-ups on the wall, something like this. We need, we need some. Uh, we need some, uh, we need some pop. You can definitely see I'm, I'm lower energy. They have been, oh, there you go. Let's do some wall push-ups. One. Four. Five. Seven, eight, seven, so let's do some spots now. All right, one. All right, see you later. Uh, that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, two, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right. We're getting stronger and stronger. <laughs> All right, let's lift the jelly. Oh, we still have one coffee left to drink. Forgot. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So let's go, let's go. And let's get the clans here. Go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, whatever. Let's just get more, more reps until the ads are over in like five seconds. There we go. And the ads are over. Thank you so much for your patience during the ads. We'll go back to the beautiful place that is Alderman. Make a hamburger now? <laughs> no. Not gonna make a hamburger now. I'm gonna heat healthy today. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What happens here. Done. Really? Nice. Alright, let's go. And we're gonna loot the last place. Are we gonna get something good here? And. Nope. All right, so that's run number 39 completed out of 69 for now. There we go. And we go back. And go again. Reset. set. And let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. This is run number 40. I think someone predicted that we would get the item on run number 40 like this. We'll see. Go. We will not surrender. We will get. Someone said, uh, yeah, you said 44. I think someone said 45 and someone said 40. So these ones are pretty much coming now. Finding times to be alive. Go. Is it gonna be run 40? Big question here. It would be funny if it was on run 69, you know? Because you know, 69 is a funny number. That would be even more super rare. Uh, second. Question uh, for the pet charms on the table. What do I need? Uh, you On the table, you will need to do the campaign missions. Uh, something I think you need to get like four or five campaign missions before you can get some of the um, some of the pet charms. So if you don't do like those missions, you're not gonna get pet charms. Uh, have to uh, take a break. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, don't worry about it, Crazy Bear Gold. Uh, level sixty to unlock uh, campaign. No, the campaign is unlocked from the start. Uh, like uh, you just really need to do the missions. Um, that are like the campaign mission progress should be eventually unlocking the pet charms. Leaving, thanks for the, no problem, uh, Bravenza. Thank you for joining. Thank you, both of you. Thank you for joining. See the price of the war bank. No, no, is this uh, is this a bit announced? This is something that I said could be a gold sink, could be a big gold sink. Tell me about it, uh, Royas. Tell me about it. 2.5 million gold for the fifth tab. Yeah, I'm happy with this personally. I think this is actually a good thing. It's a great gold sink, but people are going to be mad. People are definitely going to be mad about this. But in another way, lots of people will be farming gold because of this. So this is this is kind of a positive thing, I think. This is a win-win, I think, for most people. I think that lots of people will want to get this. 3.2 million for all five? That makes sense. But yeah, this is something I'm instantly buying on the day on day one of this, right? 
instantly buying this. This is really good though. I'm happy that they announced that. Finally, we got some info about uh, about the new thing, right? Finally, we got some info. Yeah. Crazy. 3.2 million is a lot of gold for most people. It's kind of like almost a Brutus or from back in the day. Oh, um, the links don't work. Uh, I, I cannot see the link that you sent. Uh, you can post it in this in my Discord. You can whisper me on uh, on Discord if you uh, can link you to Discord if you want. Sorry. Uh, there we go. I do not. Thanks. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, Royas. That's really appreciated. Go. All right. This go. This go. Check if we got the thing here. Let's see. Okay, so this is a Wowhead article. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, kill those guys here. Come on. Super rare. Okay, let me see here. We'll, we'll, I will show it on stream. Because uh, I think this looks like pretty interesting. Ah, oh, this is actually... Yeah, let's go to this. So... Uh, okay. Favorites. Okay, so you can favorite some characters. To put in here, okay. A uh, new reputation of renowned tracks will be Warband wide, okay. A uh, new Warband bank will allow you to easily store and share items between your characters. The ability to collect most some appearances in the Warband will also leave it here. Goals of the Warband system, I don't care. Warband conversion. One of the major undertakings of the Warbands is to convert aspects of the game which are currently character specific, yeah, okay. Yeah, the reputation. Here are the fullest converted reputations from Dragon Fight. So all of these are gonna be uh renown standard. Okay, so these are all gonna be okay. This one, these are gonna be later. Okay. First time uh first time quest reward. Yeah, this is what I thought. Like the first time you do a quest, it's so uh it's so good. It is perfect gold sinks as gold farmers uh, need it for uh need it the most, yeah. Uh part of the warband repetition implementation satisfying the gold of players with many uh, alls and intrinsic advantage over those who focus on playing on a single character. Accomplishes when there's a new concept with quest rewards, players can earn a bonus quest reward uh for any quest completed the first time on their warband. That's really good. Okay. It's like a diminishing thing, right? Okay, okay. So the first time you do it is super good. The the other things. Uh the human racial duplicity is currently designed to grant a ten percent bonus to players to choose that race. Unfortunately, with Warband reputations, this ratio causes problems due to its character specific nature. You don't want players to feel compelled to play a specific character or race. Okay. We will convert this race specific bonus into something new. Ah, oh, that's cool. Earning achievements for your warband. Okay. So achievements are kind of a count right now, right? Um shared flight points, yes. Preserving map map exploration. Yeah, that's cool. No currency confusion. Okay, so like map exploration, we decided to handle currency a little differently. Okay, so you can kind of switch the character. Oh, you can transfer. You can transfer the the resources. That's cool. That's really good. Oh, I love this. Items and gems into your warband. So there is still a reagent bank. Okay, that's good. If this guy has seventeen million. Okay. Uh, warband bank. And this is kind of scary for me. The seventeen million. Are they planning to do like massive inflation? If they're planning to do massive inflation, we need to spend our gold right now. Hmm. 
If they're planning to do massive inflation, we need to do that, but we'll see. And we'll provide the five tabs up to nine, 98 available inventory slots. So 98 times five. So we would have 490 slots, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times 14. So yeah, it's seven times 14. That's 98. Okay. Okay, this is nice. Let's put a deposit withdraw. Uh, and withdraw items. The bank will also behave. Um, need to craft reagents with having to withdraw them. In addition, the bank will also allow deposit manually to withdraw gold across characters. Nice. One limitation that is worth noting like pet battles, please. Who play multiple characters simultaneously on multiple battles. Uh -huh. We'll only find a character that logs into the realm first. Okay, so this is the same as uh, caging battle pets. It's the same as caging final pets. Uh, that would like to update the UI functionality of the character level bank. Use uh, tabs like the Warband Bank. Okay, so no more bags. That would be good. Yes, bags with no the League and character bank. That's great. Uh, cool. Warband, I don't care. And then sing your transmog collection. What are the announcements? Don't really see. Oh, you can see. Oh, you can select the class. Okay, that's good. Okay. What is what is it? Are they changing the loot again? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just transmog. Everyone together. Ability character selection screen. Um. Realms. Okay, so there is realms. Looks great. Is it me or this is a different place than the first time? So these could be like uh, different, but that's really cool. I think that's pretty cool. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Uh, it's a lot of gold, right? It's a lot of gold, but uh, we'll see. Uh, let's actually get some speed in here. We're, we're missing some of the stuff. Are we? Okay, we're good. Let's do one more. So we need to continue on the challenge, obviously. But yeah, this is cool info. I'm really happy. Thanks for sharing the info, guys. Really appreciate it. How this goes. Beautiful. Basically. That's really, really cool. So they're sharing a lot of information today or what? Are they like sharing lots of information? Because I'm kind of confused about that part. Go. There we go. Okay, so this is done. So we have run 40 completed. So sadly, no, no super rare yet. Let me see my bags. Yeah, we will do a little bit of a vendor here. That's the perfect uh, gold hey, sink. Many yeah, many I agree. Many streamers showing the task they did over the last two days. Oh, okay, okay. So some people have been kind of sharing some of the stuff. Okay, cool. Any member of like the gold making community got into like the the alpha, like maybe a student or I don't know, maybe Mentius or some shit or Zenzerful. Any like member of the community? Got into the the alpha. A uh, student is online now. Is he is he like uh, does he have the online? Oh, he has the alpha. That's pretty cool. Lucky guy. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. If there is someone in the goal making community that should get uh, alpha, I think it should be student. Personally, he's been creating content for the for ten years or, or even more, maybe. You know. 
go. But yeah, warbands. Here, here's the thing that there, there is this thing that shows realms, right? There is this thing, this button at the top right that shows realms. So, yeah, you'll be able to. I don't know how they can fix this, to be honest. But uh, I guess time will tell. Time will tell. But yeah, what what do you guys think of the three point two million gold to get your? Uh, I mean, I know a lot of people here. I know a hundred percent. That many, many, many people will feel motivated to farm gold, right? I think that many people will feel motivated to farm gold. And I think that they showed in their screenshot that the person had 17 million gold. So that means that you can have more than 10 million gold. I don't know if this is like if they're going to change the ca per character gold cap. That could mean a lot of good things and a lot of bad things if they increase the character gold cap. Here's my concern, okay? Imagine that the new gold cap is 100 million, okay? Now, let me ask you, how much is the Bla how much is the Brutozor going to be on the black market auction house? How much is the the Zulian Tiger going to be on the black market auction house? Right? I mean, I don't know how much people would be willing to pay, but I would see at least like something like 30 millions for the Brutozor. I could see that. But more than that, maybe even more, right? But I could definitely see some people paying 30 million gold for the Bruto. Right now, people are kind of paying re really big amounts for people to, to reserve it on some servers and buy it for them. Kind of crazy how people do this, but... Uh, really, really crazy. Uh, I don't like how this kind of boosting thing sometimes, uh, what it does, you know? I, I don't like what this does sometimes. This sort of, uh, all of the boosts make it that you don't really need anymore to have, um, to play the game to get some of the best rewards, you know? Yes. Ah, this, I love that you say this, Kev, because, you know, when was the time where the gold making was the most popular? Is, uh, is when the Brutozor got introduced. It gave people a goal, right? Uh, I'm sure that lots of people will see the five tabs and they're going to be like, holy shit, 3 million gold? Okay, I need to get those tabs, right? This is what people are going to are gonna say, right? I need to get those tabs. Uh, each tune uh, in the other pick still had gold cap. Oh, they had like 10 million on them? So you think that the 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 character gold cap is still ten million? Yes. Okay. So the character gold cap is ten million, and I'm assuming that there is no cap maybe for the warband gold, or maybe there's a cap. I don't know. Well, it's at least twenty millions, right? It's at least twenty millions for the for the. For the Warband Bank, right? I'm hoping it's a hundred million or even a billion. You know? I mean, I would love to see... I would love to see... At least a hundred million. But it would be nice if it was a billion. So that... Or even, even no cap, you know? Straight up no cap. And see like guys like uh, Ikans being able to show like... All of their gold in one spot. How cool would that be? Right? Another action mount? Uh, I mean, a, a utility mount, I think, is what you're talking about, right? Oof. 
I mean, maybe a warband bank, right? Maybe a bank mount. Oh, you mean another auction? Oh, another auction mount? I would love that for sure. I, I, I would personally love that. I might even buy it, but... Um, I don't know if we... I don't know if this is with the Blizzard infrastructures, right? We don't know if it's like uh, hard on the servers to have all of these auction houses, right? Remember that the Brutazor was in BFA and the auction house was very different in BFA. They had to change many things at the auction house since BFA. So I don't know if the Brutazor was kind of problematic to have an auction house a little bit everywhere uh, in the world. I don't know if this caused like some problems. Lots of people are speculating that it did, but we we don't know, right? So, kind of depends, right? But here's the thing that I like about, and this is this is what I mentioned before. I think that the the bank tabs would be one of the best gold sinks ever. This is something I mentioned on stream before. How I would freaking love to see the, the, the bank tabs being some huge gold sinks. This is what gold sinks should be, right? Something that is an account-wide thing that you can unlock through gold. I think this is a great thing. And like right now, Kev, Kev is saying like this is going to... He didn't really have a reason to get gold before, right? He didn't have a reason to get gold before. Let me tell you about me, right? Before the WoW token was introduced, I was I was uh, having some gold. Sometimes we purchase some mounts and not really cared that much about my gold. But when I could play for free, I started being a fucking beast at making gold. When I see that I could buy as many hardstone packs as I could get, I started being like, okay, now we're fucking going hard, you know? Uh, and now today to just, it's different today because I don't really buy a whole lot of uh, things in the, in the Blizzard store, right? I, like I don't, I pay my game time for free, which is pretty cool. This is absolutely amazing. I'm not sure I would play this game if I had to pay uh, 15 bucks every month per account. Uh, but yeah, I think I think that there's a lot of good shit in here, you know? I think that, you know, ha having now... I, I have so many cards in Hearthstone because of my World of Warcraft Gold. So many things that I could buy for me and my nephews uh, in Overwatch. Uh, that was also really cool. Uh, so, so there was a lot of benefits for me from having all this gold. You know? There's a lot of benefit. So I, I, I'm kind of excited. Kind of excited for what to come. Really, really excited. No. I mean, we'll see. We'll see, but um, I'm excited that people, like, this is where I thought that the, the gold making was the most flourishing, was in BFA. Uh, because lots of people were really going hard uh, to get the Brutozor, right? Lots of people went really, really hard to get the Brutozor. So, yeah. I think this could be really, really good news technically for me that this is here because more people are going to come and find some gold making content, right? It's basically what I'm doing. So th this is maybe potentially huge for me. This is going to be back to the BFA days, which would be amazing. Which would be pretty amazing. There we go.
All right, going. But yeah, I'm 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 pretty excited. But yeah, another auction house mount. I could see a bank mount, right? Yeah, I could see a bank mount for sure. You have the Brutazor? No, I don't have the Brutazor. Uh, I really thought about buying it, but back in the day, the token was like a hundred thousand gold. So that would have been fifty tokens, or seven hundred and fifty dollars USD. I thought that this was really a stupid price. It was so expensive. I decided to spend my gold on Hearthstone cards instead, and I regret nothing. And right now, even for 10 million, I would not buy the, the Brutus or most likely. It's just not something I, I don't like paying this kind of gold for just a, a, an item in the game. And I know it's a it's a really, really cool mount. Right? Don't don't get me wrong. I think this is a really probably one of the coolest mounts ever made. Um uh, but yeah. Uh, if I had like maybe triple the amount of gold that I have right now, I would probably pay 10 million for this. But uh, we'll have to see. I'm so excited for the next season uh, to see how much gold I'm going to make from my investments. If I'm going to make any gold, right? But right now I'm seeing some of the prices and I'm really, really hyped. There's just so many hype to be made. I, I don't think there has been this much hype. In a very long time in uh, in uh, in World of Warcraft, to be honest, it's kind of mind blowing to me to see like so much hype right now, and to be like learning about this thing about the the warbands, the warband banks. Uh, this is really cool information. I hope uh, I'm excited to see what's the uh, other information that we could have. Right. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah. Is there like uh new articles? There's probably new articles, right? Yeah, uh, we can check Warhead maybe in a little bit, right? Check Warhead. Maybe there's some new stuff on Warhead. Probably some new stuff on Warhead. Right? Let me actually just check right now. I'm curious now. Check Wowhead, see if there's new things, right? Season wrong, roar to first look at Neverbar Palace. Okay. Oh, all 464 mounts able to dragon ride? Damn. New loot in Blizzard Gear Store. New NPC models in the NPC. Wildcast developer chat. Okay. Account-wide leveling rewards in the War Within? What? New bank toy? The fuck, bro? Reach level 80 with one character will give you 5% additional experience up to level 80. This is so good. This is so good. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. It, 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 it stacks up to 25%? Four other achievements in the same branch. Reach two, reach three, reach four, reach five. Yes. Yes. This is what I've been telling Blizzard to do for so long. Make achievements relevant. Give real rewards from achievements. This is an incredibly good good thing yes retroactive rewards to enjoy some of the new account wide bonuses achievements from reaching max level with two characters and rewards warben what but this is not showing as a toy it says toy here but you see this is not a toy Yes. Let, let me put this in the in the Discord right now. Let me put this in the Discord. This is so fucking good. So fucking good. Account. Uh account uh new toy for bank. 
is huge. And let's do the other thing here, okay? Uh, let's do the other thing. I'll put this in the in the Discord because this is so fucking huge. Uh, account wide twenty five percent XP. I'll put this on Twitter too. Maybe this is crazy. So fucking crazy. Uh. Beautiful. This is great. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep checking a little bit here. Keep checking. Am I? Kill this guy. I, I, I'm too curious now. This is great. Uh, class and talent trade. Don't really care. Oh, this is the collector's edition for those interested. Uh, this is so fucking great. I don't really care about looking at this, but this is great that there is so many. First look at Delves. There's like ores in there. I will put this in here, but we'll see. Uh... Thank you, Matt. Oh, yeah. This is Matt, ladies and gentlemen. We are Bunny Canada today, waiting for the beautiful Matt to give us a raise. Have you seen all the cool stuff, Matt? And uh, let's not forget to give a shout out to the incredible Matt right now. Sec. So, have you seen, guys, the most important thing ever? Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Uh, 2.5 million for the last Warband Bank. In total, it says it's 3.2 million, okay? So if you were looking for motivation to kind of farm some gold, this is the amount of gold that you will need. This is also gonna go in the in the in the thing here. Uh, uh there we go. Put this on this uh, on Twitter as well. You'll need three one twenty six. To unlock every bank app. There we go. Beautiful. This is so sick. You seen this? I'll get up to tab four. Fuck that. I'm getting all the tabs. This is something that I will literally have paid triple the amount of gold here. I would have paid triple this amount. No questions asked. Uh, and have you seen the other thing? Let me show you the thing that I'm most hyped about. Um, this fucking thing. Have you seen this fucking thing? You have 25%. If you level a level 80, you get 5%. But this tax up to 5 times, up to 25%. Okay, so you can get a total of 25 account-wide percent experience increase. Right? Also, you will get a toy which is a bank on a three hour cooldown. So this is huge, right? But let's come back to our business here of older man. I know, I know that uh, Matt came here for the amazing older man content, right? So today we're doing a, a little challenge, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in older man. We're right now we're 42 runs of older man since the stream started. Yes, we've been a bit slow, but we've been kind of going everywhere a little bit. So. Let's focus because if we get uh, if the runs get higher, I could be a problem. Let me. What am I here? Yes, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cryo. Matt didn't mean it. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cryo. Sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, I didn't mean to uh, make your day uh, worse, right? Uh, but I have bunny ears today. Don't you like the bunny ears? You know. Don't you want some bunny ears in your life? Maybe that's gonna help you stay, right? Maybe that's gonna help. Can you link that article you're viewing? Yes, 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 yes. Just give me uh, two seconds, I'll kill those. 
So, uh, yes, I will link this in above the thing. So this is the account-wide uh, experience thing, okay? And the bank toy, it's now in Twitch and YouTube. And let me look at the other one that was also really cool is the war bands. Uh, the, this thing, the bank, the, the bank, how much it costs. What the fuck is happening here? I'll put you this one too. There you go. <laughs> they match well when the dirt on your upper lip. Now that's a mustache. They that's a mustache. Not dirt, okay? And no, I will not get my lips out this time, okay? I decided that I will only do it after midnight uh, for the ladies, okay? For the ladies, I'll do it. Or maybe for the very nice little bunny boys. Okay, bunny boys, maybe. So if you're a bunny boy, well, you might be in luck. A good look. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I, I agree with you, man. I definitely agree with you. All right, we need to get a super rare now, okay? This is very important that we get a super rare. We don't get a super rare. Bunny Canada is gonna be sad. Don't you don't you wanna see Bunny Canada be happy, Blizzard? Right? Right? Just coming out of the Noble Garden, you know? I I'm keeping on the, the tradition of the Noble Garden. Very, very important, okay? Come on, Blizzard, don't don't be like that. Right? So I've been like ridiculously slow compared to the usual, uh, but you know what? It's okay. Sometimes it's okay to be slower. No, but thank you so much for the raid, um, Matt. That's very appreciated. How did uh, your stream go? What did you? I, I think you were starting to craft your uh, legendaries. Um, he got the Matt got the axe yesterday on his stream. I don't know. Um. Maybe you want to link the uh, the clip, uh, Matt. If you want to link the clip for your uh, for your Firak uh, legendary, uh, I would like to personally congratulate you, Mr. Matt, on your achievement today. Congratulations on this beautiful axe that you've been working very hard to get. Hmm. Actually, something. Let me actually get. A coffee. I still have one coffee. Forgot to drink. Yep. Beautiful. Mmm. Mm mm. Mm mm. All right. Keep going. Uh, maybe you could make a video uh, with your advice on reaching trimming and gold as soon as possible. Well, here's the thing that's interesting. Okay. Gold farming it doesn't start in in the in the next expansion, right? It starts now. It starts now. People will try to do gold farming right now because they they want to be prepared for the next expansion, right? So right now people are already preparing for this. Which is really interesting. I kind of wonder how much is the gold cap for the warbands uh bank? If it's a hundred million, if it's a billion gold, I would really like to see like a billion gold. I, I will, uh, I will check the 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 bot here. I, I want to see the show me the money. Go with the show me the money. Seven. Stay away from lines. Six. Five. Four. Three. Come on, axe. Two. Show me the money. Show me the money. <laughs> Axe, please. Axe, please. I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, 11 was there too. Nice. Good shit, man. Very, very good shit. I, I really like the, the show me the money. You know what? I'm going to try this, okay? I'm going to try this. I, I, I'm going to try show me the money. With the box at the end to maybe get a super rare, okay? If we get, if I get a super rare in that box, Matt, it's yours, okay? Yeah, you need to make this into uh, the show me the money sound. <laughs> I I don't only do like uh, this, okay? I, I I'm not just a sound guy. 
Oh, that that there was no money in here. So I guess it only works for you to show me the money, right? So I know I think Brevenza was saying that run 44 was the run he thought that there would be the super rare. So we're about to do run 44 right now. Ah, uh, but you know what's nice today? I think I think for the people who are here like very regularly, you might have heard me a few times say something along the lines like I can't wait to see like the new things. I can't wait to see the new things in War Within. It will be nice when we get some of the info. And today, we got some of the info, so I'm very, very happy about this. I think that this is just such a uh, such a cool thing, you know? To, to, uh, it makes me pre pretty happy to finally get some info. I mean, we've been kind of starving, I feel, on some, of the, on some of the War Within information, right? Uh, we've had some of the patches information, which was really cool. At least that was like some new stuff. But holy crap, now we got some War Within stuff to discuss. It's so cool. So, so, so cool. So freaking cool. Very excited. Let's see. All right. But yeah, but yeah, I, I I can't believe that I'm really happy that Blizzard is doing this. The warbands amount of gold required. Uh okay, so here is something that is uh is a very important thing to notice, okay? Blizzard is starting more and more to care about the economy of the game. I don't think I've seen Blizzard caring as much as currently. I don't know if someone uh, would disagree with this, but right now, I haven't seen as many systems that Blizzard is trying to input for stopping the bots. Okay? This is really good. Right? All of the things that they're trying, even though they're not necessarily succeeding, they're trying. Which is, for me, a very good sign. If they can learn from the mistakes of their tries, I would be very, very happy. Okay? Now, is there other things, like other signs? Well, I think that they are adding way more gold things, okay? Remember the rewards that they put... Um, they had like some rewards that cost like basically raw gold uh, not too long ago, like the Scarab mount with other cosmetics. That's a huge gold sink, and that's going to help. You know what else is going to help? Uh, what, another thing that's going to help is uh, Asia coming back. Okay, Asia will be back probably before the War Within. Which means, I think this is, could have an impact on lowering the price of the token. Okay? And now, they put in even more gold into gold sinks. And this is just great. I'm just so happy. What is the war bank? The war bank is an account bound uh, bank, right? It's a bank that you can open on any characters, on any realm. And where you can combine your gold on combine your items. So let's say that um, let's say that you got uh, items that you want to sell on multiple rounds. Well, you can put them in your war bank, log out, go on a different realm, log into a new character, go on this new realm, different realm, go to your war bank, get the items, sell them on whatever fucking realm you want. Uh, really, really cool. Kind of like a guild bank for your entire account, exactly, right? But it's not. It's not just for items. It's also for gold. Okay. Oh, there is something else I want to show. Okay, there is something else I want to show because I thought that this was really cool. Okay, in the war bank section. Let me try and find it for you because this is really, really cool. Uh, let's let's see the the article about the war banks. The, the, the account wide light. No, that's not it. Let's try and find this for you. I'll find it. Oh, that was the article that someone sent me. It was Royos, right? Royos, there you go. 
Let's go check here. Okay, so let me show you this because this I thought was the coolest thing of all. Uh oh yeah, they're remo they're removing the ten percent rep for humans. Okay, they're removing the ten percent rep for humans. They're gonna change it for something else. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. So what is this saying? You can transfer currencies to other characters. Okay. So let me put this in here. Uh, I can give you the link for this in a moment too. Uh, you can transfer currencies to other characters. So every currency is now tradable like this. Isn't this incredible? I'll give you the link for this article as well. There's a lot of info in this one. There we go. So I, I thought that this was really, really cool. That you can transfer currencies so easily. Right? It's really, really easy to do. So I thought that was pretty impressive. Uh, Warbank is Canada's shorthand for Warbank's bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warbank is a... Yeah, I mean, Warbank Bank sounds really terrible, if you ask me. I think it, it, it uh, I think it would be better if they called it a stash, maybe. The Warband stash would have been better. Probably because Warband Bank. Warband Bank. You know? <laughs> it just sounds terrible. But yeah, I was I was uh, basically referring to what Derek said about uh he called it a war bank, and I kinda of followed along. But the Warband Bank uh, is not uh Warband Cash. Yeah, that's good too. That's good too. Oh, the Warband Vault. I think Vault would have been good too. Right? Vault would have been good. It sounds like Delves as well. So, run number 44 was not the run, apparently. So, Brevenza was wrong. There we go. It's okay, though. I forgive you, Brevenza. You've been very nice anyway. Alright, let's vendor some stuff. We still have at least 25 runs to go. Keep going. W Bank. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Legion. Legion FFL found uh, found it, the W bank, right? Because this bank is a big W. I love this one, Legion. No, don't woo the Y bank. Y bank. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay, maybe we can go for the Y bank. So like this. I was uh, super excited to stream today. I'm very happy about uh, how the stream is going today. I'm having lots of fun doing these challenges of just fucking going through all the men. And sometimes it, it's kind of crazy because during my days when I do challenges like this, I really have ups and downs. I really constantly have ups and downs. Sometimes I have tons of energy like now. And I think that's something like an hour ago, I was kind of falling, not falling asleep, but like, I was definitely like feeling very low energy. So it's nice to kind of get, and this is kind of what happens. Sometimes there's a little things, like right now getting all of this information, it just gives me all the energy in the world. I'm very happy about this. Probably that after the stream, I'm probably going to like crash, but uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh my god, but so much cool uh, cool, uh, cool stuff announced today. Uh, but yeah, I I'm very excited for like transferring all the currencies. I wish that currencies would just be a countdown. That you would not need to transfer the currencies. Uh, but I guess that's better than what it used to have. Yo. There we go. Okay, so then I will can have it is just one server, no need leveling. What do you mean no need leveling? Oh yeah, yeah. You don't need to level uh, characters if you want to sell stuff on a different on a different realm. Uh, everything that you craft, you can put in your war bank and sell everywhere if you want. So this could be like a very very nice way to to do things. Um, yeah. We have 23 minutes on our buffs left. We are progressing. 
We are, we are progressing. We are progressing. This is run uh, 45 of our, and, and, and I gotta say, so far, we've had basically two items that are kind of worth something. Uh, the pattern was kind of worth a lot, but um, I it's going to take forever to sell this pattern. The very, very low sell rate pattern. And that will be very good. Yeah, it will be very good, I think. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, I think that this is a very exciting feature. And, and again, when you think about it, is this really a feature, right? If, is this really a feature? It's really just like quality of life, right? But this makes the game, every single minute that you spend in the game, when quality of life is going higher, the quality of the gameplay is most of the time higher. Like, I don't think that the friction uh, to get whatever you want in the game should be locked behind a thing. So, with the reputations also, I don't know if they're going to increase the amount of renown required for uh, for reputations. But I think that this expansion uh, could see... I could really see people, everyone, basically like 90% of players... Having full renown, right? Because of this thing, the, the Kanban reputation, right? Hello, Gertie. How are you doing? Have you seen all the news? Have you seen some of the news? There is news. I mean, there is no super item, but there is news. How are you, uh, Mr. Incredible, Mr. Gertie? There we go. I have been very busy. I have not seen any news. Can you recap? Okay, so. First information. I mean, I don't have all of the informations, right? Since I'm streaming at the same time. Um, I like your headgear. Yes, I'm a bunny. <laughs> uh, okay, so first information that is the biggest information for me. Uh, the Warband Banks will cost you... The last bank will cost you 2.5 million gold. Raw gold, right? If you want to have the last tab of your personal bank, personal warband bank, it's going to cost you 2.5 million. In total, to have all five, it's going to cost you 3.1 million gold. That's the first information. So I think that if you're looking for motivation to farm gold, that, that is going to do it for lots of people. So that's one of the first information, okay? If I go back to like what I posted in my Discord. Yeah, look at this. 3.126 million to buy all of the Warband tabs. Also, you can transfer currencies in the currency tab to all of your characters. Okay. Account-wide 25% bonus experience based on achievements, okay? Every time you get a level 80 character, you get 5% account-wide bonus experience. And that stacks up to 5 times. So 25% in total. Okay. A toy that can give you access to your bank. A toy that can give you access to your bank, like the mailbox toy, on the 3-hour cooldown. And I believe that's it for now that, I, that I've that i kind of spotted. I don't know if you guys have other information that you find kind of relevant. Yes, we get before. It's at the pre-patch. We get all of this at the pre-patch. Save transmog is retroactive. Oh, really? Except class uh, specific. Uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, let's... Put in the number. We have now 45 runs completed. Let me see my bags. We're good. Okay, let's go back. And let's reset. And let's go. Uh, actually, before we go into the next run, this is uh, this is the six-hour mark for us. We're actually going to take a little break, but this is very exciting moves. We're going to talk more about this. Uh... Thank you for the re- Oh yeah, if you have something like uh, Tusk of Manorov, keep it. 
because now you'll be able to transfer it on any character. So this is pretty insane if you're farming this. Uh, yeah. There are more people. Do you have from pre-patch tournaments when you want five tunes? From 70 for similar to 80? So you have the, from pre-patch to... In pre-patch, you cannot level your characters. In pre-patch, you cannot level your characters. So this, this achievement is only for level 80, not level 70. The end of transmog sales? Why would it mean the end of transmog sales? I don't think that affects too much. Because lots of, like, the, tra the, the transmog sales are BOE transmog, not buying on pickup transmog, right? Uh, and yeah, exactly, Legion, what Legion says. But guys, we're going to take a little break. I'm going to leave you with some music, and I'll be right back.
all right we are back we are back thank you so much for your patience during this little break so let's go back in here and kick some butt all right so i found you guys so the, the toy is b4 okay uh so so yeah i mean okay so in a world where this I, I don't think that the new transmog system uh kills transmog okay and to be honest i don't think that it reduces it that okay so here's the thing that's gonna happen okay here's what i think is gonna happen because obviously i don't know the future okay so um there is some what about the transmog that are currently on the auction house right uh is the question uh the transport that is on the auction house is specific to the character okay so you don't have these pieces that you cannot equip right every transport that you can buy on the auction house is not locked for any of your characters technically because if you're buying a cloth piece you can send it to a character that has a cloth like a mage or or, or a priest right so now this kind of change with the transmog being um account like uh unlocking transmog via like binom pickup means that's different right so so i think that it doesn't really change a whole lot doesn't really change a whole lot in terms of the sellable transmog on the auction house um as far as some of this stuff right so we could definitely see a surge of people using ATT though, okay? I think that now, if some people were thinking about getting into ATT, now I think that way more people are actually going to go into ATT, which is, uh, for those who don't know, the add-on all the things to collect everything in the game. Because now, the ATT challenge just gets so much easier, all right? So in the past, you needed to run... Let's say Sunwell Plateau, okay? You need to run Sunwell Plateau on cloth. You need to run Sunwell Plateau on leather and then mail and then plate, right? And that was the case for every like zone specific place in the world. Now, you can just run Sunwell Plateau on one character and you'll get everything, okay? Also, there was the weapons, right? Some weapons are only usable by, let's say, uh, different gear, the different classes. So let's say that you have a Warglaive, then you need to run this on a Demon Hunter, absolutely, and he's gonna get the letter at the same time. You need to kind of do the weapons all together. So you needed like specific characters for everything, which was a nightmare, okay? Um, for clarity, I buy. I buy any star armor uh, from the auctions and learn a transmog, no matter what the armor class of the character is buying on. I mean, no, but it's just, okay, so I, let's talk about currently, okay? Right now, if you buy an item on the auction house, you can mail it to any character, right? Right now, if you go on the auction house right now, you can buy a transmog, right? And you can mail it to any character because the transmog that you buy on the auction house is not buying on pickup, it's buying on equip, which means it's transferable. That's why you can put it on the auction house. So having the transmog being unlocked, the only step that you save is the mailing process of let's say let's say you're a druid and you buy a cloth item of transmog on the auction house because you see that it's cheap. Well, right now, what you could do is mail the item to a cloth character. In the War Within, the only difference is you won't need to mail it. You'll be able to learn it uh, on any character. I believe that's how it works. Not even sure if this is going to work in the War Within, actually, because what they're talking about is when it's buy pick pickup, dungeon, and raid loot, stuff like that, you know? If you have a character on that realm that can equip it, that can't mail cross realm. Oh, okay, that's what you mean. Oh, well, there's another thing that kind of... As a solution for that okay so I, I think i know where you're going with this i think that what you were thinking of doing is using something like collectionator 
and going one one realm after the other until your collection is filled, something like this. Yeah, this can be annoying, but with the Warband Bank, this is gonna fill the pro this is gonna fix the problem with you for you. And this is gonna be available in the pre-patch. So let's say that you buy something on a different server, you can put it in your Warband Bank and just equip it on whatever character. Right? So there you go. So so yeah, in the past that could have been a problem. But yeah, now if you want to get like everything that's buyable in the auction house uh, to your stuff, well, yeah, this is possible this way. And we are 46 runs completed. So, all right, keep going here. Uh, yeah, let's render these. I think it can increase sales because exactly, that's what I think. I guess it says because new people got some set from other classes that they can buy missing parts to finish their collection. I, I think here's why I think uh, the transmog sales will go up is because the people, more people will be doing transmog in general and eventually they will get in touch with something like Collectionator uh, with sets. Um... Stuff like island gear could be very, very good. Uh, I don't know if it's... I, I wouldn't say that it's worth, like, investing in Transmog right now. Absolutely not. Uh, because Transmog is is, is kind of overpriced in general, right? Uh, Transmog is usually overpriced. So uh, buying Transmog is never something I, I rarely suggest, right? Like, if you are someone who wants to get every single thing, then, yeah, you'll need to buy some of the Transmog. Uh, but most of it, you should probably farm and sell your duplicates to then buy what you're missing for your collection. But some items are like, like the guillotine is definitely something you can buy on the auction house. Some items that are extremely hard to farm by yourself, basically, uh, is definitely something that you should buy on the auction house. Like Tibu, Tibu is a great thing to actually buy instead of farm. Because farming a Tibu is extremely tedious. Uh, it took me hundreds of... Uh, it took me so long to get my first Tibu. So, 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 so long. And keep in mind, I might have done like 200, 300 hours of Silithus. And some of these hours were multi-boxing, okay, in Silithus. And I got something like what? I got like three T boos in total ever. So so this is a ridiculous, ridiculous thing to to, to to kind of think of just oh I'm gonna farm a T boo. This is not how this works. Right? If you can get into a Silithus farm for a while and you got everything from Silithus and what you're missing is a T boo, just fucking buy the T boo and sell your duplicates that you got from Silithus, right? Because there's a lot of things like this that are just ridiculously hard to get. Right? That's just kind of what to do. But yeah, I think that lots of people will... Um, I think that lots of people will actually uh, get into a place where... Uh, like Where like pe more people will collect Transmog, right? So what does that mean that more people collect Transmog? Uh, that means more tra more people are going to buy Transmog. Does it mean that more people are going to farm Transmog in the open world? Well, maybe. Especially that now people have a lot of... Uh, have a big reason to actually farm gold. I mean, what do you think is the percentage of the player base that will want to unlock all five uh, tabs in their Warband Bank? I think it's probably over 20%, personally. It's, it's kind of hard to say because uh, the whole player base is a big thing. Maybe like OG players, I think that a big majority of like players that have been playing for a very long time will want to unlock everything here. Like every single tab. Uh, no, 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 not, definitely not 1%. This is like utility, right? Uh, how many people got the freaking Brutozor? Lots of people went hard to get the Brutozor. Uh, and that was just a not like an auction ass mount for me is less powerful than having an extra type of bank. Right? 
That's what I think. I think that if you give me the chance, the the, the choice between paying five million for a Brutosaur, this is garbage. Uh, five million for the Brutosaur or five million for the tab, I'll pay five million for the tab. Like inventory space is a currency that's just so freaking useful, so freaking useful. Okay, so how is it powerful? How is it powerful to have more inventory space? Okay, so. It's all about time, right? And for most people, right? For for most people, they go into um, they do they play the game, right? And why is the auction house mount less good? Let me explain. Um, the auction house mount is only saving you time when you're actually. In a situation where you have to post auctions or buy things quickly this is where you save the time from this so how do you save time from the warbands bank having an extra tab right well this is kind of something that is useful just like the auction house mount on every single character that you have which means right now if i'm in let's say that right now I'm in this dungeon, right? I'm in this dungeon. And my bags are full. And I am not a druid. I cannot get out and get in up here. Well, I have my warband's bank. I use a toy. I dump all of my inventory in my bags. In my thing. And this is working, right? This is really good. Why? Where else can this be useful? Cross realm. Everything that has to do with cross realm for me is going to be huge. All of the toys that I sell, right? And it was said like 98, 98 items is going to be for each tab, okay? So if you have all five tabs, you can store uh, 490 items. So what's the difference between like 490, like we did this five times? What's the difference between this and this amount of space? You might say it's not that much, but for me, if I want to sell everything cross round, this is ridiculously overpowered. But not just that. Remember the shovels, right? The shovels that you have. Um, every utility item that you could think of, right? Goblin gliders, right? Goblin gliders. What if you always had goblin gliders in your personal bank that you can access anywhere thanks to the toy, right? So you can have goblin gliders on all of your all of your things. Crafters, okay? The crafters bank. Everything in your bank. If you're crafting. This is also using the materials in your bank, which means uh, you you don't have to go and buy materials. You can use the ones from your warband's bank instantly, regardless of what character you're on. So for crafting, it's huge. Um, we now have with guild bank though cross realm really this useful. Cross realm it, it, it it's just so much easier to do it with the warband's bank. Than to do it with a guild bank, okay? Uh, the guild bank is slow. The guild bank is so freaking slow. It has less space. It's really annoying. Yeah, you can leave your crowd. Yeah, say yeah, something like uh, the the cards of woman. It's like every time that instead of mailing your items. Everything is already in your bank, so you save a lot of times instead of mailing things. You just put them in your inventory. So how many times, okay? How many times has it happened to you guys also that you go into... Okay, so you go to... I don't know. You go to... How can I say? Okay, so you're somewhere in the world and you're like, Okay, I need this item. I know I have it on one of my characters in his bank, but I don't know where it is. Well, now it's always with you. It's always with you. It's a if it's an item that's important, it's always with you. Could be a character bank, but all of the things with Warbands Bank. Also, if we want to have this in the next expansion, there is something a new a new type of item called Warband uh, Soulbound to Warband. Okay, which means there's going to be tradable gear for your war for your Warband, which means. If you get an axe that you can't use, that is soulbound for warband, you can put this in there, 
And this is going to take some space. All of these, uh, just a sec. All right, okay, we're back. So, so yeah, tradable with your warband, which means like uh, gear that can be for alts. So now you can instantly put this in your in your thing, and you'll have access to everything, everything in one place. Convenience, okay? Convenience and being organized. Is it possible to do this without the fifth bank? Absolutely, it's possible. But this is just a huge quality of life less time wasted and i think personally this is just really really convenient because here's what's gonna happen okay here's what's gonna happen particularly to met okay met is a hoarder okay so met is gonna have this tab full a hundred percent of the time okay met is gonna have this tabs full a hundred percent of the time and to be honest mine are gonna be pretty full too but I'm going to definitely be very, like, organized with these. And it's going to be great. <laughs> okay, Beth is leaving. You're not leaving, okay? You're not leaving. Oh, the timer is over. We can start a new lag. I will actually put this uh, screenshot in here. Let me actually... What? What? Little error here. Oops. Uh, what did I do? Okay, it's here. Okay, let me take a screenshot here. Go like this. Put this in the Discord. Go. And we're going to set a new lack invite. Okay. We're going to send a new lack invite. Close these. And if anyone wants to join a lack, even if it's just to have someone, I just need one person to accept if that's a possibility for you guys. Beautiful. All right. This is good. And we're good. Okay, let me read chat too. I missed a lot of uh, chat messages. Sorry about that. My banks and guild banks and bags are pretty much empty now. I don't see how this will help me. Maybe I'm playing the game wrong. Um, It's more about time. Uh, I mean, you should probably start with getting the three tabs and see how you like it. But I think there's going to be lots of items for crafting for just transmog as well for warband purposes that are going to be Better. For me personally, I need these five. There's no question about it. I need these five. For me, with all of the stuff that I make, uh, I need these five. Has to be five. Okay. Uh, with Warband Bank, we can be in a guild like normal as well. Yes. Have our personal bank, and there is also Warbank for your tunes. Yes. Uh, I think it would be helpful for Transmog when items you loot into a Warbank. Exactly. For Transmog like this as well. Looted BOE transmog can just be put in the warband as well, so people can use it. And maybe also for crafting masks, crafting masks can be used directly from the bank without opening the bank. When you're crafting, you can craft stuff as long as it's in war your warbank, which is insane. Uh, I guess we'll just start the normal thing then if nobody wants to do a lack. Let's start the, the, the other thing here. Put this here. And yeah, let's keep going. Um... Uh, so here's the thing okay so so that's another thing um for me it's just all of the upper it's just the convenience all of this thing and uh, all of the new items all of the i'm crafting just so much and there is another thing too there is cross realm guilds in this uh in this new uh warband thing there's also cross realm guilds which means uh you could have a guild with all of your characters in different realms okay and you could also have this extra inventory slot uh like this by if you're doing like cross realm like stuff you could have a guild they all have the same guild and they send sell all of their stuff and you can replenish this and take it and this is exactly what i'm gonna do this is one of the first things i'm gonna do is have this but also have the warband bank right uh but that's just me. It's just kind of an account. Okay, so here's the thing that I like the most in the game right now. Account unlocks. Okay? Uh, account unlocks are just so fucking good for me. It's little things that make your account per permanently good. Okay? It's like, um, what is an account unlock? Well, uh, dragon races 
is an account unlock that like 99 players, 99% of players have. Okay, because you unlock this with like Valdraken Accord level 7 or some shit, right? Um, and here's the thing, right? This is something that's really cool and it's there permanent for my account forever, right? Just like these extra 25% XP um, from just leveling level 80s, that's also very, very cool. Um, what else is cool? Um... Just the catalogers quests were account unlocks. The treasures are account unlocks. The, all of those things that could eventually someday become better if you don't have them unlocked and later you want to unlock them, it's going to be a pain in the ass to, uh, to do this in the future. And doing it early, just really good. So having this, it's just this is where you're going to have the max value of these banks is the first day this is where you'll get the most value because this is going to be a hundred percent upgrade forever now there is some users that this will be kind of useless for them okay absolutely there is some users that will be absolutely useless for them i'm talking more for me in a situation like this and in general just okay so why do people have a bigger house right and other people don't have a bigger house well, some people have to store more things or have more people or doing more business with their, their, their business or whatever it is, right? In this case, I'm doing business in World of Warcraft, right? So you're telling me that for a 3 million gold, I can increase my, my business. That's, that's for me is a good investment because this is just going to make my business flourish even more. That's kind of how I see it. Uh, he just called you a hoarder. <laughs> a hoarder. Yeah. I have two empty guild banks now with all tabs bought. Maybe I'm just doing things wrong. I I, I don't think you should see it as doing things wrong. Um, you have to understand that I'm a really try hard, intense guy, right? It's a little bit different for that. Don't 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 uh, don't see yourself at this sort of uh, oh I'm a uh, I'm different in Canada. I mean, I'm the different one here. If there's any of us like that's different, it doesn't matter anyway. To to kind of be different, you do things that make sense for you. You'll see. Uh, empty guild banks. Uh, money well spent. Um, I I like having guild banks, but the guild banks are very very slow at transferring items. What I don't like about the guild banks, but we'll see. Um. I have a question about the Shadowlands uh, mission table. I had so many tunes going before I watched your vid. If I'm in the comment, uh, if I'm in the comment I want, can I leave and get the other three stuff? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yes, and you'll keep even your anima. And you'll keep, I think, all of your followers. I think everything goes back. Maybe someone can confirm this. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that you will keep your renan. You will keep your followers. You can go, you will, you will lose your anima at first, right? You will lose your anima at first, but, uh, you will get it back as soon as you rejoin. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, yeah. All I heard was met as a horn. <laughs> I mean, I never said that. People speculated on me saying things that I never said, okay? I want to talk to my lawyer, okay? Yo, oh, we're pretty slow today compared to last time we did this. We need to kind of crank this up. We need to crank this up. We need to go Super Saiyan. I know Matt likes going Super Saiyan. Yo, yo, yo. Beautiful. And we keep. It's hard to read chat. I, I read chat a little bit more than last time, maybe. Well, I mean, I read chat last time, too. It's just maybe there was more chat than last time. Um, Some things like pet charms can all be stored on a character now. It will be nice to have a nice place for those. Well, uh, pet charms are now 5,000. They stack it at 5,000 now, the pet charms, instead of 1,000. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, There we go. 
Yeah, you can use a 1k item anymore if you want, but I don't think it's needed here. I'm not just saying, I'm super saying. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let me some chat here. Yeah. Let me try and go back. Okay, I'll take a second here to read. Uh, what am I changing? Uh, Gilda, I took forever with abandon. I never bought the tabs. I've just lost some of that into space for. Maybe I'll figure it out. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the thing. Reagent bag really helps, but it, maybe it's for a power user when it comes to to cross realm for me. That's where it's super useful. Uh, some It's just like um, all of these freaking currencies in the game that Matt has in all of his stupid bags. This could be nice for this, right? Um... I have several guild bags on Aragos full of transmog. Was invited tunes to loot them for free mug. Oh, nice. You can buy an item in the flight path person. Well, an NPC next to it in Arbor Boss. Yeah. Fill stuff in there. You trade one kind of mod for the bank of account. Then you switch. Yeah, you can always check my video for this. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, this could help you here, but it's kind of hard. Uh... So just bank the anima via vendor. Yeah, if you want, but I think you'll have your anima when you come back to the same. You want to come back to the same uh, companion, right? I think it's uh, 17 uh, direct, but there's kind of like at some point it kind of just uh, sends missions, but doesn't really improve your progress. Uh, but yeah. My daughters are feared. Slay them. Maybe someone can correct me on this. Oh, there's a max. Oh, uh, yeah, there's a. There you go. Okay, I catched up with chat. Okay, now let's do some uh, some Super Saiyan shit. Yes, if you want to come back to the same covenant on the same character, uh, you can leave that covenant. Well, join another, by joining another covenant, you will leave that one, right? So once you have left that one, uh, you can. What you want is to just use the 60 renown thing on the other covenants. And then come back to this one. Is that what you want? Because if that's the case, I'm pretty sure you keep everything. Pretty sure you keep everything. On the original covenant. And you can join back the covenant, yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. Will the upgrades... I don't know if you have, like, everything upgraded, though. I'm not sure if the Sanctum upgrades are going to be kept. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, yeah, they are. I'm pretty sure they are. I mean, if you want to do it for science, uh, you can always check. Uh, but uh, what what do you want from the other covenants, though, Legion FFL? What is so important from the other covenants that you want to have? Like you mean, like you want to get the 3,000 anima from the other ones or something? You know, it makes sense, but yeah. Oh, okay, it's the only Sanctum item model, yeah. The comment table, I'm pretty sure, stays. The extra item, I guess that's all. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can try it on a lesser character just to make sure you don't fuck this up, but I'm pretty sure this stays. Pretty sure this stays. All right, one more run completed. We're now at 49 runs for the day. We will be starting run... 50. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I have all the man's garbage. Yeah, okay, cool. Go. Alright, let's have the bunny power right now. Have some bunny power. Let's go. Have the bunny powers. Okay. Bunny powers. Now this is this is not right. This is going higher. Bunny powers. Wish I would have watched your vid before I got it all going. I mean, um, I'm glad. Thank you, thank you for saying that. That's very, that's very nice. Uh, I'm always a believer of like, you know what? Um, uh, I don't, don't uh, wishing for things that would be different that you had no power. Uh, I mean, my my maybe you started before my video was even out, and even then, it's hard to find my video right now. It's hard to find my video. There's just like many other videos, and it's just like 
a very niche subject. So yeah. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much. Um, buy unicorn <laughs> was <laughs> nice. I did. Yeah, I mean uh, that. There you go. So 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 how how can you? It's like um. Sometimes you need to make some mistakes to learn, and this is not a mistake, obviously. But like in the Virgil, in the in a similar kind of idea. Uh, you're like, I wish something different happened. Well, I think maybe, you know, my video was not out. So it's like, I think you should wish for better things, <laughs> you know, uh, I f or, or, you know what, what's the thing? Okay. So we always wish sometimes for having a better life, right? Having uh better things and the, the fix to that. Okay. There's a fix for that. Okay. Because that doesn't make us feel very good, okay? What what you can do instead is be grateful for the things that you have, right? What if you never found my video and... What if you never found my video and uh, right now you would be doing mission tables in a non-optimal way, right? So you have to be just... I think that when you shift the focus from being, oh, I wish... I wish I found your video sooner too. I'm glad that I that I found your video. Uh, the two things are both true, but one makes you feel good and the other one makes you feel like shit. You know? I guess that's kind of how I see it. Uh, hello, Dad. Welcome back. Uh, any luck? No, no, no. But this is run 50, and you know what that means, right? 50 runs of garbage. Uh, no, no, we're going to get a super item, right? Super item, this run. That's what it means, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um. Ah, oh, yeah, that's that's something, Kev, that I've done as well, right? I have a few characters that haven't have faith, and now they can have a challenge mission table. But I'm not too. Uh, it is what it is, you know. It's not like, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But we'll see. Yo, can we? Okay, Mister Optimistic. No, but it's it's not necessarily optimistic. I don't think that's it is. It's just. Let, let me tell you about why I'm thinking like this. It's not about being positive or being like uh, unrealistic either, right? I think that it's more about. You know how sometimes I feel just terrible, okay? And this is kind of how I get out of the slump. I kind of realizing, you, you can see the half glass full, half glass empty, this kind of stuff. But this is more about how does this help me to feel like this, okay? How does it help me to feel, oh, I wish, uh, I wish right now that I had like 100 viewers, right? I wish that I had 100 viewers instead of uh, the 45 people watching me, right? Uh, see here. I want Canadia to get a super rare, but can settle for being grateful he isn't getting one. <laughs> okay, Canadia AI, fuck you. Okay, fuck you, Canadia AI. <laughs> but no, it's like... Okay, so, so what does it give me to... to what does it give me... To think like this, right? Compared to the other way. So, right now I could be like, okay, so I I wish I had a hundred viewers instead of the forty five viewers, right? But then you look at someone that has twenty viewers, and he's like, oh my god, I we, I'm so happy to have twenty viewers. I'm so fortunate. And at the end of the day, I have more viewers than the other person. In in a case where our goal is to get viewers, right? Uh, because we like uh, we like when people come in here or whatever, right? Let's say that that's your goal. One of your goals in life is to have more viewers on Twitch. Well, you could be like, oh, I wish I had more viewers on Twitch. Or you could be like, fucking hell, yes. We have 45 people who are interested in what I do right now. That's fucking awesome, right? But that's kind of the thing, right? If, you, if you're like... Um, it's very easy to have lots of nice things and not appreciated them, right? It, 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 you're in the same situation 
uh, as someone, uh, right now, if I had 20 viewers, maybe I would be sad because I would not appreciate having the 20 viewers, right? But there's also the situation where some people, they have zero viewers or they have one viewer and it's their mom, right? So, so I'm here complaining about having 45 viewers because, uh, and that's kind of the thing. It's like, it's not, it's not this sort of, uh, how can I say? It's not magic thinking. It's a perspective. Okay? Um, it's a perspective. Both perspectives are true, okay? That I wish I had 100 viewers and I'm really happy to have 45 viewers. Both things are true, but you can kind of... You can decide about how you feel and which one which one is the beneficial feeling okay because let me tell you when i'm thinking oh i only have 45 viewers i wish i had more this is a feeling that makes me think oh my god i'm not good enough to have more viewers then right i wish i had more but i guess i'm just not good enough or i wish that la, la, la. i wish this and i wish that and i would be la. appreciate what you have and you'll be very happy regardless of the amount of viewers that you have, right? It's not happy thinking. It's the reality that I'm very fortunate to be in my situation. And if I never take a time, some time to appreciate it, then I'll never be happy. I'll, I'll never be happy with this kind of mentality of saying, oh, well, I wish, uh, oh, now I have 50 viewers instead of 45. But I still don't have a hundred. It's a little bit better, but it's not really, not really where I want to be. And then this person will get to a hundred viewers, and they'll be like, "Well, I, I've been a hundred viewers for a while. I wish I had two hundred viewers, and so on." Right? I mean, it's a situation where I feel you can never be happy when you just start for wishing instead of appreciating what you have. And I understand. It's like. Maybe it's a bit in the happy thinking kind of thing, but it's more like take care of your mental health kind of stuff, right? Um, for me, it fills me with anxiety when I start for wishing <clears throat> instead of appreciating, and I don't like anxiety. I do this to reduce my anxiety, and I don't think that I'm seeing like little colorful clouds in a world like bright and shine and blah, blah, blah. I don't think that anything that I'm saying Alderman. is unrealistic, you know? Oh, man. All right, let's spin the wheel for Matt. Matt, are you gonna are you gonna fuck me, Matt? You're gonna fuck me, Matt? Don't fuck me, Matt. Matt? But with that, Matt, fucking hell. <sighs> Not very nice, Matt. All right. Well, someone's getting banned. No, no. <laughs> Let me read here. Um, I want people to get a super rare but can't settle for being grateful. He is. A... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 I mean, obviously, like, there's a difference between a super rare after 1,500 rounds. No. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, like, I'm okay with not getting a super rare. Otherwise, I would not be coming back here, right? All right, Cryo. Cryo wants to get a spin. Are you going to fuck me, Cryo? You're going to be a good boy, Cryo? That's a good boy, Cryo. Cryo, this is a wonderful... Can someone mud this guy? Let's mud Cryo. There you go. <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> we are. Did you refund yourself? Don't you fucking refund yourself? You know what? Let me fucking. No, 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 no. You do not. You do not refund yourself. God fucking damn it. Where is my fucking redemption thing? Oh, do I have to fucking do it? Uh, redemp. 
Where is my fucking... I don't even see... Where is the fucking redemption queue? Did they change the interface of this shit? No, that's not what I want. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Ultimate. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Let me just go back to something else here. Let me just put this here. Why is this not working? A sec. Fix things. Come on, where is the thing? Yeah, there you go. Here. Okay, he did not. He did not do it. Okay, we're good. We're good. I got implied slack right now. Let's just kill this guy real quick. And can we open this now? Okay, that's it. That's right. Let's uh, spin the wheel of all the men again. Don't fuck me, implied. Don't fuck me, implied. Don't do it, implied. What a wonderful person, implied is. Wow. Yes. This is, uh, I've always said, okay, Implied is the best person here, and he's proving me right again. This is so good, guys. Thank you so much for using your points today. Ultimate! <laughs> someone, wants, someone wants vengeance here, okay? Someone wants vengeance. All right, Ajax. Don't fuck me, Ajax. All right, Ajax. I see how it is, Ajax. Unfollow Ajax. <laughs> Kidding. All right. We're back to 69, the magic number. We're going to keep gravitating toward that number. <laughs> An idiot might spank you if you refund yourself. Ah, oh, no, I'm not going to spank him. I know, I know that Meth is a good boy, okay? He would never fuck me like this. Not at least with having, without having some lube before, you know? Hey, Michelle. Hello, Misty. How you doing? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We'll see. It's okay. It's okay. We will. Uh, we will survive. We will survive. Okay. We'll survive. All right. Go. Oh, it's wrong way. Go. But yeah, this is run number fifty-one. So we're having like some nice little rhythm here. We're having some fun in older man. People are wasting their points, you know. You can call me Michelle, can I do? Yay, Michelle! All right, Michelle. <laughs> Such a, it's a funny meal, meme. It's a funny meme. <laughs> there you go. All right, Tim. I kind of want to spin the wheel, but sixty-nine is a fun number. Yeah. Maybe wait until someone else ruins it, okay? Wait for someone else to ruin it, and then you can try and st make it back to 69, right? I think the, our goal is to keep it to 69, okay? Not one more, not one less, just 69. <laughs> All right, this is run number 51. This could be the one, right? This could be the one where we get the stupid fucking super rare. No one spin the older man wheel or ban. <laughs> no, no, no. You have permission. I know we have some troublemakers in here. Including Matt that started it all, right? Matt started it all. And then we got some uh some nice uh some nice people recovering for us, right? We had the uh, we had implied fixing it and cryo fixing it and ajax kind of bringing it back so ajax is okay it's just met that tried to destabilize the 69 runs really i did nothing <laughs> that's even fun what we did today oh hell yeah now this was like uh it's nice to get some new stuff uh information like this uh this really brightened my day like big time All right, let's get some water here oh boy Damn, the stream is almost seven hours now. Ultimate! Ah, uh, who is gonna... Derek. God fucking damn it, Derek. I mean, if you want to reduce it, that's okay, too. Let's see, Derek, what you're gonna do. What you're gonna do, Derek. That's not good. Oh, 
not good. And so now we have a plus three runs by Derek. <laughs> there you go. So Derek, you might cost me like three runs here. Hopefully not. But we'll see. <laughs> Uh, lots of info. Yeah, I, I plan to level 13 more alts in the Pandaria remix. Yeah, something I, I want to do something like this too. Uh, Michelle, uh, Yuri, uh, for some reason, you have the same name as uh, Michelle, but um, yeah, I, I want to do like tons of tons of uh, of uh, Pandaria remix to level characters. I don't know how fast it's gonna be, but I wanted to level at least 10, something like this, depending on how long it takes. But if it's really, really becoming extremely fast, maybe I'll level like 20 characters or something, you know? Uh, but we'll see. Very exciting uh, to say the least, right? Very exciting to say the least. Just like getting a super rare in Older Man, which is definitely happening today. Very excited for that. There we go. Oof. Uh, if Cloak can go up to 300% XP, yes. I mean, 300% XP is not a little bit of XP. It's a fucking lot, you know? So, yeah, th this could make, like, I don't know how long it is currently uh, to get from level 10 to level 70 without any XP buff. But if it's something like 6 or 8 hours, then with the 300% XP... It becomes like very, very fast, right? Like two, three hours. Two, three hours to get a new level 70. I mean, like, sign me up, you know? I'm gonna make all of the characters. I'm gonna fill my account with stuff. It's gonna be lit. Uh, I'm a quest reader too, so that XP increase would help. Yes, big time. Oh yeah, that XP increase is gonna be sick. Uh they only add 10 characters slap, do they? Um uh are they adding five? Because they said they would not increase the character slots. But I don't know. Uh maybe you're talking in war within, but I don't think that for the next patch they're gonna increase. But I'm not 100 percent sure. Let's heal up a little bit here. They will add in the War Within only, yeah, and that's what I thought. I think that they might change this because um, I think that they're aware that some people are at the character limit, which means they will need to delete the character to, able, to be able to play WoW Remix, which I think is kind of stupid, right? I think it seems a bit stupid that they would do that. Venus Fire started, wow. There we go. All right, let's keep going. Can we get a super rare today? All I want in my life is a super rare. Not this garbage spirit wind feather, but a super rare item from old me. Ah, uh, but yeah, all of the gold that you'll need, like the three three point one million gold that every player will need if they want to cap their uh, warband bank. That's going to be some cool shit. Lots of people. I think that this is going to be just really good for the economy in general. First of all, because it's a gold sink. Uh, second of all, because it's really, really cool. I think that uh, BFA was the time where... Um, BFA was the time where the token was at its lowest, right? Uh, maybe correct me. Well, maybe in Warlords of Drainer it was lower. But in Legion, it wasn't higher than BFA, right? And I think it's because of the Bruto, personally. Because of all of the gold sick of the Bruto. I don't have the pricing history, but my memory tells me that in BFA, the token was like 100k. Compared to now, where it's like almost 300. I kind of wonder right now how much it is. 296. It's, is it higher than usual? It's higher than usual, right? But cause people to level up their swiping skill, perhaps even dual swiping. Yes, I mean, swiping will be definitely... But well, I mean, that's kind of the, the thinking of one, right? But I like what they're doing with the economy. 
really like this shit. Uh, if everyone right now is going to be buying gold, right? That means the token is going to go down in price. If everyone that's going to buy gold to actually unlock their warband thing, it's going to be really good. Hello, Rafael. How you doing? Why is this? Does this not show up? Sorry for the late answer. Did it fuck up? I missed a lot of messages today. Uh, because there was a lot of people, a very active chat, and I'm bad at it. But hello, Rafael. How you doing? Nice to see you. Uh, is this correct? Yeah, sure. Alright, let's go back. And this is another run completed. This is run 52 right now. Beautiful. Alright. Uh, and you had a lot of raw gold options back then, and raw flip and vendor gold. Yeah, they narrowed it down. Yeah, it's big time. Warbands will cause people to level up their. So yeah, okay, I already read that. I have so. many, many wares. So we're 52 runs in. That's pretty insane. Um, And you had a lot of raw gold options back then, and yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, there, there was a lot of raw gold back in there. Uh. Raw gold farms and they they kind of brought the price down either way, right? They will add in time. Oh, okay, so you can have them like kind of uh, in a waiting room, if you will. I mean, I can maybe keep this, right? I can keep those energy cloak here. Good feather. Oh, this is the Jaina. I vendor the feather. I don't care. All right, let's go back. Farewell, Going back Rumble. in there for run 53 of the day. Very excited time to be alive. Yeah, okay, so they, they are going to be like kind of waiting. Okay, well, I'm excited to see like some info and I'm not going to be streaming for sure. Uh, I'll definitely read some of the stuff. But yeah, we'll see. All right. Can get gear pre up nicely, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the the gear seems like it's very, very powerful too. That you get in uh, if you upgrade it all with bronze, right? Seems like it's very powerful. But I I don't know. Like um, I'm excited to see how the raids will go. Um, uh, for the raids would go for this uh, for this stuff, right? Uh, for the Pandaria raids, are they gonna reward a ton of bronze? Right, that would be pretty cool. Or are they gonna reward some good item level gear for uh for the pre patch or like for the war within? Well, you'll be able to start these characters off and have some really cool shit. You know, sad to see that. Tons of XP. Yeah, uh, the XP is insane. I started joining servers with some of your community members. Uh what do you what what do you mean? Like, um, to farm gold, or? I mean, I think that, uh, something that we could do, that I think would be pretty cool, is having a cross realm guild, uh, with, uh, with this, right? Uh, maybe a collector's, uh, tra like having a collector's transmog, uh, all of the transmog that I don't need, I would dump it inside my guild bank. And if you need anything in the guild bank, you just take it and learn it. Right? I think this is going to be, uh, this could be cool, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's so much. Yeah, I think, I think that if they could make it that everything is kind of one place, I think, I think this could be great. Maybe we could level up as a team on the, on the first day as well, right? Maybe we could set up a, a leveling event for the first day of the expansion. But at the same time, I'm not even sure that I'm going to be leveling on the first day of the expansion. I might, on the first day, I might just uh, actually do professions on the first day. Uh, I will level probably a little bit in the first hour or two. But I think that, I, oh yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a thing though, right? Uh, because of the pre-order thing, right? 
the pre-order thing, I don't know if you can use professions with the pre-order thing or not. Anyone knows if this is locked behind, you know, the three day access? No, God! Oh, we got some, uh, we got some ass no, here. God, please, no, uh, let me kill no, those and we no. will actually uh, no. switch and do uh, some stretching again. Here, something. Okay, sorry about that. All right, let's go and do some stretch. Is the bunny here? Is it for maximum a bunny entertainment? So head. Oh yeah, yeah, be. Oh, let's do the arms. You're sure that you can skill professions? That would be insanely good for me, actually. That's actually Oh, boy. That would make sense, too, right? It would make sense. All right. Let's do this. Oh. Ah. Oh. Right. All right, let's do the hips. Oh, that hit body. It's here and with this. All right, that's the legs. All right, on. All the next expansion of professional will be the same or they will make some changes. We don't know we don't know too much. We don't know too much about the next expansion. We uh don't know too much. Ah for the professions, right? No new profession announced. Yeah, that, that's for sure not gonna happen. They would have announced it if there was a new profession. I think that the if there is a new profession coming. It would probably come with something like player housing if they ever do player housing. I think that's kind of how it would be. All right, we're back. Thank you. Uh, we have a uh, twenty seconds left of ads. Hmm. But yeah, uh, from a recent IGN interview, Isaac Isaac Costas doesn't believe the three day ad start will be meaningful impact to the competitive community or in game economy. That's bullshit, by the way. Uh, pointing out that they're holding back Endgame, Weekly Quest, Mythic Dungeons, Profession Cooldowns. There's no... That means that there's new Profession Cooldowns, right? And other elements until the first week reset. So everyone will have at least a week to level up to a new cap and get started before Endgame content. Before... For all assuming starting this. I, I think that this is a bullshit thing. And I'm pretty sure that it will be proven right. And it's not like to 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 brag about this or whatever. Where the fuck am I? Okay, this is okay. Now I know where I am. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Uh, I think that this is a bullshit. What Ian is saying here. I think that Blizzard has no fucking clue of what they're talking about. There's obviously this is just to to kind of to uh, soften the blow, soften the blow of the people, and do you think that they will not forget a single thing? Okay, a single thing for the first three days, right? What if there is wall drops? Okay, what is there BOE wall drops that are worth millions of gold in the first day? There you go, you're fucked. Uh, just leveling as it is, and leveling professions, giving a head start on this. Being the first character that can do gathering. Do you know how good gathering is in the first few days of an expansion? Because let me tell you, it's really fucking good. Okay? So, 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 yeah. I think that everything happens in the economy, at least for me. The first three days but hey there's not gonna be any significant things right 
Uh, but yeah, people, I, I think that this is a, uh, this is crazy, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, I don't know. Personally, I will just do professions probably and some leveling. I don't know how much of getting to level 80 is going to be part of my plan or not, but I want to get all the professions leveled up. I don't have an exact plan actually on my first few days. Here's my main thing that's important for me and it has nothing to do with gold making. Okay. I don't want to go too hard, okay? Might sound like a stupid thing to say, but I don't want to go too hard. Because I've went too hard at other times, right? No, no semicolon, no super rares. But it's coming. It's a disc chest coming up. You should stick around. It's, it's in the next few runs, I'm sure. In the next few runs, I'm sure. 100%. Hundred percent. It's it's coming. It's coming so much. Okay, it's coming all over the place. There we go. Look at this super rare right here. Ah, uh, I guess. Oh no, no, no! There was the next run. Ah, oh, <laughs> uh, silly Canadian. I thought it was this one. It's the next one, right? Ah, uh, silly me. Silly, silly me. But yeah, um. I don't know. These three days are going to be... Here's the thing, right? Right now, for me, in terms of what I think, I think that for me, there's going to be a lot of spreadsheet work that gonna needs to be done at the start of the expansion, right? I might do that work in the beta. I might do that work in the beta, but the problem with the beta is that it's really hard to get some of the materials to do something like prospecting or something like... Uh, milling, it's going to be hard to get those materials, right? It's going to be very hard to get those materials. So we'll see if we can get, like, some sort of supply. Uh, but, yeah. Has Canadian been salty a good portion of the day? No, no, no. I'm never salty. I can't wait for the war with him so I can run some more older man. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Party time. War with him, baby. Day one older man. I mean, surely that's going to be when I get my super rare, right? Uh, the... Okay. I haven't been salty, okay? I'm just, like, disappointed. <laughs> okay. Media... Be focused now, Canadian. Now it's time. It's time to get the items now. I've been holding back before, okay? But now that we've advanced enough into the into the, the challenge, now I think that I can get the super rare now, okay? Okay, Blizzard, you can anytime now, Blizzard, okay? Anytime, Blizzard, okay? Anytime for the past 20 years. Let's go, Blizzard. It's time. It's time, Blizzard. Can do this, Blizzard. I believe in you. I love you, Blizzard. I've always loved you, Blizzard. Now give me the fucking drop. <laughs> I'm a bunny. What do you think of the total uh, value looted? Oh, it's way more than that. This is just the last stream. Oh, we have the. Actually, we have the last uh, three likes on the Discord, if you're on the Discord. I'm pretty sure you are. Uh, but yeah, there is the, the all of the likes that we we did today. Also, if anyone wants to do a lack, let me know. I will start a lack as well. So we can see kind of the fake value of the day. And also, we can see if a super rare drops. It's very exciting to show it to everyone, you know. Um, and to rub it in my face, how how cool would that be? That you get a super a super rare in like five runs, and I I don't get one in fifteen hundred. Surely that would make me very happy. I am sure the last twenty years I trashed the dissensions of the super rares. Ah, that's possible. I mean, who knew who knew back in vanilla that these items were super rare? You know, like nobody. Uh, the others don't sell. I think Semicolon should run 
Uh, some with you. I mean, if he's not too busy, I mean, I, I, I'm not sure I want Semicolon to get a super rare instead of me. That would be preposterous. Preposterous, okay? Any, actually, it's not just Semicolon, it's just anyone. <laughs> I just don't want to. Uh, I don't know. I, I, maybe that's why I'm not getting a super item. Maybe because I'm tunneling my energy into me, 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 myself. You know what? I think that might be the issue. I hope. I really hope that everyone here gets a super item now. Okay? So that it will give me the fuel to encourage people to come here. Which is such a good gold farm, right? You see how much gold I'm making? Wow. Look at... Look at this. This is six silver each. Not too shabby. <laughs> Incredible. Yo. Uh, uh, my head is starting to pound. He will get lost. You think you think Semi Collin would get lost in Older Man? I do get lost. <laughs> I mean, it's normal, you know. When you start an older man, you will not do very good times, let me tell you. But, I mean, the, the trick is to never start. Once you start, you're in trouble because now, now you're hooked, you know. No problem, uh, this. Now you're hooked. Uh, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm. All right, this is the run number 54, also known as the one where we get a super item. Can't believe. I can't believe we're going to get a super item, guys. I'm so excited to get the super item now. The new info in the war with him. People with arachnophobia can switch models to crafts and also affect an endgame boss. Seems. What? People with arach... What is arachnophobia? Can switch models to crabs. Knacks with crabs? What the fuck is this shit? Maybe it's for a secret finding thing? Fear of spiders. Yeah, I know what arachnophobia is, but like, how can you have arachnophobia in the game? Well, in the game, you know? I burped. After the fart, now is the burp. Uh, okay, let's go again. 54 was not the one. I think it was uh, 55. Oh, you calm down now. You calm the fuck down now with your clipping. <laughs> oh, I drank too much water. Too much water makes me burp. It's crazy how much water makes me burp. I think there's gas in my water. At least it doesn't make me fart. It's a real feature. Really? Luck on your side, no idea how to clip. Ah, there you go. Well, I'm sure not going to fucking show you. <laughs> Get fucked. Get fucked, son. Go back to, to doing your hoops, okay? Go back to your hoops. For those who haven't seen the semicolon stream, he, he plays basketball on his stream at the same time as doing goal making. I mean, that's quite a feat. Quite a feat, you know. Now, uh, at some point, he did six in a row. But I don't think I don't think the balls he uses are regulation, right? I don't think his balls are regulation. <laughs> oh, these are like way too big to be regulation. If you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Man's got big balls. What can I say? It's the little things that I appreciate. Okay, I'm officially tired now. I'm saying stuff about balls. Yeah, your balls are way too big, right? Too big. Such big balls. 
I mean, uh, recently I haven't seen uh, your stream as much, semicolon. I think it's because I'm intimidated by, by how big your balls are. You know? It has nothing to do with that. It's just... um. I haven't really watched any stream like in the past few weeks. I watch I, I come in to met like once in a while. Like usually usually like late in the evening. But uh I, I don't go into streams too much these I, I was just really busy recently. The Arachnophobia mode picture as seen in the first quarter of Naxramus. So strange. I mean whatever. Maybe it's cool. Maybe we get a super rare too. Maybe, maybe I'm a bunny. Maybe I'm not. Come on. Uh, in other news, we made 7,600 raw gold from this, right? You're all home slice. <laughs> all good home slice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's, um, I wish, um, what was the video that I saw that you were doing, though? I watched the video on YouTube. I did see that you, you spent just so much fucking gold uh, recently. And you kind of forgot about getting your gold cap, which is okay, because I'm assuming you made some investments for the patch uh, for Season 4, maybe? Did you invest some gold in the Season 4? Uh, I think I'm going to be careful for my investments with Season 4, personally. I think I'm going to be a little bit more careful than I first anticipated. Uh, because... Uh, with... With uh, Panda... Panda... Wow Remix, Pan, Mr. Pandaria. Uh, I'm kind of... Oh, we need to to eat some food right now. I'm thinking that some people might skip season four to play uh, the Wist of Mr. Pandaria remix. I'm starting to think that this is what's going to happen. And now I'm kind of like, hmm, is this what's going to happen? You know? So I'm kind of, I'm kind of going to be a little bit more cautious about how much I wait to sell my stuff, I think. But we'll see. I mean, um, at this point, I kind of just want to have my life back and my gold back. To fill their warbands, uh, people without alts will be doing them. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think there's a lot of people with no alts. I feel like everyone has alts nowadays. But what the fuck do I know, you know? Maybe there's more new players than we might think, right? Maybe there's more new players than we might think. I hope that they really improve the new player experience in the War Within. Really hope. Right now, the new player experience seems like very, very bad. Uh, Warbands can be filled with different accounts. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I mean, my war. I don't really care what my warband looks like, to be honest, but, uh. Yeah. But, yeah, for storing the. It's like. It works like the pet battles, right? It works like the caging pets. The same thing as caging pets when you release uh, get items and remove items. The same technology as uh, pets. Who dares awaken to avoid, like, the duplication that used to happen with pets back in the day. The war battle, yeah, it's really nice for reagents. I do, do we know if it stacks to higher than um do we know if it stacks to higher than one thousand for materials now in the warband bank? Because if it could stack to like five thousand or ten thousand, I would be very, very happy. In general, this is the improvement that I want to see. Items stack for more than one thousand. I have many, many wares. I would fucking love that shit. Would fucking love that shit, brah. We got a lot of materials too from all this. Right? We got a lot of materials from all this. We got seven tick hides, seven gold torn, two heavy hides. Heavy hides are a hundred gold each. Heavy hides are a hundred gold each. Crazy. 
You know what? I think we're going to do something like this. Aurora pen. All of this. Go. Beautiful. Uh, let's go back into the great days of this older man. Go. Uh, the Warbed Banks is for reagent. Wow, there is a reagent bank. I don't know. Okay, cars in Warband can craft from mech. Yeah, I know, but that's um, that's a really cool feature for sure. But uh, I would really like it. Do Do you know if there's only one reagent tab or if there's multiple reagent tab? I'm pretty sure it's only one, but it would be so fucking cool if we had more than one. Uh, I would like to have more than one reagent tab. It makes no fucking sense to have only one of like 98 items. Fucking love this shit. Oh, I know reason time. What? Like a guild bank? No idea. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm. Ex uh, there is a reagent tab. There is a reagent tab. I saw it in the in the demo thing. It would be nice if there was more than one tab. If there is like five tabs, just like the other one, I would be so fucking happy to have five tabs of reagents. Holy shit, I would be happy. All my reagents could be in the same place, and I could sleep like a baby. Because I feel like the reagent tab is going to be too small. If it's like. Uh, for all characters to have like just one reagent bag, one one fucking tab, it's not enough. It's just not enough. At the same time, I think that players will give feedback and maybe they will have more tabs for the reagent bag later, right? Uh, because this is for sure going to become an issue, I think. I think reagent tab could be an issue if they don't put more. Oh, come on, man. There we go. Come with me. And I will get a super rare today. Run 56 is a very good number to get one, okay? The Gill Bank. Uh, like Gill Bank? I'm not sure. Let's go. All right. Then we get a super rare in our last few runs. Oh boy. Come on, man. So we will have. We don't have too much left to do. Have to. Come on. Let's go, Canada. Let's go. You're definitely not tired, Canada. Let's go. I think I'll need to take like a, a thing for my throat. I'm starting to struggle from the throat. Give me a second. I'll get something real quick. Oh, is it already here? Nope. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff right here. All right, go. Oof. We are in the somewhat last-ish stretch here. Or not. I mean, we, we don't know yet, but yeah. I mean, I don't think I would be... Today, I don't think I'll be able to do like 100, to be honest. Like we're uh, we we have been like much slower than usual, ah, uh, because we've been pretty chill. But we have like in seven and a half hours, uh, fifty five, fifty six runs, is not super fast. So like, if we were to do a hundred runs, that would be like thirteen, fourteen hours. Because I will probably get slower as time goes, right? I'll probably get slower. Yeah. 
All right. Time to get the bunny powers in here. Let's go, bunny powers. Let's go. Uh, but this is nice. I wonder if they're going to do... Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they do a full week of kind of media stuff, right? Because right now they seem like uh, they rarely come out of their shell. It's been a long time since we've seen Ian, right? I think last time we saw Ian was like at BlizzCon or something, right? It's been some time. But it's nice. It's nice to get some uh, some info. Yo, and we are at 56 right now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, what happened here? Ah, no. God fucking damn it. Arachnophobia in the game. Well, in the game, you know. I burped. After the fart, now is the burp. Arachnophobia in the game. Whoop, in the game. You know? Fucking hell. Uh... I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> well, thank you, Wolfie, for doing that clip. Uh, Holy is the vice director was interviewed with several streamers in London. I think that Holly Longdale is uh, probably potentially one of the best things that happened in WoW. He's uh, I don't know. She seems to be in charge and in uh, you know what I think kind of happened at some point. Someone got in there. Okay, someone got in there and said something along the lines of, I'm tired of this bullshit of content being ready last minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little, a little bit of time, like in, you know, Shadowlands. We're going to take a little bit of time, or, you know, in BFA even. And we're going we're gonna to do some content in fucking advance. So we're going to be ahead of the fucking people desiring content. We're going to shove so much fucking content down their throat that they're going to be like fucking not ever mentioning content drought. Like this is the last thing we're ever going to hear, okay? And I, I I don't know. This seems to work. Right now it's, uh, it's freaking incredible the amount of stuff that... With just some adjustments. But like I think that... Something that's a little bit insane for me. I think the thing that's the most insane is the 32 mounts for WoW Remix. Right? 32 mounts for WoW Remix. How the fuck is a is a side event getting 32 mounts? But that's the kind of shit we get today, right? That's the kind of shit we get today. We don't get super items, but that's the kind of things we get today. What's your prediction for the token price on the, over the next three months? I think that the token price... Hmm, let me think. I think that the token price is going to be... I think that one week into the war within, the token price will be about 220,000 gold. Yeah, all of the ensembles. That's, I want the ensembles more than the mounts. These ensembles are really cool. Not all of them, but lots of them. I just want to get them easy mode shit, you know? That's the kind of stuff I want. With the with will be stable. Ah, oh, did you see like in the next patch the new stable for like your hunter pets? It looks incredible. And you know what that means? 
That means that we might sell more Mecha Bomb imprint matrix in the new patch. Because I think some people will want to collect some mechanical pets. And guess what? You'll need a Mecha Bomb imprint matrix. Bitches. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. But yeah, that would be my prediction. I think the token is going to go down, but not a ridiculous amount of going down. I think that a lot of people are going to buy gold. Especially with the with the 500k and the 2.5 million uh for the for the the tabs. I think that's going to be a lot of raw gold that people are, people are going to buy gold for this. Like, lots of people are going to buy gold for other fucking things. I, I think it's going to be insane. I'm kind of excited to see what the pre-patch event will bring, if there is anything to there. That could be cool. Uh, I did see new stables, but I think the price of Doki will not very much until uh, while we're thin. Um, so there is two main factors uh, that I think is going to drop the price of the tokens. First of all, Asia is going away from the EU and NA. So Asia is going back to Asia, and um, also uh, there's going to be, uh, what else is going to be? Also, the other thing is just people are going to buy lots of gold, I think. People are going to buy lots of gold. That's what I think. Uh, and uh, the thing, and the new gold sinks, okay? Keep in mind, the new gold sinks... They come in in the pre-patch, not in the war within, in the pre-patch. The new gold sinks for the warbands tab, right? So this this could be a serious gold sink right there. A serious, serious gold sink, okay? Who dares awaken Let me tell you, okay? If uh, in the world where lots of people are swiping, okay? Imagine this, okay? Imagine this, and we didn't get the thing again. 57 completed. Let, let me get my calculator and show you this. Okay, so. Uh, it's 3.1 million to get everything, okay? Let's say that 100,000 players buys the goal. It, it's not unfeasible that 100,000 players would do that to unlock this, okay? That's the number of millions that are going to be getting out of the economy. Okay? Uh, that's a million. So this is 310 trillion, trillion gold getting out of the economy if this happens. If 100,000 players do that, okay? So now, if we divide this by maybe the, what, 5 million players in retail? Let's say there's 5 million... In retail okay that means this reduces the price alone by 62,000 gold per player so that's kind of math behind it this is how gold sink can be so powerful if if a hundred thousand players buys this okay this is the amount of gold removed from the economy that's 62,000 gold per player for each 100,000 players are doing this. Yeah, the sinks are coming before the war return. So I think right now that I would hold on to my gold. I don't think I would buy stuff with my gold too much. I'm going to be hoarding and then we're going to be buying like Imagine if the token goes back to a hundred thousand, okay? Just as a let me give you some perspective of what it would mean for me, okay? Right now, I think that after I sell my stuff, I'll have at least fifty million gold, okay? Divided by a hundred thousand, let's say it goes back to this. That's five hundred tokens, okay? Times fifteen dollars. That's seven thousand five hundred U.S. dollars worth of this shit. Worth of uh of this shit. How fucking crazy is it that I could buy a fucking car with my WoW gold? Considering you could do this kind of transfer, right? But um this is insane. This is insane. 
if it gets back to 100,000. If it's 200,000, I'd be extremely happy to. But, I mean, there's technically a chance that there's a lot of chances that... Okay, so, there is this thing too, okay? At this sort of... We don't know what's going to be the raw gold opportunities in the next expansion, okay? But, I wouldn't be surprised to see some new raw gold things being in the game. It seems that Blizzard were very happy with how much gold people were doing with world quests, okay? Seems like uh, Blizzard was very happy with the amount of gold that people were doing from world quests. So, I don't know if there could be... I don't know if there could be something new. Uh, maybe well, maybe Delves would be a good amount of raw gold, right? Maybe Delving is going to be the way to make raw gold. Uh, I'm excited to see what's going to be the raw gold in the next expansion because... This is what's going to determine how much uh, how much the token is going to change in price, right? If there is more raw gold, the price of the token goes up. If there is less raw gold, the price of the token goes down. So if there is not a lot of raw gold, which I think Blizzard will really consider doing, we could definitely see uh, the price of the token go really, really much more down. But yeah, my prediction is that the start one week after uh, the War Within, 220,000 gold, I think, is going to be the price of the token. You know what? I, I would clip myself, okay? I would clip myself just to see if I was right, you know? And then people could laugh at me so fucking hard if, I, if I'm wrong. That's always the kind of thing. So this is why people don't make predictions, right? This is why people don't make a lot of predictions like this. Because you could clip them and be like, Oh yeah, you said that it would be 220,000, right? Well, why is it like 500,000, you fucking dummy? That could be funny, right? With uh, people talking like that on the internet, of course. I I'm taking the, the classic internet person, right? Uh, let me see here. I'll need to refresh the lights. Oh, did I fuck it up? If I fucked it up. I did fuck it. Okay. So yeah, this is run 58. Still no sight of anything really worth a lot. You think it's going to be... Oh, in EU? Oh, I was talking about the NA price. On EU? Probably like 300,000, I would say. 300,000 makes sense for me in EU. You think it's going to be 296? Add more runs. I mean, add more runs. I can't add more runs. <laughs> Not possible. Sorry. Unless you pay up with your channel points or your sub money. Canadia's gonna feed my Alderman dreams. Okay. It's currently. Yeah, Jinsu. Yeah, we didn't get a Jinsu yet. Someone got two, though. Right, bruv? Alderman! Uh, I know, I kind of asked for it, right? Alderman! All right. Don't fuck me, Yuri. Don't fuck me, Yuri. Be a good boy, Yuri. Not very nice, Yuri. Ah. Why why you do this, Matt, right? Why do you do this to me, Matt? This is all this is enticing pe inciting people into ruining my life, Matt, okay? Not okay. Plus three with love. Uh is this your new favorite wheel? No 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 no. No. Me no likey the wheel. Me me no likey. You think it is? No, no, no. Uh, no. Des, Des is going to fix this, right, Des? You're going to fix this, Des, right? Des is going to fix this, okay? That's that's what I thought. Des birthday. Des is a good person, okay? 
Des is a great person. We're down to 70 runs now. Great, great. You wanted 69? It's okay. It's okay. Next one is going to get 69. Next one is going to get the uh, minus one, okay? It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's always going to be 69, okay? It's always going to be 69. Go like this. And here, there we go. Good stuff. Happy birthday to you. Ah, uh, am I gonna sing myself? Happy birthday. Gonna pop. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Des. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> it seems like I'm very okay. So when I did the recording of my voice. I was definitely just kind of in, like, really chill, just, uh, and that's why it's, I feel like my AI voice is a little bit less energetic, <laughs> you know? But that was very nice of you, uh, Sammy Colin, to, to, because it is birthday. I did already sing with my real voice, not my AI voice. Happy birthday to death, so we're good, okay? Yeah, I did a dance, too. I did some dancing. Sounded very sincere. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Des. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> yeah, that's just regular Canadian, right? I think that I'll redo my voice, you know what? I think I'll redo my voice. Yeah, I did a birthday dance. There's there's has been nothing but mice in this place. Uh she deserves uh she deserves some birthday uh birthday dancing, okay? That's what you get when you're nice and you don't get plus three on the wheel, okay? No no birthday for uh for Yuri, okay? <laughs> uh the streamer is a fucking bully. Whatever. It's my birthday too suddenly, yeah, right? Uh-huh. Well, AI AI Canadians got you, okay? AI Canadians got you. God damn it. I wish you should not mention my birthday in the stream. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's probably I mean, don't you wanna get the, the super dance from Canada? I went in with five cams at the same time. With little hearts going everywhere, I mean that was quite uh, quite something. Mm -hmm. Fuck, man! For some reason, I kind of had a feeling I would get a super rare right now, and this fucking blue shit just appeared. Oh, uh, for some reason, I kind of had a hey, this would fucking wake me up to get a super rare right now. But guess what? Where is the super rare Canadia? Right? Where's the super rare? Ah! Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, you fucking shit game! Fuck this shit! This is not funny! Okay? When I had a good feeling, this is where I get the most debated. Fuck this game, okay? Fuck you and your mother too, okay? Ah! God fucking damn it. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, is it your kind of words? <laughs> Ian's holding it ostrich because you don't believe him. Yeah. Look, I, I, I am uh, from, I'm naturally kind of, um, I'm always kind of thinking that if, like, it's just, I've been burned too many times by Blizzard. To know that I know that they they don't know what they're fucking talking about, you know all of the good press that Blizzard is getting right now, it uh, it could all go down the drain if they don't deliver in the next one. Just like, you know what? Uh, in Shadowlands, everybody was like, "Ah, oh, Shadowlands is gonna be great! What a good trailer! What a good thing! Let's go back and play!" Ooh, Covenant seemed cool, and then you know Shadowlands went to shit. So now they have another chance with fucking Chris Medzen, uh, 
rocking the house and smacking some titties while going on the stage. You know, he was really, really, it was really the hype man of, uh, of everyone's dreams, you know. He was really, really hot. I mean, I'm surprised there was not like tons of bras on the on the stage for all of the hype that this guy made. You know, he was just fucking demolishing the expectations. So now, can they live up to the hype? Can they live up to the hype? I, I hope that the, one part that I hope that they kind of start fixing. Is the storytelling? It's been a very long time for me that storytelling has been poo poo. I hope, and it's just it's not for me. It's for people of the community. I feel like they deserve they deserve better than fucking Jailer and Firak, right? I think that Firak was really not that good at all. All of this fucking storyline of uh, we have a family, we are a family, and the power of the family. Got us together and won the won the video game, right? It was my favorite presentation. He know, yeah, exactly. This guy is a fucking hype man, right? Don't you guys have phones? Yeah, I mean, we're going from. Do you guys have phones? To fucking Chris Metzen? I mean, we've taken a fucking step. That was a pretty big step. All right, is this the super rare run? Is this it? We don't know. But I'm kind of intrigued to see what's behind those doors. Oh my God, look, there's treasures and this and a big chest with maybe a super rare, which is not there right now. It's maybe in the next run, right? Fucking hell. All right. All right. All right. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's go. We go again. We go again. All right. All right. Did, uh, did I have? Oh, my bags are full. Never mind. We don't go again yet. Give me a second. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Is this a thing I want to vendor? Yes. Okay. Uh, just loot it. Yeah, and that's that's kind of the goal here. I'm trying. Uh, this is what I'm trying. It's just I feel like uh, there's a part of me that loves older men so much. And I don't want to loot it because I, I just want to stay in older men all the time, right? So I think I'm kind of working against myself here. I love this place so, so much. This fucking place that I love so fucking, fucking much. Right? Uh, look at all these lock boxes right here. I could see some people getting very aroused here. Oh fuck! I pressed the wrong button. Ah, uh, that's okay. Doesn't matter. All right, this is gonna be for the number sixty from number sixty starting now. Very good time to be alive. Ooh. Yo, let's go. The fuck is my hair doing? Fix my hair. Yeah, my hair is having a, a situation. Oh, we got the fucking bee. Oh, guys, the, we have hope now. We have a beacon of hope. Are you hopeful now? Oh, I'm definitely hoping. We got a beacon of hope. Let's be hopeful that this is not going to be a debate. Okay? Let's have some hopium in the place, okay? This is happening. This is finally the time where we're getting the super rare. I mean, if there is a chance that we get the super rare, it's going to be in the last few runs, right? If it's going to happen, it's going to be spectacular, right? It's going to happen. And I'm going to get the sweetest fucking clip, okay? I'm going to get the sweetest fucking clip. And yes, we're going to hear some ka right? We're going to hear some ka Oh, yeah, this is what's going to happen, okay? Hmm. Like last time. Oh, you, you calm down, mister. You calm down right now. Last time was different, okay? 
Last time was completely different. It was a different world, okay? It was a different world. Yo. A whole new world, okay? A whole new world. Yo. Come Let's get into this fucking place called the man. Ooh, I got an item upgrade. That's good luck with the Beacon of Hope. I think this is the run now. We got an item upgrade and we got a Beacon of uh, a beacon of Hope. I mean, if there is one run, this is the run, right? Has to be this run. It must be the run where we get the super rare. We're going to farm this clip so hard. Okay, my life now as a streamer is I'm just going to play this clip on repeat. That's all that's going to be the stream about, okay? No more gold making. This is just me uh, reacting to my clip on repeat of getting a super item in Older Man. That's it. I mean, and you'll never get better content than this. This is going to be the peak of Twitch right now. It'll be the peak of Twitch. Just gonna be the just you'll never find something better on Twitch to watch. It's just done. Right? It's just done. This is how it's gonna go. We're gonna have the super item. Yeah, and, and you know what too? We're not just gonna get a super item. I think we're gonna get Digmaster. Okay, I I think we're gonna get Dig Master. Dig Master five thousand is gonna be the one that we get. I'm pretty sure. Cause I mean, we've been such a good boy. We've been such a good boy. All right. Oh, another item upgrade. Okay, okay. We're speaking like volume right now. You know what I'm wondering? See, these can still be indestructible. I should probably check for some tri When I get trinkets, right? When I get trinkets, I should check if they have speed on them. Oh, because I don't have speed on my trinkets right now. That could be actually something useful. Uh -huh. Interesting. Okay, let's go check. We will check in a moment, right? Go check here. So I'm assuming that some trinkets drop in here, right? Well, we have none right now. But there must be some trinkets that drop in this place, right? Maybe we'll someday get some speed on some trinkets, right? There we go. Uh, I can't wait to get my dig master. Here. All right, dig master. When it's going to be. Maybe I think it has to be run 69, right? Run 69 has to be the one. Has to be the one, right? Come on. For Arcadis. Come on. Who dares awaken Arcadis? Who dares awaken Arcadis? And we got some garbage. All right. So that was run 60 completed. All right. So before we continue, this is basically the eight hour mark. I will take another break. I really need to go to the bathroom. And when we come back, we're going to get the super item when we come back. Okay. Super item. Super item. Super right on. All right. Leave you with some nice music and I'll be right back.
No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 All right, we're back for the time where we're going to actually complete this freaking thing. There we go. So let's get back in here. Let's reset the instances. Let's go and get those last few runs. All right. Thank you so much for your patience during, uh, during this. That was very appreciated. Let's go. All right, let's go. We go in here, we kill the stuff, and we get the super rare, right? Right? Let's go. No more surrender. We will not stay here. Invite me. Oh, you want a lack? Let's do a lack. Let's do, uh, I mean, we can do a, a two hour or whatever. Let's just send you invites. There we go. And we got Revenza in here. If anyone else wants to join, I'll wait like one second and actually let's just go, go like this. If you want to join, let me know. Uh, I'll show you how if you don't know how. And let's go. Oops. There you go. You die. All right. Let's get a super rare on this lack. Sorry about that. A 
I might have ate too fast. Might have ate too fast. But yeah, we are at run number 61. I would really like to get a super rare now. That would be very, very pleasant. Um, I think I'm going to find profession knowledge. Uh, week one of the next expansion. I only did two characters uh, first patch, but made so much money. Yeah. I, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I am not sure that I'll have time to do all of the professions at the start. Okay. And right now it's actually too early to really take a look at this and know where, what my plan is going to be for the next expansion. But let me tell you something that I don't want to happen. I don't want to, to work too hard, right? I want to maintain this sort of four hours a day uh, gameplay, right? This is the kind of period where you make just so much gold per hour that you want to play like 50 hours a week, right? Uh, or 60 hours a week or 80 hours a week. And this is something I don't want to do, okay? Uh... I'm going to think of it as a content creation kind of perspective. We're going to go into the beta, which is definitely going to help. Uh, that's not what I want. Yo, actually, we could actually eat. Let's eat some shit. And we're going to get the, the food buff and another thing like this. Uh, but yeah, uh, one of the strategies that could be one of them is I think I'm probably going to go for inscription and jewel crafting as my first character. Um, I think this is definitely going to happen, but we have a lot of time to kind of set up our strategy, okay? Uh, as soon as I have beta access, I will definitely go and explore what there is to explore. Maybe create uh, some spreadsheets uh for these professions particularly which are my two favorite professions right my two favorite professions are uh inscription and jewel crafting always have been uh so yeah definitely will do that we'll absolutely take a look at enchanting as well i think that enchanting as always has tremendous potential we got an anneal blade first time we got this today not too expensive, but still, uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take everything, actually. You know what? I'll take everything. Um, Let's take a look here. I think enchanting is one uh, is one, one I made the most gold. Exactly. At the start of the expansion, uh, I made so much from enchanting. Well, towards the start. Enchanting was just people are bad at math with enchanting and it went really well. Uh, so we'll see. Um, yeah, the prof. The, I, I don't know if it was boring. I think that. Um, I hope that they kind of revamp the profession knowledge trees, okay? I hope that they kind of revamp the profession knowledge trees to be less grindy. And you know what they could do is they could release extra they could release extra steps to the tree during the patches. This is something that I hated during Dragonflight, but it's the complete lack of updates from the start to the end of the expansion. Uh, there was no new profession knowledge things. There was barely any catch up mechanics for the knowledge. Profession just needed some tweaks, and I would have liked to see some more stuff coming with professions. I feel like this can be more interesting. Or, you know, if it gets to the point, maybe we could have an endless mode, right? Uh, an endless kind of place where you could get, okay, so from now on, I want to get this amount of multicraft and this amount of uh, resourcefulness. Or some way to catch up on the on the things there has to be something right something i would like to see as well is more consumables like the aerated flask of quick hands i would like to see some consumables instead of the of the what's uh, the the reagents the crafting reagents right i thought that the crafting reagents were kind of boring and not many got used 
So I think it's in overall it's kind of a shitty system. Uh but I think that if they would change this for something just better, I think that would be pretty cool. So yeah, I think the profession system for me, and I know lots of people disagree. I like the profession system. It just needs some tweaking, okay? It just needs some tweaking. So, and I would like to see some tweaking for sure. There's like um, a lot of tweaking that needs to be done, I think. It's just not... Uh, it's missing something. Yeah, semicolon is making bank with the profession system, and yeah, I think I think it makes sense that uh, lots of people are making bank from looking at all this. Uh, but yeah, I think that there's definitely, uh, definitely some good things with the profession My system, and I know lots of people struggle to see it, but um, you know, it, it's like. I think uh, I just think there's a lot of potential here. I think this could really be a solid system. Uh, it just needs some tweaks. I kind of wish profession crafter work more with other crafters together in some ways instead of just the auction house. So how 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 do you think they could do that? Uh, how do you think they could do that? Because there is an item that currently has this, and that's the enchanting uh, crests, right? The enchanting crest, let's say that you want to get like uh, your best weapon. Well, first, before that, you need to go to an enchanter to get the crest for your item, right? So there is like one interaction where this happens. Um, I mean, yeah. Maybe if embellishments were buying on pickup, like people could work towards getting their uh, embellishments through crafting that could be cool also they could have like these sort of 10 steps uh, crafting things right for a legendary for example like uh, you have to do an item from each profession to make that big fucking item you know that could be cool but usually people will complain about this uh, so i'm not sure if it's really a good idea Uh, when I heard about the crafting benches, I thought we would work together with others. Um, I think that the crafting station bring absolutely nothing to the game. Uh, personally. Like having to go to the station to click your button instead of going anywhere to click the button. I think that's just not useful for the game. I don't see what this brings. Uh, unless you do something along the lines of what if you could craft your own crafting station that you could put on the ground yourself, like in Final Fantasy. And there you go. You put your crafting station on the ground and, and you just craft. And to craft your crafting station, maybe you would need to have a professional achievements, right? Some shit like this. That could be something that crafters could work towards. I think that would be some very cool system. It brings some problems too, right? It brings some problems too. I mean, you don't want people that put lots of time into the game to have too big of an advantage over the other players. Especially if there is no catch-up, right? And this is Blizzard is failing every single time at this, I feel. I feel like Blizzard is failing every single time when it comes to getting a freaking situation like this where I don't know how they fuck it up so bad. It's just every time that there is like, they, they have to choose a different type of friction, but it's hard. It's really hard. It's hard to decide what type of friction. In Shadowlands, they decided that the rich people would get uh, the legendary recipes and would make bank. They haven't decided that. They just have planned very poorly. In this expansion, they were like, okay, Shadowlands was a big shit uh, for professions. People had to pay like 200000 to get their legendary. 
Now let's make them Dynon pick up these things and they have to do the work orders to be able to get their best and slot item instead of using gold, right? Well, that's a good system for the players, right? Uh, but the restrictions on public work orders and all of this shit show of the work orders that can be sometimes and all of this communication between players, I think that this part can be severely improved. But I like the fact that it's not the rich getting richer on this one. Um, it's the people spending more time that gets rich and the people being strategic that gets rich. That's just for the the gear sector, right? I think that there's a lot of opportunities for reagents. I think Sammy Collin would agree a big time. Um, what else is there like a, a bit of a similar thing, right? So, so yeah, I think, I think that where they should have is like, right now, lots of people didn't do professions because they were behind and they never really wanted to get into professions because they knew that for the first month of getting knowledge, it would mean nothing to them for most professions, right? And to me, that's a shame because that was just misinformation in most cases, but it's kind of hard to, to have this message sent around uh, everyone while everyone agrees that the it doesn't work out, you know? So, yeah. I guess we'll see if we get, like, better stuff. But I'm happy that they're not scrapping the system. I'm just happy that they're not scrapping the system, that they're tweaking it. And I'm excited to uh, to see what's to come next. Excited to see what's to come next. Oh, and I hope that I, I, I'm starting to get like very excited to see the prices for um, for the materials for season four. Now we're coming to a time where it's going to be Christmas or it's going to be really, really bad too. This could be happening as well. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of people playing in season four. I have no clue if a lot of people are going to do season four. But if there's a lot, I'm going to profit from it. And then I'll be able to just join uh, the Panda thing, the WoW Remix, and be happy forever, basically. Uh, seems like much less hype than Faded Shadowlands. Well, Faded Shadowlands was the first time that they did this, so that's why there was more hype. I think that they could have went uh, a little bit harder on Season 4 of Dragonflight for something, I don't know, more spicy. But who knows, really? I really don't know what to expect. Uh, it's going to be a very short faded season. Well, it's not a faded season. It's like a augmented season. I don't know what's the name again. Awaken? What was the name of the, the, the season instead of faded? Regardless, I think that there's just... It's going to be a very short season. Because when you think about it, we are mid-April right now. We still need to get 10.2.7. Okay, we're going to be late April when the season releases. And I think the expand, I think the pre patch. Oh boy, another one of these. Fucking hell. Let me put this somewhere. Uh, I think the next season is going to be. Uh, no, not the next season, but next patch the, is going to be something like. I think the pre patch is going to be in August. Or the expansion is going to be in August. But it's going to come really fast. Because 10.2.7 for me is most likely going to be in May. Which means the pre-patch could be in something like July. Which means the expansion could be in August. Which means this would be fucking crazy to play the war within in August. Right? And there's a lot of things that point to August in the, um, in some of the achievements and shit like that. Lots of things are available uh, until August, which is uh, like in the store items and shit. So I'm kind of like, huh, 
I think that there could be something about August could be like when the, the thing happens. So considering that the free patch is in July, season four is going to probably end like in August or July. I don't know exactly how they're going to do their thing, but it's kind of very short now. How long was the Shadowlands uh, season uh, season four? I don't know how long the Shadowlands season four was. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's go. But yeah, I'm excited in general. Uh, to have like new, new, uh, new stuff kind of revealed to us today was also like really exciting. Really, really exciting. Not as exciting as getting a super rare, but very exciting. I'm so happy for the new gold sink. The new gold sink is absolutely baller. This is like probably the best news I've heard uh, about WoW in a while. Very, very happy for this that they're doing more gold sinks like this. And a gold sink that's like a very big portion of the player base will take. So very excited for that. I mean, yes, there is the 2.5 million gold sink, right? Uh, but there's also the 500k gold sink. Keep in mind that lots of players will maybe not buy the the 2.5 million, but I think that a lot of players will buy the 500,000. And the one before that, which is, I think, 100,000. 100,000 gold gold sing that, like, 50% of the player base buys, that's like a lot of gold removed from the auction house, right? Let's say, okay, that there is... Uh, 5 million players right now. Let's say that 50% of the player base buys 100,000, gets 100,000, uh, pays for the 100,000. That's 250 trillion gold removed from the economy. And if you divide this by the number of players of 5 million, that's 50,000 gold uh, per player that is removed from the economy. That's huge. That's huge, 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 huge. And that will have a massive effect on the token. If just from this one, right? Just from the 100,000. That's how powerful gold things can be. In a world where like half the player base buys the 100,000 uh, tab. Which I think that, I, I want to say that 50% will probably buy it, right? That's very exciting. But I know lots of people will actually start uh, farming some gold from now on. Pretty sure that lots of people will actually go and farm some gold just to buy some tabs early. Or just to prepare for the next expansion, right? I think it's going to be pretty insane. Uh, let's see here. Still no trinkets, right? No. All right, let's uh, vendor some stuff here. We have done 63 runs now. Exciting time to be alive. Maybe Bravenza will get another uh, another Jinsu. One thing that so far is really, really disappointing is we didn't get a Jinsu and we didn't get a Rich Purple Silk shirt. Uh, so that's really, really sad in a way so far. So we could finish the challenge and not get anything really, really good, uh, even though we did like 70 runs. So I guess we'll see. There we go. So, best we got three more log boxes here. Yep, go, go, and uh, this reset all instances and let's go back. All right, run sixty four. Is it gonna be run sixty four? Let's go, Kenny. Let's go. Yeah, my loading screen. Well, thank you very much. Okay. This is maybe gonna be the one where we get a super rare. Come on. I've done enough runs, game. I've just done enough runs. Now pay up. 
Give me the super rare now. It's time for my dig master now. It is time for the dig master. It, today is the day. Yesterday, Meth got his axe. Okay, his legendary axe. Today is the day where I get my super rare. Just give me dig master. I'll come back. I swear to God, older man. I'll come back even if you give me my super rare. Okay, I will be back. But come on, you got you got to give me something here, you know. Got to give me something. Come on. All right, is it time to be alive? Yep. Can't believe that this. Uh, we've been going pretty hard. The stream has been going for eight and a half hours already, and we're not done. So <laughs> this is a pretty long stream today. Last time it took us eleven and a half hours to do ninety-four runs. I'll do a calculation at the end of how much run per hour we did this time compared to last time. I definitely feel like I'm slower today than last time. So I don't know. Maybe I just have less energy or something. Two. Come on. Oh boy. Not getting the things, man. This oh. I want to get the thing. Please give me the thing. Yeah, still, uh, still also, I mean, I, I would like to get at least a consolation price as well, right? We haven't gotten Jinsu like last time, which was which we sold for a hundred and fifty thousand gold, by the way. Uh, so we didn't get a Jinsu, we didn't get a uh, we didn't get uh, many other things, but we didn't get a Jinsu, we didn't get a rich purple silk shirt, we didn't get um, well, those are two main items I want. Maybe even Starbell Pattern I know is one of the things that can drop in here. That can be pretty insane. But yeah. Guess we'll see. Guess we'll see. Come on, come on. Um, I want to see a super rare or at least a consolation prize. Come on. If you want to see me again, older man, you have to give me at least a consolation prize. Oof. But I would prefer the super rare. You'll see me. If, if you give me the super rare, oh, you'll see me back in here. They're making all of that gold, you know? Yo. Bang. It's getting hot in here because I'm going to get a super rare. I am getting so many super rares. I couldn't take my super rares off. <laughs> All right. Is run 64 completed now? Let's see what's in the chest. Let's see what's in here. What is in here? Garbage is in here, I'll tell you what. All right, so 64 has been completed. All right, 64 has been uh, completed. Let's go. Go. All right. Uh, instance. All right, run number 65. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. 
We can do this. We can do this right now. I believe in ourselves, in our power of love, in our potential, incredible time to be alive. I believe. Yo, super rare moment. It's happening. I believe. Yeah, Kev believes. That's that's all I needed. I just need people to believe. That's what we're missing in this world. People that believes. Believes in the power. The power of the super rare and older man. You just have to believe. Someday. I will get my item. And today. Might be the day. Come on. Uh, sending a bit of birthday uh, wish luck your way. Let's go. Let's go. For my birthday, I wish that Canadia gets a super item. That's what you need to do in your head, and then you blow the candles, okay? <laughs> Give me your wish. <laughs> You don't need to. You can wish for yourself, okay? You can wish for yourself, Des. Don't be afraid to wish things, okay? This is a time. Time is gonna change. Fuck this. Go. Go. Time to farm that clip. At this time. To get the clip done let's get the the older man clip out of the way out of the, all the clips we're farming go sing a bit <laughs> dream of my double uh chocolate peppermint cake yes i will <clears throat> double chocolate peppermint cake i love peppermint like chocolate with minty ice cream kind of shit that's so good No, what's not good is to not get a super rare game. Yo. <laughs> Your dad bakes it from scratch? He started baking after he, he retired. Really? I kind of started uh, doing some cooking on my side, like somewhat like less than a year ago. And it's a very nice thing. I like this a lot. It's kind of therapeutic. I like applying myself when I cook. You know? I like taking my time and doing things well. And putting a little bit of attention to like little details. Nice thing. Let's go. Getting close to the end of the run, number 65. My grandma was an amazing banker, so I think it helps him feel close to her. Aww. Yeah. I think that there's always like this sort of, it can create this sort of connection when you cook with someone where it kind of fits, you know? I cook with my girlfriend sometimes and it's really nice. She wants to help. She takes her time most of the time. I think that we uh, we kind of compliment each other on this, you know. Can see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> yes, slowly but surely we see the light. Time to see the light. Yo. But I'd rather see. I'd rather see the uh, the super item, you know. I'd rather see the super item than the light of the tunnel. Oh, go. go. Let's go. Let's go. It is time. Who dares awaken Arcadus? 
Okay. And now let's see what's in the box. Anything good in the box? It Fuck me. Alright, 65 runs have been done. Get fucking hyped. We're getting closer to the ultimate thing. That stone is the trinket you can get. Oh, really? Uh, I didn't get uh, a trinket here. Isn't this a... No, it's a finger this town. I think. Looks like it's a finger. I have many, many wares. It'll be run 69. Obviously, it's going to be run 69. We all know it, right? We all know it. It's going to be run 69. It cannot be any other runs. has to be for the memes, you know? No problem, uh, Cap. I mean, uh, I, thought, I thought for a second that you were right. Okay. You have a lot of lockboxes. I might open the lockboxes after. If we, if I feel like I have enough energy to open the boxes, I'll open the boxes at the end. Farewell, uh, let's trouble. go like this. Restart. Okay. Let's start number 66 now. Is this time for number 66? Go like this. It's time. Time to get it. Six, six, six. Number of the beast. It's the beast run this one. Yeah. I think that, um, I, I don't know when it's going to be the next time that we'll have time to come to Older Man, to be honest. Uh, I feel like in the next few weeks, we'll start to be very, very busy with uh, the Panda remakes, the Season 4. I mean, maybe we have time to do one more. Hello, Scope. How you doing? I'm the bunny. Yes, that's me. We're doing some Older Man. And we got another garbage blue. <sighs> Every time I see a blue, it gets my little thing tingling. You know, my little body starts shaking from the potential super rare. Yeah. Ah, yep, we keep on going. We never stop in. Go. Another garbage blue to debate us. Maybe, maybe it's kind of, uh, maybe it's saying to us that it's coming. I think it's coming. I mean, this is a sign that there's more blue items right now. As we're getting closer to run 69. This might be the one. Might be the one. Could be coming. I could be your super rare baby. Mm. Go. Let's go, Mr. Chest. Give me something good, Mr. Chest. Power up, Goku. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I'm in the mood for the Super Saiyan moments, right? Not sure. It's coming along very well. Yeah, the stash, the stash is uh, getting somewhere. Uh, we still have one month and 20 days left to the stash. Uh, so it still can be pretty upgraded. So we still have like lots of potential for stash growth. Uh, but I don't think my mustache gets really much bigger than this, to be honest. 
as a as a more of a pupil of the mustache fantasies. I need to get like a mustache, uh, like something to cone my mustache, something like this. I would like to uh, to take better care. Maybe some mustache oil to make it shiny and uh, feel like people can feel at home in my mustache, you know? This could be a thing that we work towards. Come on, run the 66. Mario Lemieux is watching. Mario Lemieux. Come on, Mario. Go. Okay. We keep on going. We never stop in. Never stop in. Back here. Never stop, never stop in. Let's go, Canada. You can get the goodie. And we'll calculate how much run per hour we usually do now. Uh, I'll calculate compared to the last time we did uh, we did this. But yeah, we'll see if we're faster or slower at the end. Who dares awaken me and kill me right after? Okay, let's go now. Is is it the one? Ah. It wasn't run 66, I guess. Maybe it's going to be run 67. Right? <laughs> I'm starting to lose it. Ah. Mm. Oh, my God. All right, so here. Okay, so uh, this is going to be the last run where you can actually purchase uh, the wheel spin, okay? Because if we get to 68 and you get a minus 3, then I've done one run for no reason, okay? So, um, yeah, this is, if you want to spin, this is like the last run where you can spin. And if it's a minus three, then we'll have to freaking pause it. Okay? We'll see. If you don't have to, please don't. <laughs> there we go. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's be a happy family and get all of the goodies. What am I spinning for? Uh, the Wheel of Ultraman can add runs or remove runs. Uh, it can also give you an extra ticket for the giveaway. It can also uh, debate you as always. And it's uh, 3,000 coins to spin. Well, 2,999 technically. How are you doing, Haley? Nice to see you. Debated, I always get, so let's just watch. Yes. Ultimate. <laughs> oh, so we do have. Oh, okay. Ultimate. So <laughs> you always get debated and you still want to do it. Let's see. Let's see if you're right. Let's see if you're right. All right, Haley, don't fuck me, Haley. <laughs> you get debated. There's only one debated, by the way. There's only one debated that the monkey D. Luffy had it to the wheel. And there you go. You could add a debate to the wheel. <laughs> I mean, she a lady knows what she wants, right? A lady knows what she wants. <laughs> but you can blame Monkey D. Luffy for this one. It's not me, it's him, okay? It's not me, it's him. Or her. I don't know. But it's not me. It's the monkey. <laughs> Alright. Old man! Oh boy, Haley. Haley doesn't have enough, I guess. 
All right, Haley. Guess you want some more? Let's give her some more. All right. Well. I'll need to turn this off then, technically. So this would be the last run. All right, let me see here. Because technically, I can, this is going to be technically the last run now, right? Since uh, if we get lower than 67, makes no sense, right? All right, so here's what we're going to do, okay? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to finish this run. Depending on if we get a super rare or not, obviously there's a good chance we don't. <laughs> I might get to 69, okay? We will get to 69 because I, I think that 69 is the run, okay? 69 is the run. So there you go. And also I will, let me just change my text here. Uh, and we'll do something like this, okay? There we go. So we have done this. This works. It's working. Yes. Okay. I will keep it open for subs, but I'm not going to keep it open for. Technically, it should be 67. Okay. You know what? I'll switch it back to, to, to 67. But I will do two extra runs. Pretty sure I will. What does it. What do I do? Uh. One more time. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Yeah, yeah, I removed it just so that people, I don't have to refund them, right? Because if we get minus runs again, if we get to, like, 64, and I've already done 66, uh, it doesn't kind of work. My daughters are feared. I, I got to say, I got extremely lucky with the wheel today. Um, We could have I've gotten, like, way, 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 way more runs if I didn't get so lucky. Technically... Uh, with the people buying, we got five extra runs because we got two subs today. We got two subs and we got like um, five runs that were added from viewers with channel points. And I'm kind of curious to see how many people actually like uh, you, how many points were spent to get those five runs. It's rigged. Yes, it is. Absolutely. But that's just uh, my older man life, okay? Older man is rigged, okay? It's not the wheel that's rigged. It's older man that's rigged, okay? You guys are getting rigged by the wheel. I'm getting rigged by older man, okay? It all balances it out. It's all balanced now, okay? It's all balanced. Ugh. All right. Let's go. All right, let's do this. Well, actually, we're gonna close the subs as well. I, 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 I'm just gonna keep taking care here of myself. Go like this. So actually, let's go. Oh, that's fine. Let's go like this. And do we get something for our troubles? No. Well, that's 67 out of 67, okay? But I decided I will do two more, okay? We will do two more. We need to get, let's like, 69. We need to get to 69, okay? We need to get to 69. That's how it is. I have many lucky dudes. That's just how it is. Gotta get to 69. Go like this, we're gonna vendor some garbage. Oh. Yo. Well, you haven't been very lucky in this slack for sure, uh this time, remember Venza. You didn't get like your fourth uh your fourth thing, your fourth uh 
We got just so many good things today. Uh, two two Jinsu's and a pattern, I think. Something like this. It was pretty insane. All right. Uh, this reset instance. Let's go. Whew. No farming. Just told the man. Yes. All right. Let's unleash for the last two runs here. Ugh. Let's go. Two runs. Two runs. You see, I'm doing extra time for you, older man, okay? Extra time for you. See, Haley, she wants to take care of me, okay? Haley took care of me by reducing the amount of runs. But I'm doing right now I'm doing some self-harm. I'm doing some self-harm right now. Really sucks. <laughs> you can do it, yes. Yes, I can. I believe in myself. Let's go. There we go. Always take care of you, boo. <laughs> Thanks, boo. <laughs> That's my boo. That is my boo. Uh, there we go. Go. I'm actually thinking um, the next stream is going to be on Saturday for those who, who haven't checked earlier. But yeah, the next stream should be on Saturday. And I actually, okay, I might have an announcement for you guys for on the next stream, okay? So I'm announcing an announcement right now, okay? On Saturday, there's going to be an announcement, okay? On Saturday, there's going to be an announcement of something I would consider pretty big. But, uh, yeah. Big announcement? A big one? Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, but, yeah. I I have some, uh, some nice things to announce. And I wanted to wait. I still need to finish a few things. But, um, yeah. I got something to announce. Is it the top secret thing? Yes. It is. Uh, it is, Matt. Matt and Haley actually knows what it is. What is the secret, secret thing? Right? Uh, yeah, he's building the, the, uh, the anticipation. Yeah. And actually, there's only three people in the stream that knows. Uh, Matt, uh, Haley, and a third person, which I'm not going to mention. But yeah. It's amazing. I'm impressed. A hundred more older men runs. Oh, it's bigger than a hundred runs of older men. It's bigger. Uh, you know what? You want to build the hype? I started working on this late 2023. Okay. Something I've been working for a long time for, okay? It's not some hundred older man runs, right? Not some garbage like this. More like summer. Uh, maybe it is, but I think it was, uh, it was late uh, in the 2023. And we need to go check for sure, but it's been a while. It's been a while since I've been working on this. And I'm going to finally be able to talk about it, which will feel pretty good. All right? Which will feel pretty good. There we go. So this is run 68. So after this run, we're going to do one more. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. Your garrison town hall level 3 now. Oh, I'm still level 2. I can't get to level 3. That will take me more time. That will take me more time, Professor. Ooh, a garrison rank three. You're crazy. <laughs> he broke the game and got it to five. Damn. No, I can't. I can't go up. 
Like, I don't know how you guys have your garrisons rank free. Man, you guys are some re the real deal, you know? You're not a slacker like Canada. Alright. So, this is run 68. Got one more after this one for run 69, since the super rare is obviously on 69. Right? Super rare is on 69. Come on. I can't, if we really get a super item, I'm gonna shit myself. Oh, if we could just get at least a, 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 a one last ding, you know, one last ding for the kids. Just to debate me real solid, you know. Alright. It is time for the last run. Right? This might be the best stream I have ever seen. If you know anything about gold making, you know exactly what I mean. Now I'm telling you this, this man provides this info to you for nothing. So be a superstar if you can and click that sub button. There we go. I'm moving on to the, my main monitor. Okay. Let's go. Last run. Run number 69. The one and only. The incredible super rare item is going to be right here. You don't want to miss now. <laughs> I see. Huh? I see no. Sub yeah, sometimes it doesn't work the day thing. You have to, uh, you have to spice it up. <laughs> um, you should add a channel point with that with that shit at the ding, so we can prank you. Yeah, right. Now it's too it's too slow. I would I would see the 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 chat message, and I would know it's happening. Okay, or maybe not. Actually, I'm not very good at reading chat. Maybe I would miss it. Turn in on ESPN three. Canada fails for a 69th time at getting a super rare item. Yes, Jim, uh, we've been looking at Canadia for a very long time. I don't know why he's still coming here. Uh, this is obviously a garbage place where he just keeps getting sad all the time. But I guess the boy likes the pain, hey? Back to you, Tom. <laughs> you know? Uh, my super rare today was the Laria design. Fuck yes, bro. Sold for 1.9 million? Hell yeah. Brad says you did. Very nice. I'm about to get a super items unit, so I'll tell you when I sell mine, okay? Which is definitely gonna happen. I'm definitely gonna get it, and I'm definitely gonna sell it, right? Sure. Alright. This is the last run. It does feel pretty good that it's the last run. This is my reward. But I would like an extra reward, which is, you know, a super item. This is the last run. The last one. Still the one that I love. The only super item that I need. <laughs> Still the one that... Uh, yeah, I'm losing it. Losing it. Fingers crossed. Yes. Alright. We have a chest here. Chest can drop things. Oh! Fuck, man. Oh, that was a ding. That was a ding. Can we get another ding? It's a garbage ding, but it, it's a ding, you know? Just getting debated one more time. Uh, if I get Miner's hat, I'm ready for Dells. Yeah. Ah, oh, would it be fucking, like, if Ravenza gets the super rare while I'm here getting debated for 69 runs in a row? Now that's going to be the ultimate debating. Wasn't impressed with your ding, Canadia. I mean, you should see my ding is not where it's at. You know, you will be impressed not with my ding, but with my dong. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm tired. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, and, and you have the Titanic too. There you go. The timing was perfect on this. The timing was perfect on this. Beautiful. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh boy. <laughs> it's like my joke finish and right after. No, uh, oh, there's ads. We no, have to wait for God, the ads. Please, no. We'll wait for no. the ads. I I'll send it in chat. No. Uh, we'll wait no. for ads to continue. Run so that people can see it. I didn't see the ads. I'm sorry about that. I didn't see that the ads were coming. Oh. All right. Time to kind of chill. Okay. Mm. All right. It's time. Time. It's time. We're going to wait for the ads just to make sure everyone can see. Okay. We're going to wait for the ads just to make sure everyone can see. Okay. Wait for the ads just so that everyone can see. We're going to take a breather, okay? Are you breathing, guys? It's important to breathe, okay? It's important to breathe. All right? Let's breathe, okay? Well, let's breathe. Breathing, everyone? One last run after this to make it 70. I don't know. I think that the pain inside me will have to let it go at 69. Because we're going to get it this run anyway, right? We're going to get it this run anyway. So we should be good. We should be good. Seven is lucky number. I, I mean, we've gone through uh, 7, 17, 27, 37, 47, 57, 67, and we still don't have it. So I don't see how this is a lucky number. You know? But 70 isn't 7. Yes, exactly. Exactly, Haiti. All right, let's do some parkour between the pillars while the ads. There's one minute left to the ads, okay? One minute left to the ads. There we go. But <laughs> 70 is 10 times 7. Wow. We're learning here. Yeah. All right. Let's get in position to kill some more stuff, all right? There is. 30 seconds left to the ads. Hmm. All right, this is time to really push it. Push it good. All right. 700 even luckier by that logic. Yes, I guess, yeah. Huh. All right. Up to 700 runs, Canadia? Sure, buddy. Sure, we almost made like 10,000 raw gold from this in total so far. All right, the ads are over. Welcome back from the ads, everyone. And this is the last run of the day where we will guarantee get this super rare because if you do this, you're going to get a super rare exactly every 69 runs uh, because Blizzard thought it would be sexy, you know? And 69 is so sexy. And you know, Blizzard, they like sexy, right? I think that uh, actually Blizzard called Justin Timberlake to make this song sexy back. They were like, you know what? Uh, we, we really know what's sexy, and I think you would really like this, Justin. Okay. All right. So this is this the round? This is the round, guys. This is it. I'm definitely thinking this is going to be the one, right? Definitely thinking this is the one, okay? Not just thinking, I'm a hundred percent sure, for sure, bro. How can it not be this one, right? How can it not be this one? This one is different than any other run that we've did, you know? This is definitely gonna happen. You can see hit me you can see me believing right now, right? Do you see how much I believe? You fucking shit game. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. All right. Whatever. All right, so this is everything relies on that box right here, okay? Everything relies on that box right here. Okay? Maybe the trick... Maybe the trick was to go on top of the box, okay? 
Maybe the trick was to go on top of the box, okay? So what I will do is I will click the box, okay? And I will look away and we'll see if I hear a ding, okay? We'll see if I hear a ding. Got to look away and I'm going to click on the box. If there is a super error, it's going to do a it's going to do a ding, okay? So, I'm going to click and hope for a ding. If I get a ding, I'm going to start panicking inside, okay? Let's hear a ding. I'm currently not hearing a ding. And there is no more box under me. Which means, fuck this stupid game. But I'm a flying cat. In another word, I'm also a flying cat. Well, that's cool. And let me post this on Twitter. Let me post this on Twitter. I may not have a super item in Olderman, but at least my cat can fly. I don't know if this is going to be like, I don't know if they're going to report me for hacking. I hope not, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> don't report me for hacking, okay? There you go. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, on that note, make sure to join the Discord where you can find pictures of this uh, flying cat right now. Let me pose the Discord. In both YouTube and shit. If you're on Twitch, make sure to check out uh, YouTube. Okay? If you're on YouTube, make sure to check out Twitch. Also, in the Discord, you can have a nice place to ask your questions about goal making. Uh, also, get some screenshots of things that sells uh, for other people to give you like some sort of inspiration for stuff that you can do yourself too. Uh, in the goal making info, you can see some nice things like the new prices for the Barban fans and other cool things like this. I want to say thank you for everyone joining today. Uh, this was extremely nice of you to come here. Uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I really appreciate everyone coming here uh, and everyone who participated for uh, the thing. Um, let me see here. So, uh, right now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to raid Noble, okay? But uh, I never raided Noble, but he's a really cool guy. He's the lore guy, okay? Uh, he's the lore guy, so make sure to check him out. He's an awesome, awesome, knowledgeable person in the game. I want to say thank you for everyone who was here today, but also shout out to Matt, okay? Matt, who gave me a very nice raid. Make sure to go and follow Matt. Takes a second to go and follow him. He's amazing. Uh, thank you to Likani for the sub. Thank you to Get Zapped for the sub and the raid. Uh, go check out uh, Get Zapped 42. Very, very appreciated. And on that note, uh, that's basically it for today. Thank you so much. Uh, Saturday, there's going to be a big achievement, uh, a big announcement. I will post something on Discord most likely tomorrow for this announcement. Thank you all for being on this nine hour journey. And I'll see you back next time. All right? Take care. Have fun with Novel. And I'll see you around. Mwah. There we go. Currently 